hello. Hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, been a, been a little while. Uh, Niles, Hi, well, good Paul. to know. Hi, chat. Hope everyone had an <laughs> good awesome to know. weekend. Uh, Happy running man's Monday. Right, let me just quickly catch up with a couple of alerts that we've had. Uh, Lady, uh, Lady Emerald. God, I can't read threes as ease. I'm not not that smart. Lady Emerald, thank you for the bit. Salskin, thank you for the gifted sub. Pigs of Belton. Uh, cheers for the resub, thank you. MTB Dan, thank you very much for the 25. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for coming in. Right. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, the, the, the test of Scalar Sag. Although the server's just gone down, I guess, for midday. So well, I might have to wait a second. But I'm going to have a look at the... I did play it once before. We had a little bit of a fight on it. It's a, a new newer map based on Scotland. And Hello, I played mate. it, I think, once or twice before. Already. Should see how it goes. But I was going to do Chernerus, but then I uh, remembered I'd retweeted about the play test. So I thought, fuck it, let's do that. Is YouTube working? Should be. Pinkster, it's on a different... Uh, yeah, it seems to be. When I first went live, I had to stop again. So apologies for the start and then stop. You know, I uh, I got the the moat running and then uh, had to stop. <laughs> my there was a stream deck update this morning, and for whatever reason, it had wiped my stream deck. It just wasn't working. I couldn't make so I couldn't change scenes or anything. So um, I had to, just restarted, and then it was working again. So all being well, we should be fine now. Seventy-seven days into 2024, and you've streamed a grand total of 38 times this year. That is well below the expected number to keep your rank as the number one day Z streamer. Just bite the bullet and announce that you're going part time, and then once. I'm so Let's glad that go. cut off. <laughs> uh, Carly, thank you very much for the 11. Uh, Davy C, thank you for the nine. White Getter, thank you, I think, for the tier three resub. <laughs> Tamo, thank you for the 26, Gordon, thank you for the 34. I was very disappointed with the football yesterday, TRMZ wounding shape. Yeah, they were a bit, uh, they were a bit gun shy, Liverpool. They just didn't look like they were going to score. They they bossed the second half and then just couldn't score the third goal. It was kind of stupid, really, but it's it's, it's the way it goes. I mean, like Liverpool got through Very against nice. Arsenal in a Unlucky previous round, some. and Arsenal were the better team, and Liverpool still got through. Yesterday, Liverpool were the better team, and, and United still got through. You know, it happens. You know, but it sucks. It's, it really sucks, but it is what it is. Fred very rarely speaks, but when Man U win, he can be sure he'll appear. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was a pretty decent game. Right? It, it, there's no way there's no way to sugarcoat it. I'd much rather have won it than lost it. There's absolutely no denying that. But it, it could be a lot worse. And I, if I could pick between beating United in the league or winning yesterday, I'd be picking the league if I could only have one. But naturally, you'd rather have both. Of course you would, you know. Uh, it, it might not hurt, but having a couple of less games to play, it might not hurt, you know, like... Bar for you. All red line. City are still in the... City are still in the, in the league. Uh, in, sorry, in the cup. Having a couple of less games to play might not be a bad thing. Right. Fuck knows where we are. I better put the gamma on, because it seems to be dark. <clears throat> Time is it in the UK? Just gone midday. Spurs are the best. Hmm. 
the, the, the last 30 or 40 years worth of uh, top division tables would suggest otherwise. Good morning, Paul and chat. TRMZ love. I need to resub, respawn, not resub. Hello. How are you doing, bro? I'm making you think I want you dead so that you you'll kill die? me. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna ruin, ruin his chem light. Okay, zombie, 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 okay, zombie. zombie. He actually understood. That's weird, isn't it? Appreciate Yeah, Fred, they they had the game, boss. Salah, although he scored, didn't look his usual self. To be honest, I don't think he's fully matched sharp yet. His his weight of passing was shocking. He had. So many times Salah could have put someone through on goal. I, I remember five or six at least, and he messed up the pass. Salah, Salah is Liverpool's best player for, for a long time. Oh, Ray you're Royal fucking B kidding me. Nine months. How time flies by TRMZ worth it. Oh, okay, we're there. Yeah, his way of passing was just a little off, and there were so many spurned opportunities in other ways as well. There was one a little bit before United scored when Liverpool had like five on two defenders and they just couldn't create an opportunity. It was shocking. Martin, yeah, Salah is great, but he, he, miss, he misses the odd one, but he, he missed many. He came off, and rarely would I be like, oh, good, good Salah's come off, but I was actually, th I genuinely thought it was the right choice no. for his fitness, but also for, uh, can I have his apple? Yeah, I'll have his apple. Give apple. Give apple. Give apple. No. Give it. No. I want it. Hi all. Only two months, but been Where watching streams so far. I'm, I can't I see you. I work most of the time as I work during streams, but always make my day better. <laughs> TRM. That's it. I'll follow the sound of your voice. Shit. Shit. I was today years old when I realized what. <coughs> I can't do this. Less than three. I'm bored now. No fucking clue where we are. Oh my god. I'm so glad that we've started on this map when it's pitch fucking black. This is ideal. Let's just run this way. Uh, Gems, thank you very much. Sleepless, Stumpy, uh, Derzos, uh, Gran Turismo, Tundra, Lepaco. Thank you very much My for the resubs, guys. Flies. Oh, God. Happy running. Oh, there's a beach here. This is where we were before, I think. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I've gone the wrong way for sure. Still watching, but sometimes I don't know why L U L L U L L U L. Uh, Fish Finder, thanks for coming in. Hope you're good. Uh, Allergy, uh, Wild Bill, thank you very much for the support as well. Oh my god. I, Any I fun really... plans for this summer? Uh, not really, dude. I have no plans for nothing at the moment, dude. Uh, that's a boring answer, I know, but uh, thank you very much for the support. I, I don't have anything booked right now. Me and the missus might be having a couple of days away in Six early May. To my very favourite number, keep on running But pool. there's a few things to happen before we can make that happen, so yeah. Uh, Emily Jane, thank you. Ultimoic, Image of the Invisible, Allergy to Bullets, Fish Finder, Wild Bill, Daz Paz, shaker. thank you. Give me one sec, guys. I think I missed someone. Derzos, Gran Turismo, Tundra Struck, Lepaco. Basta One, uh, Ben, thank you for the new sub. Spliffmeister, thank you. I did miss Ben and Basta One, I think. Thank you. Paul took his holiday days the last few weeks. Yeah, you're right, Belly, that's right. Uh, doing four days this week instead of five is definitely a holiday. <laughs> is there any, any any upcoming events? Yeah, there should be on... Uh, I really need it to be daytime, holy shit. On Monday, sorry, not Monday, on Sunday, there is a singles uh, solo PvP event, like the one I went in last month, end of February. All being well, if I uh, if I can work is it out, I should be shoutcasting sure that as well. Rolls on automatically, or do I have to resubscribe every month? You can't, you can't auto-renew with Prime, you have to do it manually. There's no auto-renewing of it, so no, it has to be done manually once Good a month. Good morning, all. Less than three. 
There's no auto renew, unfortunately. I'm not sitting in the desk properly. Yeah, the game was shit yesterday, Don't Biscuit. In terms of the result. Oh, race Basta. What's the analysis of yesterday's match? I think Jurgen Klopp has a, has a ploy to keep United suppressed for the next five years by allowing them a free pass to the final of the FA Cup so that Ten Hag doesn't get sacked for another season. Keep him limping along. Limp dicking it as the manager of United for one more season. <laughs> That's the analysis. Keep keep him on for one for, for one more season. <laughs> I'm not salty. I'm, I'm not salty at all. Thanks, Dave. Uh, United did to to Liverpool what Liverpool did to Arsenal in the round before last. You know, they didn't play quite so well, but they scored the goals and and Liverpool couldn't, and they get through. That's how it works. You know. Thirty plus years of not caring about club football, and now you have me low key supporting Liverpool. Looks Dude. like we've discovered your true intentions here. You know it. Thank you very much for the support, Rossinator. I have no idea where we are. This is so dark. Uh, uh, Limerick, I, I think that's horse shit, dude. Uh, Ten Hag has had plenty of transfer windows and there's no, uh, there's no change in their league position. If you look at Liverpool, it, uh, like I think Klopp joined halfway through a season. I, c I can't really remember, but they finished something like eighth just as he'd taken over. But after that, every season thereafter, you could see a progression. You could see things moving forward. Uh, I don't see that with United. I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think being really pleased you're still in the FA Cup, but you're likely to finish sixth in the league is not good enough. He's had enough chances. That's my view, though. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan, so maybe I'm biased, but I don't see any improvement at all. <laughs> and he, he's had... Uh, to be fair, Anthony scored a good goal last season, last night, yesterday. Uh, if he could suddenly look like the player that they've spent the money on, things might help a little, mightn't they, you know? But I just don't see it. Hasn't had the structure above him like Liverpool, but he's had the signings he wants, though, Dope Biscuit. They've spent shitloads of money. He's had the signings he wants. He's not been let down like, say, David Moyes was. Hello? Hello, hello. I should use the chem light, that's a fair shout. I presume that guy was in this house, but... Booyah. More recycled TalkSport opinion. Red Gnome, I haven't listened to TalkSport in uh, about two weeks. I listened to a little bit of the Cheltenham Festival on Friday, but I only really listen to TalkSport when I go and pick the kids up, dude. This Friday they were just covering the Cheltenham Festival, so no, no recycled TalkSport opinion. Most of the time when I'm in the car, it's uh, Je Hawksby and Jacobs that I get to listen to. And they don't do so much opinions on stuff. And then after that, it's fucking Darren Bent and what's-his-face. And, and he's a Man U fan, so yeah, n not much there either. The fact that we're potentially in the final and still within a chance of top four is remarkable. Fuck me, how United have changed. Yeah, you're right. A chance of a chance of finishing above Villa in the league is definitely what you should be aspiring to. Fuck me, dead. Finished second under Mourinho, fuck's sake. And he got the sack. Red Gnome, I, I watch I watch as much as I can. I watch as much as I can. I certainly hear Ten Hag talking like in interviews and stuff written enough to, to think he's full of shit. What a game, indeed, as a non-fan of either. FA Classic. <clears throat> I 
last year you were begging for top four, yeah. That's right. Not quite made it, did we? We Good just finished fifth. However, there was lots of recycling going on, and look what's happened in the summer, you know? Like, when, a, when an elite-level manager makes signings, it changes the team, you know? Like, they were struggling with an aged midfield. Henderson went, Fabinho went, uh, old matey Cater went. He signed new players, and look at the difference, you know? Whereas... Uh, Ten Hag has had seasons where he can uh, do that and make a difference and he signs all the players and then the league position doesn't improve, you know. <laughs> I didn't hear the uh, I didn't hear the, the interviews do, but yeah. Of course you want the top four, but it's it, it's it's excusing Ten Hag by saying it'll it'll be a, an achievement if, you know. Of course you want it, there's nothing wrong with that, but He's had enough time already, and you've you're not gone forwards yet. Congratulations on making the FA Cup for our quarterfinals. Keep up the runs. I will keep up the subs. Love content. I just think Ten Hag's going to end up the boot, and all of you guys defending him, you'll all be fucking quiet when he's sacked in six months. There's no food. None. I haven't found it. Where the hell am I going? I don't even know where I am. Oh, there's some houses. Maybe we'll get lucky and no one's been to these ones. Uh, Nelson, uh, Explosive, thank you very much. Rex Reaper, thank you. Uh, K Mills, thank you very much. Uh, Simon Says, thank you as well. And I don't watch as much football as I'd like, just to come back to that red name. I don't watch as much as I would like. Clearly, I'm not watching United as closely as a United fan. But if you can honestly tell me when you're watching them, that you can see Ten Hag's direction and his style of play and how his signings are, are, are working out to be a... A, a step change in United, then you're seeing something no one fucking else can, you know, like, I don't watch as much football as I like, but I read a shitload, I read a shitload, I read, I read a load of match reports, I know you end up reading someone's opinion, but I read a load of match reports, I, I look at the stats, when I, when there's football on, I look, I have a quick look on my phone, I look at the stats for the game, I see the chances created, I, it, it's not, it, like, take United season last season, for example, your goal difference was shocking, and your league position was, uh, was inflated compared to your actual performances a touch, you know. Scatman, my weekend's been all right. I, I'm quite stressed IRL at the moment. <laughs> Nothing to do with football, but yeah, it's been all right. I've been, to be honest, I didn't really uh, <laughs> want to be off for four days, but Mrs. birthday was pretty good. We had a nice meal. Yesterday was, uh, yeah. I just, I just think it's hilarious. So sorry, Red Nine, but but how many people are, like are defending Ten Hag when he just clearly looks like a rabbit between headlights? Pretty much any time he talks, any when he gets, he's, I don't know. He made some decent subs yesterday, and they did win the game, and they deserved to win because Liverpool couldn't score the third goal. They deserved to get through. Uh, I I thought Rashford looked pretty good even before he scored. I know he missed a couple. Uh, but Rashford looked sharp Not to me. I thought Rashford looked, was looking good, and that's good for United if Relive Rashford gets a bit... Retail day. Like, it, it's better to be in the position and just miss him, even though he was offside, you know. He, uh, it better be in the position and nearly scoring, and then he did, He did, you know. I think Rashford was looking good. Happy Monday in four years and four months. Well, I think he's proved to be pretty good for the last eight years, Rexler. I think the difference is, dude, that... When he talks about the game and he talks about a plan, he talks what he like. There, there's some belief in what he says, you know. So what? He, he lost and was annoyed. Big deal. Everybody does that. Alex Ferguson didn't speak to the fucking BBC for about a year, you know. Like it happens, you know. Big deal. But at least when he talks, you you have some belief that what he says is what he means, you know. Like every time Ten Hag talks, he he doesn't he doesn't have any authority in anything he's saying. Oh, big deal. People don't win, don't lose well. March Madness starts this week. What is March Madness? Is that when they sign all the foosball players?
College basketball tourney is one of the biggest sporting events. College basketball I've is it? Blimey. And I've subbed, and I can only wish I subbed sooner. Thanks for the Nest many years so. of Thank great you. entertainment. Keep on running. I never really knew that. My, that uh, I know, obviously, American football is huge at college level, but no knowledge whatsoever about anniversary. about Let's basketball at, at that level. Here's a little job for somebody, right? Right, what was the date that uh, Eric Ten Hag took over at, at United? What was their league position that season and the seasons thereafter? And how many signings has he, signings has he made? Who are they and how much did they cost? Germany. Have a look at those stats and then tell me he's doing a good fucking job. <laughs> I don't think he is. Yeah, March Madness. I, I can't really get that excited about basketball, I'm afraid to say. I, it's one of those sports that I feel like I've been in this house already, and I I have. Just done. I've already been in here. I think we have to go inland then. I've no idea where we are. We'll just go this way. It's so hard, this, on a new map in the dark. But yeah, basketball's one of those sports that I feel like, personally, a bit like ice hockey maybe, but... If you're not really into it, it's much better to watch something like that live than watch it on the telly. I, I just, I, I don't really enjoy it so much, personally, you know, like, it, I bet it's really good to watch a, a, basketball, a game live. But for me personally, on the telly, I'm not really like, Yanited, Yanited. I can never really get into Have it. Have to celebrate the little wins as a Man United fan, ATM, haha. Seem very Hope bitter, talking well like Klopp hasn't splashed cash. Well, he has splashed the cash, Hoffy. He's also brought money in. There's no denying it, but the difference is when they've signed players, they've made a difference to the team, you know. Look at look at the signings that have come in, like, over the summer, like, losing me nearly the whole midfield and then getting McAllister, Sabozlai, Endo and so on, you know. Like, now, Klopp's not the one doing all the signings necessarily, but when he gets the signings and he introduces them into the team, it makes a difference and they move forward. That's the, that's the point. That's what a good manager does, you know. That's all the difference between a, 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 a really class manager and someone that doesn't seem to be there, you know? Like, he's had plenty of signings, uh, Ten Hag, and then the team doesn't improve. I'm not going to change my view. United fans are obviously not going to change you theirs, but he'll get sacked within the next year, and then you can... You can Everyone was saying the same thing about Solskjaer for more than a season before he got the boot. And he was a dead man walking for the whole fucking time. It's just like, like, fucking blindness. God, I, I need somewhere to loot. Notorious, thank you very much for the three months. Stormwolf, thank you very much. Space Pants, Mr. So, Widespread, Jay Harkins, Games by Andy, thank you very much. Some people will be going, oh, you're just bitter, you're lost in the air. I've been saying this for, for the last many weeks, haven't I? You know, it's not new things. It's, I've been saying the same stuff, so. I, 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 I really need to... Uh, I just can't, I can't work out where the fuck I'm going. At least it's going to be light soon. We'll be dead soon as well, which isn't great, but... Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Liverpool should have won, they really should, yeah. But Arsenal should have beat Liverpool in the round, couple of rounds before, you know. That's just not how it works, is it, you know. Not always does the team that deserves to win, win. If they did, then Arsenal would have been playing United yesterday. I really hope these are different houses. It's getting light, that's good. Sniper Fox, Big Budder, thank you for the resubs. Very, very kind. I'm going to need some food. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm definitely hungry and thirsty and dead very soon. Even if I find food, I can't really open it. I remember the spawns being a bit tricky on this last time. I think there's uh, there's like two islands, like for for Scalar's sake. Yeah. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we'll have to we'll have to try and work it out. Yeah, Gakpo. Uh, Gakpo. I don't. Know, Gakpo is a decent player, but he's he's really wants to be centre forward, and I don't think he's better than Nunes. I think it made sense to bring Salah off personally, as much as Salah's Liverpool's best player. He just Here's he's coming back from an injury, and he although he scored, he really nice wasn't boss. sharp yesterday. His part is just passing, and his his touch was just not there. But Liverpool had their chances. If you don't score, and you two one up, and you're bossing the game for most of the half, if you don't score. It could bite you on the ass, and it did. Marta was watching the football game with me when she said, "You know, most of these sports are based on the idea of one group protecting its territory from invasion by another group." Yeah, I said, trying not to laugh. <laughs> uh, just for the reason, red line. Hitman, sniper, big butter. Thank you. I don't think Gakpo should leave, but I don't think he's a starter at the moment. He's still young. But Nunes is uh, mass massively more dynamic up front than, than Gakpo is. Uh, I'd be interested to see what happens if Salah leaves, like if he does in the summer. That could be a challenge. Probably zombie. My best, best bet. Oh fuck! Bill, thank you for the support, dude. Cheers for the super chat. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Am I excited about the 2.0 update? What 2.0 update? heard a rumour that you are massively dynamic up front. Well, I am a grower, not a shower, that is for sure. I think Liverpool should sell Salah in the summer, yeah. Uh, as much as he is so important. At the, I think he's probably got another couple of seasons in him. And I, if they keep him, I think it could be proved to be a good decision. And maybe I'm wrong. But the problem is really who they can spend the money on, you know. Like like when they when they sold Philip Coutinho, he was nowhere near as vital to the team. But they bought Alisson and Van Dijk with the money. And that made a huge difference, you know. Like, if, if they've got the right plans in place and can get the right players, it might make sense. But replacing Salah is very, very difficult. You know? like, that's going to be tricky. Definitely I think it might be the like right watching call. A fellow dad play. Been a long time and a lot of fun, sir. Thank you. I think Saudi is going to going to Saudi will will pay top dollar for for him, and probably we should take it. Oh, we found a well. That's a start. Well, Dan, that's the tricky thing. It's not easy to find a replacement, but uh, it depends who comes in, you know. I, I guess that there's some hope that if, say, Zabi Alonso comes in, that He'll uh, he'll have some people in mind, you know, like like I don't study the German league per se, but he will. Is there no food in Scotland? Well, I did tweet out about trying to find fried Mars bars and Buckfast, but we haven't found any of that just yet. Just coming back to the United game, uh, how your captain is your captain. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Like, like that's that's Ten Hag's decision. He should not be captain. The dude is a fucking liability. 
Uh, and uh, I just, yeah, anyway, he, he, sh he probably should have been sent off, but I don't... As it happened, even though I'm a Liverpool Another fan, and, and obviously there's... As it happened there, I, I was like, it definitely could have been given, but I was quite glad it hadn't. The ref kind of was quite fair. Like, he let quite a lot go like that and didn't give cards for quite a lot, so I wasn't particularly bothered at the time. I think on a different day, he'd have been off, you know. But uh, he is a decent player, Jambon, but he shouldn't be captain. He is not captain material. He just isn't. Priory Town. Okay, we found a map. That helps. Priory Town. Okay, Have so we're there. Stream, sir. Love. So it's not two islands. It's one. Priory Town. It's hard to know where we really want to go. I guess Macarin's airfield looks like a winner. Probably the best choice from our squad though. And who gets to change the squad and has plenty of chances to do that? <laughs> I do feel a bit bad for Harry Maguire. I know he had some he had a real stinker of a season and whatnot, but I think Harry Maguire's a decent guy and I think he's a decent player. Whether he's a United level centre back is an entirely another matter, but I do feel a bit sorry for him. In the right environment, with the right playing style, he's a good player. Playing a high line in a back four, or possibly not. Yeah, the, the game yesterday was great. If you were a neutral or a United fan, if you were a uh, if you're a Liverpool fan, it was somewhat frustrating. But so we heard a shot here. I need more food. I, I think my best bet, like the last can of tuna, is probably from zombies. I need to try and take him one on one. I hope this door opens. Oh fuck, it opens the wrong way. Now I'm in trouble. Yay! Tuna. I, I only very briefly saw the England kit. Yeah, I, I, I guess they need a new one to sell more t-shirts for the Euros, right? The Gamma is still on. Good shout. It is quite pastely as well, so... the euros i think it's june isn't it, it it's going to be it's going to be june i haven't got the dates off the top of my head but the olympics is kind of end of july early august so it must be june like straight after the football season basically normally isn't it like you get, they normally there's like a a three-week gap from the end of the season roughly thanks for letting my pay you money to be a fan of yours <laughs> Keep up the good work. Well, oh, thank you, Decadent. Uh, Decadent Pig. Thank you. Fictional Yeti Kempus. Cheers for the support. I uh, hope you're good, dude. Thank you for coming in. Angry Badger. Bill, thank you very much for the super chat once again. Uh, Redline and Angry Badger. Thank you. I don't really want to go near the shops, to be honest. Two more to reach a whole year. <laughs> Am I going to TwitchCon in America? I doubt it. I, I, I doubt it. This is not running great at the moment. I'm having some troubles. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm going, I'll announce it as soon as I know, but I think the answer is likely to be no. Hot dog. 
It's quite a good year for, for summer summer sports, though, right? I, I really like the Olympics, but the Euros, then the Olympics, that's going to be cool. Hello boss. Robot lady here. When is my annual performance review scheduled for? Hoping for a nice bonus this year. Jelly of the month? S-K-I-U-T-R-M-Z-G heart. Uh, annual performance review. Uh, I'm not up. Uh, it's on hold until you've learned how to read emotes and that's that. You can't read emotes. There's no performance review for you. That's it. It starts and ends with that that one thing. <laughs> oh, nice. Chippy chips. I don't think anyone's been to this bit. There's gunshots in the town, Anonymous, but I've got no gun. There's nothing much I can do. I'm just... I'm starving to death, and I'm just trying to get some food, really, and avoid the people shooting for now. And the mace isn't bad, but I'd, I'd rather not get near the shooter for now, if I can avoid it. Hi, Vorian. Thank you. Vorian is the map creator, I believe. That's right, isn't it, Vorian, dude? I hope you're good. Going to be a restart with a small update. 10-4. Tada, uh, Hattus, Yakety, uh, thank you very much for the support. this map is braced on Scotland, what's that bright thing in the sky? <laughs> this must be the one day in the year when it breaks through the clouds, dude. This can't be a Scotland map. I haven't seen one deep fat fryer in houses. <laughs> My mum used to have a deep fat fryer. He never really used it, though. There's no tactical background. <laughs> the thing we need Hello, to just I'm make back. sure all that, that happens is that letters of the alphabet. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know why. I don't uh, start trying to do a Scottish keep accent. On, that's that's on. the most important thing. If you think people get offended by my take on Ten Hag and United, uh, then uh, by the, they'll definitely get more offended by by, by my bad Scottish action, accent for sure. Do we know when part two of the event will be coming out? It should have been. It should have been Saturday, dude. I was really extraordinarily upset. Not upset. Well, I was. I'm stressed. Let's say. I, I've unfortunately found out Friday it wasn't likely to be coming. Uh, these things happen, you know. I've seen the draft for the video now. I I, I got the draft for it on uh, on Saturday about 4 p.m., which made it impossible to release on Saturday, obviously. But yeah. It, the video is great, uh, so the whole video is pretty much done. We need a little bit for the end and a little bit for the start. So it'll definitely be out Saturday, but I was gutted that it wasn't out earlier. It should have been out on Saturday. Unfortunately, we, we missed it, so it'll be uh, it'll be next Saturday, next Saturday. Euro, cheers for the 77 months, dude. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. So yeah, it should be on Saturday, Mies. I'm really, 
I really want to get edited YouTube videos out, like, let's say over a four-week period, I'd like to be having three out on a, on a Saturday, so for every four weeks that go past, I'd like to have three videos out as a, as a rough rule of thumb. That's the way I'd like it to be. We're nowhere near that this year so far, but uh, hopefully we might be able to get somewhere now. We'll see. Stitch that, Jimmy. <laughs> Not doing the accent. I thought it was see you, Jimmy. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, good. AK buttstock. I think I'd rather have a fishing rod than a sporter. Love your YouTube videos. Play them while working. Thank you. Uh, Hilly, thanks very much for the support. Uh, I have seen The End of the Gentleman. I thought it was good. I've th no spoilers, because the Gentleman TV series not been out very long. But I was really kind of somewhat disappointed that the, uh, the final episode was not more exciting, let's say. I don't really want to give any spoilers away at all. Uh, I, I like the gentleman. I thought it was decent. I'm not that that bothered whether they make another season or not. One season might be enough for me, but it was all right. The final episode was uh, was a little bit lackluster, I think. It reminded me a little bit of uh, this is a very very mild spoiler, but I'm going to go that trilogy with uh, the 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 fucking vampire trilogy where basically they're building up to this great big battle for three fucking films, and then the battle never really happens. It's kind of shit. The battle is like a damp squib of nothing. It was. It felt a bit like that. So we left Priory Town. I don't know if this is Westview we're at right now. It might be. I think this is Westview, which means that if we... I bet if we go this way, which is kind of north, I think... We get to water. Dune 2 was great, Redline. Uh, Rav, yeah, sorry about that. I'll, I'll try to be better. Twilight, yeah, they're, they're the ones. What's my melee weapon? It's a mace. So I think if we go this way, we will uh, find the castle. General Daisy, congratulations. Uh, gave birth to... A, you might, Mrs. gave birth to a baby and then the message is cut off. Let me try and go back and find it. I'm seeing it, seeing somebody reply to you. I can't fucking find it, but congratulations. I hope all is well, dude. No worries, Alex. Uh, yeah, it just said a baby and then it cut off for me because I, I was seeing Rogue Trooper reply, not the uh, original message. Would I prefer to see a film at the cinema or at the couch at home? Uh, if I can be assured that there's no fuckwits like munching popcorn and like kicking the back of my chair, I'd rather see it at the cinema. But as long as I'm guaranteed no fuckwits, that's the trick. That's the tricky part. Right, the server's gone down for an update, so...
just pissing around on Google. they've moved where the prime sub is as well by the way uh Papa dude, i don't if you're finding it apparently it's moved there's a there's a tick box you have to click now from by all accounts so you don't just go to subscriptions anymore you have to go oh, somewhere else did you know i went up the apples and pears to get my bees and honey and found out the hard way i was on the floor then i went to get my dogs and bow <laughs> but my mind pies weren't working and all that was just a big porky pie do you get that son <laughs> So we're going down the gentleman route a little there, I think. I think it's... I I know, it might not be back. I'm just going to click play, see if it'll do a... Well, in fact, let me just see if the mod's updated. Found it. Thanks to all. It says update I get pending, to keep on so I watching you keep on running. Uh, new Planet of the Apes movie coming out. I saw the trailer. I've got to be honest. I think I'm a bit tired of it. I don't. I think, like most, like most of the, the originals from memory, I haven't seen the originals for years. But the one where things go wrong, like the early ones, the ones where things start to go wrong, were really good in the modern films, and they tend to tail off. And it it, it doesn't look like it's really. It's much more exciting when things are turning from one from being normal to the other, like an Armageddon-style apocalypse kind of thing. But this one, I'm not sure about myself. coming back. Alright, server's still not up yet. Uh, Glove, thank you thank for, you for the prime tip. Glad to be back watching TRMZ Love. There's some drops in. I think I might have already done it. Uh, Glove, thank you very much. Rav, uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, no worries, I'm glad to be back, to be honest. Papa Dude, thank you. Iron Balls, thank you for the bits. Uh, me old China, uh, Hilly Jinx, thank you very much as well. Nero before that, thank you. I can't fucking read now. The eyes are all funny. Yeah, the one with James Franco was pretty good. Uh, I just, I'm not that excited about Planet of the Apes. I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm more excited, and this is kind of sad in a way, but... I'm more excited to watch the new Ghostbuster that comes out next week, mainly because the kids want to see it, or certainly Maggie does, so I'm not that bothered about Planet of the Apes. Definitely won't see it in the cinema unless it gets like rave reviews and it's much better than it looked in the trailer I saw when I watched June. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'll take the kids to watch the new Ghostbusters film. Uh, I saw the trailer, the trailer looked kind of okay, they're it's like, well it's in the trailer, but it's set back in New York and it, it's got a little bit of old characters in it like Ernie Hudson and whatnot. Like it, it looks kind of alright. Bouncy, yeah, the server's gone down for a uh, mod update. It's it's I may not be live yet, but I'm just gonna quickly try and join it, see if we get lucky. It's 
not up yet, unfortunately. Let's go. It's interesting how we're still making movies that came out in the 80s. It kind of is. But if you think about it, like if you if you're into the theater, which I'm not. The channel, right? it has fallen server. But it's hardcore like the intense server, but with a lot less medical stuff. I haven't. Maybe I should try it, Thoria. Yeah, I, I, maybe I should if, it, if it's really hard, but not with all the meds. So maybe I should give it a go. Never tried that one. Uh, but yeah, I'll maybe give it a look. Dude. Thank you. Uh, IG2020, thank you. Uh, Conseco, thank you for the resub. Rasper as well. What I was coming to, uh, films do get remade all the time. And, and to some extent, there's no surprise. It can be a bit annoying when they're remaking films that really don't feel like they need to be remade. Like, it's frustrating and it does happen. I had someone on Twitter was saying uh, that Dune 2 shouldn't be remade. It might have been on YouTube comments and I complete, or Dune shouldn't. I think the new ones are really good and they, they're much better than the original film in many ways. So they, it was worth the remake and I think very glad they did, but others not so much, you know, like there's talk of a remake of Planes, Trains and Automobiles, for example, and that's just kind of ridiculous. I don't get it at all. Uh, in fact, I think it's going to happen and Will Smith's in it, I believe. And I, I just don't get it. But if you think about it, really, like if you go into the theatre, which is where I was getting to before, some of the most popular plays that are on, I don't, I've never been to see a play. I've only ever been to see like like more kiddified ones, like The Lion King and shit. Cool. You know, but Did you know Shakespeare is still Aristotle really popular. The most ping pong tiddly in the nuclear sub and switched my custard back to the footer last night. People are still doing like Shakespeare and uh, Macbeth and King Lear and all the like. He's been dead for fucking 300 odd years, hasn't he? Was it the 1600s? He was around in the 1600s, I believe. I don't know. I'm, my my Shakespeare history is not great, but it's. We're still going to see plays that are fucking 400 years old near enough. And that, that tells you something about stories, you know? Sixteen thirty-four, yeah, so nearly 400 years old. I'm upset they've remade The Crow. The original was so good, don't think it needed a remake. I, I wasn't a huge fan of The Crow. It was okay. I remember being excited to see it. There was a load of marketing around it, obviously, and it was very sad about Brandon Lee, but I thought The Crow After was okay. Watching your adventures. I haven't seen it Have you thought about playing them Zelador map yet? They are keeping it on for a month after the test. Really fun map. They have took off the infinite stamina now, thank God. I haven't, no. I, I'll just, just check in now while we're waiting for this update to come. I, I've missed Zelador. I didn't know it was uh, on test, to be honest. I completely missed it, but just looking right now, I, I could join it and it would probably fill up, but it's not very busy right now in terms of uh, how how many people are in the Have server. A nice day, mate. But usually I tend to swerve the servers that are extraordinarily highly modded you know even if it's a new map but maybe we could have a look at Celador. maybe I could try it later we'll have a look at Scalar's Egg first if I can get back in uh, yeah it's still on zero zero players so it's not come back from the update yet uh, Atorius thank you Andor Levi uh, cheers for the support did you know I ordered Aristotle the most <laughs> I'm balls, you're, you're, you're speaking in a code I don't understand, dude. <laughs> God, blimey. I don't mean, uh, I, I, I can do apples and pears, but beyond about that, plates of meat. I've got to be honest, I, I don't think many films use Cockney rhyming slang very much, but I find it really annoying. I don't, like, there's a level where it just about works. One or two Danny Dyer films from back in the day it don't annoy me very much. But when it's like, like, I, I don't know, like, for example, Plates, you fucking Toby. I, like, I, I just, I find it really annoying. I, I'm not a big fan. Lockstock's not too bad. They don't really do a shitload. Guy Ritchie's now doing a pastiche of Guy Ritchie. Well, I don't know how much he was involved in the TV series, but the TV series that's just gone was a bit cheesy, you know. It wasn't as cheesy as uh, Reacher, maybe, but it was it was pretty pretty cheesy. Cheers, Vorian. Thank you for the, the heads up, dude. Don't 
and the server's coming back up any second. Yeah, I'm not convinced about the remake of Roadhouse. I think Conor McGregor and acting are not two words that should be really going together, if I'm honest. I think Conor McGregor and whiskey belong together more than Conor McGregor and acting. And his whiskey apparently tastes like piss. I've never had any, so maybe it's great. <laughs> uh, John, thank you very much for the bits. That's very kind, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support. Our uh, team up, John was one of the... Uh, the uh, people that qualified for a team up after the charity stream uh, our, our team up is on April the 8th we booked it in on email this morning and yesterday oh server's back gonna gonna get in yeah it's a, it's a stream film Jambon it's not even coming out I think they I think it's a shame when they don't push them to the cinema first in some ways but yeah maybe I think that's a big mistake, by the way. You're right. I agree with that. In Germany. There has been some hit, talk that they might hit. make that. Hooray for progress! But Colin Farrell's character was much more right for a uh, for a show. I still thought the gentleman was okay, but it was only that. It was okay, and that's it. You know, it wasn't stunning. When will parts out? Part two of Lights Out be released? Big Willie. It should have been Saturday. I'm extraordinarily disappointed that it wasn't. Uh, but. It's pretty much done now. We just missed it, unfortunately. Uh, it wasn't ready in time, so uh, it's going to be next Saturday. I've seen the draft of it, uh, and there's a few things to tinker with it, so uh, it'll be Saturday. I'm back from India. What have I missed over the last two weeks? Jeff, Jeff Ibo, yeah, the beef with fighters is mostly uh, it's mostly made up, but I don't know, he's gone a bit far in some cases, dude, I think. I'm not sure it's all made up in his mind, maybe he gets a bit too into it. But. Proper 12 is decent risky. I, I, I've never tried it, so I, I, I shouldn't really judge, but I uh, I follow a one or two YouTube, channel, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, my favourite being a father and son German uh, channel called whiskey.de. Uh, and whiskey.com but they have a channel on YouTube and they review whiskey and they, they, they have a website that sells whiskey so even when the whiskey's not great they're not really slating it let's just say they weren't that positive about that <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure it's fine but I think you can probably get better for the, for the, for the money you know I've never tried it because I'm not buying a bottle yeah the original Roadhouse was decent I don't think uh I don't think the original Roadhouse is like groundbreaking or a, a, like a truly stunning film or anything, but it was good. I, I liked it. I thought it was decent. It's not a single malt, is it? I think it is. It's a 12-year-old, proper 12. That's the point. I think that the clue's in the name, proper 12. But yeah, it's not meant to be, uh, not meant to be amazing. There is kind of a road there. That's cool, isn't it? There's like a... It's a bit like uh, Mersey Island. <laughs> Myself. That was a good start to the to the uh, to the run. Reefer, uh, I didn't miss it. It's only three minutes ago, dude. That's okay. Well, I'll catch it now though. But it has to be ten minutes or more before it counts as a miss, okay? Because <laughs> quite often I go back and catch a few in a group, right? Uh, Reefer is going to be legal in Germany. Hip hip hooray! Is it? Blimey! Interesting. That might cause some debate now. Uh, very very. Good news, I guess, you know, like, like might take the criminality out of who's selling it as well, which is good. Or it might also make the criminals have a legitimate business, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's good. If, if, it's, if it's your thing, defo. 
Mr. Barker, thank you for the 26 months. Cheers for the big sub, dude. Thank you. And John, thanks again. Love from the American military in Japan. Anthony, dude, thank you very much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, GG for, uh, for for your service. I, uh, fair play, dude. I hope all goes well. Stay safe, too. Yeah, he, uh, Conor McGregor is no longer own any kind of ownership of Proper 12, I believe. I know, I don't believe that at any point he was ever, like, in a distillery, like, making the whiskey. But his branding, his name, helped to make that brand. So, it's crazy the power of celebrity, but he, he oh, I, I don't know, this is me speculating, by the way, so by all means correct me if I'm wrong. But I doubt he had anything to do with the actual creation of the whiskey, but his name sold it. So he got a shitload of ownership in the company. And, and fair play to him. When you're that much of a, a star. You know, quite a lot of celebrities have, are getting involved with things like that. But I'm not sure many of them actually do anything other than uh, use their net star power to kind of grow the brand. Gabriel, I don't really hate Conor McGregor. I, I think he has behaved poorly in plenty of places, and he's gives he's a very, very polarizing character. And some of the things he's done are not ideal. I take, for example, the uh, the, the classic one. Somebody uh, he, he he punched an old man in a bar because he called his whiskey shit, and he was a local to the pub, and he bought that bar and barred him. You know that that that's. A sign of someone that's not very secure in themselves, you know. For uh, 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 like, Im imagine punching an old man because he doesn't like your whiskey when you're a professional fighter and he's an old man, and then imagine going and buying the pub just so you can bar the dude that, like, uh, uh, that's kind of pathetic, you know. Like, uh, it's hard to like somebody that's that shallow. But nonetheless, I I don't really hate. Hate's a strong word. There aren't many people I hate. seem to find where any of the towers are. There's one. This is very uh, kind of expansive, isn't it? TRMZ cool. So you know you're in trouble when well, I need to put shadow play on. What we're picking up here is what somebody else didn't want. Which is not ideal. Uh, I don't actually have a knife yet, which is kind of surprising too. But yeah, coming back to what you were saying here a while ago, uh, a, a gentleman spin-off of the Colin Mc of the coach character, but with uh, Colin Farrell. Let me say Colin McRae then. That his character was amazing. There would there's that it might get a bit tiring over like eight episodes maybe, but I would love to see that. That would be good. There was talk of there being something along those lines. I thought it was all right. It was quite a novel way of doing it. Like I wasn't expecting the gentleman to. I was expecting it to be more. Like, like just like your typical gangster stuff, and in some ways it was, uh, but with a slightly different spin with how it was done and the main characters and stuff, it was all right. Very predictable though, like, like some of the stuff. Keep on running. Like, some graphics on screen when they're trying to explain things, it, it felt a little bit like the 1990s somehow. You know, it, it didn't feel like a modern film. It felt like something that was made 20 or 30 years ago modern TV series even.
That felt a bit like the point to place it in a Diamond time. Member, whoop, whoop. Well, it wasn't set in that time, Salad Master, so it's off if it... It wasn't set, like, in the 90s. They were driving around in modern cars, you know, using modern technology. It wasn't... So maybe maybe it was used... Like, if you're going to set it in the 90s, set it in the 90s, but they didn't, you know? I don't know. Maybe it was intentional, but I think it, it didn't work for me because it was a modern era setting, you know? Like, using a technique whereby it feels like the, the, the show was made in the 90s seems like a stupid thing to do if the film's not made in the night it's not set in the 90s you know it seems kind of dumb that's where we came from struggling here it's kind of hard to work out where you've been go through that arch i think I'm not a funny feeling we ain't, from nicaragua we ain't getting on any vacation loot. and watching all the trmz fun Bad Daddy, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Thank you. How would you go upon streaming? I would love to start streaming DayZ and all other games in my free time. Anthony, if you want to know how to start a stream, there is an incredibly good tutorial on YouTube. Now, there may be a more up-to-date one, but there's like a 12 or a 13 part series from Nerd or Die which is the thing to use for uh, for learning how to stream. Hi. So, nerd or die uh, is the uh, the answer to your question. Uh, it's it, I, you Basically, you start from episode one and just watch it once and every time you get to something you should do, do Hi, it. <laughs> and like pause it and start it, pause it and start Monday. it. And by the time you've done the, the series, you'll, uh, you'll have it all set up. Oh God, no more bolts. That's how you start. And if you want to start, it's really easy to do. But setting up is a little bit... Uh, I don't know. It feels a bit of a challenge from scratch. Nerd. N-E-R-D. Or die. I've shot my bolt. Yeah. Oh, a repeater. Why is a repeater spawn here? Just have the rope back, shall we? Pity you gluten-free as I offer this baker's dozen pour. Keep on running TRMZ Legmans, TRMZ Legmans. All your shit. I thought it was decent. I thought it, and I thought the gentleman was okay. It probably doesn't go in exactly the direction you expect it to, if I'm honest. Maybe it does. It depends. But I thought it was all right. I think the, the main two characters in it are okay. I, it, it's all right. It, it, I, I think the gentleman is probably, in terms of quality, better than Reacher Season 2, for example. You know, it, it's a bit better than that. But Reacher Season 2 wasn't the gre the greatest, really. Uh, Blue here. Thank you very much. Nobs, thank you very much. Fizzy, uh, RDZ, thank you very much. And Anthony, thank you very much for the super chat, dude. And good luck with the streaming. Hope it goes okay. I can make new bolts from these, actually. Yeah, that's a decent shout. I, I've just got the axe, so I might as well. Oh, fucking pissed it up again. Might as well cut this up so we can make better bolts as well. I don't host any servers, uh, White Dark, no. What do you think is the best Reacher season? There's only two, Barney, if you mean the TV series. There's only two Reacher seasons, one and two, that's it. One is the best. Two is two is alright, it just doesn't have the, the as good a characters, in my opinion. Has Daryl Dixon spin-off's not been shown in the UK, Silex? I've seen the whole of The Walking Dead. Yeah. 
Not seen the Daryl Dixon spin-off though, it's not been shown in the UK yet. Exactly, that Salad Master in season two, it's all there's a massive great group of them. And and they're all a bit dull, you know, like in season one, uh, there are some really good characters, like the a couple of the people that work in that he meets, like the the sheriff and the the out of town sheriff and the the lady that that's, that becomes the love interest. There's some decent characters in it along the way, whereas in Reacher Two, all of it's more about a loving with his his former mates. Like it's like getting the band get back together, but they're all fucking bland as shit, you know. And it, it's just not very good. I can't help myself. Sharp stick life, dude. I, I I do it all the fucking time. Right, let's. Let's make some actual proper bolts before we go any further. May not get to make very many, so. Season two was good for building up his past history. Yeah, it's not very good. Not very fun, though. Am I English, Yorp? I actually thought the the, the more interesting characters. Uh, very, very mild spoiler for season two here. The more interesting characters of the squad seemed to be the ones that they were investigating what had happened to them, you know. The ones that they occasionally shown in flashbacks looked much more interesting characters than the ones that were in the fucking show. <laughs> uh, from memory, anyway. Uh, De Hock, Renegade, Knobs, and Blue here. Thank you very much. Fizzy Flat as well. All right, that's good. We might have to just make do with these for now. I, I should make him another knife before we go any further. I think if I kill him there, he's going to fall through the floor. Like another exit, but I don't think we want to go that way. This castle's been a bit of a disappointment loot-wise, hasn't it? It's been shit. Ryan Gosling to be the next James Bond. Fucking hell, that's a that's a hell of a shout. Have they ever in the history of Bond gone for such a megastar? Like, if you think about them, like, I, my memory of of the originals is obviously from repeats. I wasn't around at the time, but like, as a rule, they don't normally go for an existing absolute megastar. You know. Everyone talking about remakes. You know the one game they need to remake and not change a thing about? Fallout New Vegas. It barely works now in modern PC, but it was glorious. Mm. See, I, I don't know if Sean Connery was or not, because it was in the 60s, but and he was obviously afterwards, but I get the feeling that James Bond tends to make make them more famous, you know? like and Pierce Brosnan had been in some stuff, Timothy Bolt Dalton had been in some stuff, obviously... Uh, Daniel Craig likewise, but none of them were like like Ryan Gosling level famous, you know. None of them anywhere near. I don't think I don't think any of them were. Like Ryan Go Gosling is like like in the very top tier, you know, triple A celebrity. Uh, Iron Balls, thank you very much. I've missed all of the Fallout series, to be honest. Uh, the only one I've ever played is Fallout 4. Right, 
I haven't been here, have I? <coughs> Do with some of these, drop in some loot. Daniel Craig had done some stuff, hadn't he? He'd done uh, Layer Cake, you know. I, I, Layer Cake is a really good film, by the way. But I, I don't remember him being hugely famous. He'd done quite a lot of stuff, no, yeah, but he certainly wasn't heart. on the same level as Ryan Gosling is. Badly damaged mace. We are having some troubles. Mostly what I'm finding seems to be drop shit from other players. So there was a player out there, was there? I didn't see I him. Enjoy your content. I saw zombies, didn't Keep see a player. Running. You may well be right, but... These can spawn decent loot on a lot of maps. Whether they do on this or not, we'll have to wait and see. But On a lot of maps like, say, Essica or Alteria, they tend to spawn uh, hunting rifles on the top. Happy Monday, Zed. <coughs> BFG, thank you. Happy Monday. Uh, Aaron, thank you as well. Sport with a mag. I ain't that desperate, I don't think. Chain mag. Well, there is a bit of loot. This is not great, though, is it? We're not. We're not finding luck. The can of food is kind of helpful. Anything that will help me uh, survive a bit longer is no bad thing. I haven't done this this one here. You little bastard shooting at me. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's right. I haven't shot a fucking anyone. You fucking crossbowed me, you little bastard. Well, I will now, but it wasn't me. Oh, you little fucker, it was you, I saw ya! You saw fuck all. I fucking saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, HP. Uh, I didn't shoot at him. <laughs> Somebody did, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Badly damaged with best. Uh, nice, no, it's, it's good to get a knife. Someone's collecting a lot of seeds. I wonder if he was... Uh... I wonder what shells he was shooting. I wonder if they were rubber slugs out of the shotgun. We'd better get that shotgun in a sec. I think it sounded like rubber slugs. It was rubber slugs. Poor bastard.
That'll explain why he missed. Rubber slugs are fucking shocking. They're so hard to hit with. rubber slugs in now. I don't want to do that. For now, I'm just going to put those two in and be sure that I'm firing the half, the two half decent bullets that I've got. If he got shot at recently, then there may be somebody else here. So we're at Mughaig Castle. Mughaig. We need to go north. Go. We're going to go to Loch 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 Break. So we need to go north. Let's get get this fucker. Where are you? Get the compai on there. Let's just go north and try and get away. If I filled the rest of the shotgun with rubbers, what would it shoot first? It would shoot one red shell, because it's chambered, and then it would shoot all of the rubber slugs, and then the last shell would be the red shell, which is why I'm not loading any others in. So, whatever you put into it, if it's chambered, it's definitely going to shoot that. But after that, it will shoot... The last bullet you load first, and then the second last, and third last, and so on. Uh, Aaron, a Brutus, thank you very much. BFG, thank you very much too. I need to go left. Onwards to the north. It was going to be a bit tricky to team up there, even though I recognised his voice, right? It did It did occur to me, I know, like, he knows it was me as well, but uh, he thought I'd shot at him. I, I didn't want to really, like, break character, as in, like, it's me, I didn't shoot, it must have been someone else. That seems a bit shit, so I tried saying it wasn't me, he didn't believe me, so then we had to play it out. I think that's the way to go, surely, you know, it's the best way to do it. I have to play it out. He don't believe. Fair enough. Yo. He did sound like an evildoer. I agree. John, thank you very much for the support. That part stinks as well. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Insert extremely funny comment here. Official. Very cool. There could be another crossbow dude running around. That is very true. Better ending than the Manchester Liverpool game. Yeah, I, I, it's one of those. I, 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 it was a, it was a frustrating game. The entire second half, when they were completely in charge, I was thinking, this is this is going to go badly. They're gonna they're gonna end up regretting not scoring while they've been on top for the whole fucking second half. And sure enough, it went badly. That's a very long swim. Can I go around here? But yeah, I, I, shit happens. I, like, United scored four. They definitely deserve to go through based on the, the fact they put their chances away. You know, like, from even at even at 3-2 in the second half of uh, injury time. Sorry, extra time. I, I still wasn't confident. Liverpool just looked kind of lacklustre. I think Nunes is a great player, by the way. He's not Haaland or anything, but I think Nunes is a really good player. I, re I do. I think he's good. I'm at the castle I called out. Me, for sure. Why am I not 
not I'm not really paying attention. Yeah, well it seems to be quite like Scotland. The water is fucking cold. So we're coming back the way we came. Oh my fucking day. <laughs> I don't know how that broke his leg. <laughs> oh fucker. I am tying him up here. Don't move. Oh, I'm not moving. Oh, I'm sorry about that. There was a bad man. So good. I thought you were the bad man. Is your leg uh, I broken? I think I've lost ten years. Yeah, it is. Oh. I just bandaged you because you appear to be bleeding. Thank you. All right. I tell you what I'll do, I'll get you some sticks and a splint and then I'll leave you to it, okay? Feel a bit bad, you, you're not you're not a bad man, are you? No, I don't think so. Alright, I'll get you some sticks. Thank you. He, that's not Burnside, that's a different dude. I should just run away now. I, I, I don't really fully understand how I broke his leg there. Maybe I was aiming low, but it's a bit unlucky for him, I think, that his leg got broke with that shot, personally, I think. Thirty-seven months of shit and ballot. I don't know why I put five in there, but anyway. He would be better off, better off dead. Maybe not. Right. Uh, there's his dick. I'm going to have to use your bandage to make the splint, though. Sorry. That's all good. Dude, I was... you shit me up, man. Yeah, somebody tried to kill me on the, the Castle Island, and so I was a bit scared. Yeah. I right, turn around and I'll uh, take off your rope thing. Just stay facing that way, though, okay? Yeah, yeah. Have you got the rope? Can, uh, no. can you, do you mind dropping that rope for me? Oh, oh it's there, room. Ah, oh, bollocks. That sucks. All right, well, uh, I've You've got, more than enough, I've got to leave yeah. you now. So if I put this one in, I can't, that's a shame. Oh, 
There's a guy up ahead. There's two guys up ahead. That no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking done now. That sucks. I think that was HP. <laughs> I didn't hear any steps. That sucks. I don't see how that's karma. <laughs> I've got to wake up. I was going to respawn, but I can't. I gave him more food back, Sully, because I did feel a bit bad for breaking his leg. I passed him when grabbing sticks, did I? Oh, well. Well, I'm not going to be waking up with any loot now, am I? Hutchie, uh, Shropshire, thank you very much. Why so generous? Because I felt bad for breaking his legs, J-Rock. We are quite close to the spawn here, so, like, he could have ran back, I guess. Why am I not waking up? Right. Oh, 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 don't you move, don't you move, don't you move, young man. Right. who do you work? That was not a nice boss. thing you did in that it was, castle. It was fucking hilarious, wasn't it? What? Whoa, 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 don't! <laughs> GG HP. <laughs> why, why did he kill me? <laughs> why did he kill me too? <laughs> He's because he said the running man. See, HB went to aim at him. What? What did you shoot me for? Why did you shoot me? Why did you shoot me, dude? I don't understand. I, have, I haven't got anything. He aimed at me. No, he Yeah, but I didn't aim at you, dude. I've got nothing. I don't know, man. You have a lot. I think I took it from you. Happy Don't waste your bullets, dude. Don't, don't, okay, just don't take the fucking crossbow. Don't take it. Don't I can't take it. It's bugged. I can't take it anyway. Okay, I found him. No, what's up, man? I, I follow you on the Twitch, red uh, guy. I didn't know you're you're the best guy. But... Yeah, but. Fuck it. Can, do you mind if I try to get that crossbow? I'll put it on my back, though. I, I'm not going to use it on you, dude. Like, this this guy said I killed him before, but I hadn't. No, look, 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 look. He told me that you're the guy who was camping in the castle, or you're the guy who was sitting in him. I don't know. No, that. that's bullshit. I don't know what the fuck he was going on about, to be honest. I really don't. Just put it in the back. Put it in the fucking bag. I don't understand. The, the crossbow's just bugged out. It's not even there anymore. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I'm gonna go this way unless you want to kill me, dude. I'm just gonna get away from that bad no, man. I'm glad you killed the bad man. He yeah, deserved yeah. it. He's an evildoer, that dude. All of what he said was lies. I don't know. He told me there was a bad guy in the castle, and I saw you. And well, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I just gave a, I just gave an unconscious man food and helped him make a splint. Why do you go there? There's nothing there on this side. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, dude. But good luck. Long live, live long and prosper. Uh, <laughs> see you, bro. Enjoy. Oh, that sucks. I've lost so much loot there. I've lost my gun. I've lost my crossbow. At least I'm not HP though, eh? <laughs> That Altaria team up stream was epic. Just finished the VOD. I, I really love it when people say karma. I, all right, the guy didn't have any gear, but I shot him and then I patched him up, gave him more food and left him, you know. I, I, I was good to that dude, you know. I gave him a survival experience and everything. Monty Hall, the ads are five past the hour and an hour and five minutes, so uh, if it's an hour and 35 minutes into the stream, which it was, that's when the ads come on, that's how it works.
but I shot Happy. After he fucking shot me, dude, how is that karma? He shot me, so if, if someone shoots me and I don't shoot back, that means I get karma. What are you talking about? <laughs> he shot me and was waiting up there to shoot more. I never shot at Happy Bombs until he shot at me. Uh, right, assuming this is the castle we're at, we need to go kind of more to the east and then go north, I think. At least we've got some food, but now we've got no weapon, we've got no bandage either. I probably could have got a bandage happy off a happy, I think, but never mind. Enjoy the Scottish countryside. No bandage is going to be a bit of a tricky one, but we'll see. At least we've got food. I also don't have any... Oh, bollocks. I've really done badly out of that. Like, no bandage, no uh, sharpening stone, no uh, no canteen anymore. It sucks. Uh, Darashu, uh, thank you very much. Reggie, uh, sorry, Reggae, uh, Golden Age, Elmin, thank you. An optic member was chatting about you. Uh, very cool. I hope they weren't talking about my aim, though. <laughs> it, it, it was probably something along these lines. If you want to know how to be a streamer without being able to shoot, have a look at. <laughs> Oh god, that was sweet. I, I'm really annoyed about getting knocked on con in the first place. I had no nothing to. I tried. I tried pulling back. I tried to melee. I couldn't do anything. Dubs, thank you for the resub. You're very kind. John, thank you so much for the gifted sub bomb. You crazy mofo. Times two. Cheers for gifting twenty subs, dude. Thank you. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Right, I just need to quickly get into these trees. I had an update on OBS while, uh, I think this morning or yesterday, I don't know when, yesterday I think, but all of my windows are all in slightly different places and I can't see shit. Rune, in, in over 90 minutes, Liverpool, Liverpool, I think, should have won the game. And I, I don't know if it was 35 minutes. United were very much better for the first 20 minutes than the last 10. I don't, I don't know the timings, but for the lion's share of the game, Liverpool should have won it. You know, when they were two-one up, they had a, most of the second half to score another goal, and they didn't. What happens in extra time and whatnot, you know, like I, I think Liverpool were kind of not really there. But yeah, I think over the course of the whole thing, including extra time, you could say that United deserved to go through, and they did. So that's fine. But over 90 minutes, I think Liverpool should have won it, and they didn't. And that's their fault, though, isn't it? They didn't score. Sorry guys, one sec, I just need to adjust this, uh, there we go, that should be better. The windows on my uh, second monitor. Right, we're back to yellow health, which is good. What sort of delay do I stream with? None. <laughs> Hi Phil, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I've only ever been to Mersey Island like a couple of times, but uh, I've not really done much more than go to that little bit where people do the crabbing and whatnot. My missus like likes one of the seafood restaurants there. I'm not much for seafood myself, but she does. Uh, neon, it's it's in the uh, about section of my stream. I was just thinking I'd crossbow him, but I don't have a crossbow. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, it's an Asus. It's 165 hertz, 1440p, but I can't remember the model number, dude. Asus ROG Swift 27 something. But the specs are all on my Twitch homepage if you want to have a look. I 
Have I won a BR match yet? I've only played about six rounds. I finished second with seven kills on my last round. So no, I haven't, but I, I should have won the last one I was in on Wednesday. Hello. It was really fun. It was really, really good. Had a great run, got lots of kills, just died in the last 1v1, so finished second. I had a lot of rounds where Hello? I couldn't even get a shot. Hello? Hey. How are you doing? Hey, you got any water? I haven't, no. I got robbed. Alright, man. I saw a dream man coming down here. They took everything. Yeah, it's all been looted. Yeah, that'll be it, Lemon, the oyster shed. That'll be it. Only I'm not that keen on it myself, though. In general. I heard you mention Mercy and the Strood brings back childhood memories. Yeah, seafood and me. I, I, I don't go much more than uh, prawns and cod and, like, basic shit, you know? Like, anything that's a bit more uh, oyster-like or whelk-like or fuck knows what else, you know? <laughs> Ugh, not for me, sorry. Oysters, I, I can't get my head around at all. Uh, Phil, thank you very much. Rye Rob, on Whitey Truffles, Mini Mac, thank you. I like white crab meat. White crab meat is amazing, but uh, the brown crab meat is everything that's wrong with seafood, as far as I'm concerned. Mr. Handgun did I, oh well. I, I prefer lobster than crab. I, the, the actual, like, the Happy white Monday. crab meat, I prefer to lobster by a mile, but brown crab meat. I'd much rather have lobster. I think we've got to go over that way. They're lo lobsters are the rats of the sea, are they? Interesting. I, it, the, the, the game yesterday was, uh, I, I think, on balance, certainly in extra time, United deserves to go through, and they did. Oh, God, somebody got a hard time of it. I think it was a bit harsh to kill him there, don't you think? But, yeah, I, I think, based on extra time, United deserved to go through. I think that's fair enough, but Liverpool had plenty of chances. They just didn't take them. That's how football works, isn't it? Frog champ, it's it's the rules. If you take your teeth, if you take your shirt off, uh, you get a yellow card. He, he should have known that. It's his own fault. Yes, he had a training shirt underneath, but you're not allowed to take your your, your playing shirt off. It's it's a rule. It, it's always been the case. It's happened so many times. If you're dumb enough to celebrate in that way, very cool for him, and he, he looks a really good good player, doesn't he? He's very very coolly finished there as well. Like that that was he like he, he caused the break up in play, I think, and then he was up the other end scoring, you know, that was insane. But it, it happens all the time. Sometimes sometimes it's really annoying. It's annoying when it's your player getting sent off. But if you take your top off to celebrate, you get a yellow card. Everybody knows it. He'll only miss one game, I think. He'll only miss one game, which he probably wouldn't be starting anyway, so it's it's not really a big deal. 51 months almost matches my age in years, Sam. Yeah, Plum, I, I can't get my head around oysters. They don't... I, I just... I, I think I'd rather... I, I just don't... There's a lot... I just don't know, but it's not for me. Suzuki Faith, Mini Mac, Killer Swed, and Raptor. Raptor Rod, cheers for the resubs, guys. Very, very kind. Thank you. Phil, uh, cheers for the super chat, dude. Once again, thank you. Rashford's missed some sitters, but that I thought Rashford looked okay yesterday. I, th I think he might be coming back to form a little, you know. 
He missed a few. He, he, he missed a sitter, but he was off, marginally offside, so he can probably excuse himself for that one. But he missed a few sitters, but he did score, and that's what matters, you know. He kept he kept playing. He looked pretty decent on the ball. He's he was j just missing some chances, but he scored one. I think I think Rashford looked okay. Yeah, the the offside. I, 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 by the letter of the rules, as it is now, that was offside. But the fact that he's leaning makes him offside. It, it, I, it should have been given offside yesterday that goal because that's how the rules are now. But drawing the line on somebody's shoulder, but their whole legs and everything are like completely in onside. That they they are meant to be changing the rules on offside, and the sooner they do, the better. Like, it, it, like, offsides like that. And it's the whole game, not just yesterday. The whole game, it shouldn't be that way. But it is at the moment, so the, the right result yesterday, it, didn't, it, it shouldn't have been any other which way. They need to sort out the offside rule. There's talk that they're going to do that, that, uh, that, that, like, there's a rule that Arsene Wenger's meant to be backing regarding offside, which is meant to be coming in, and the sooner it does, the better. Jambon, if, if you Google it, there, there's meant to be a rule coming in that favours the attacker to stop this, like, like someone's hand or arm is sticking out or the shoulder or whatever. And where they draw the line, it's like they're not finishing a race, you know, like, like it's not, it's not an Olympic finish line and they need to draw a line to work out who's won the gold medal. I don't know if this is worth it or not, because someone's obviously been here. Hello? If there's anyone up here, I've got no gun. I'm no threat. <coughs> Alright, let's have a quick look at the map. This must be... Fuck knows where we are. It's hard to tell. I don't even know which one's the castle and which one's not, but... Loch Briac, maybe, if we go... North Terminal, would this be? I don't know. I think we might as well go this way. What's that say there? That's another castle. I think I'm going to go west and slightly north and try and get to that Loch Briac place. I'm guessing is that, yeah, kind of that way. Somewhere over there. Oh, we should probably check that, that staircase. I didn't see that as I came round. Uh, Sam, I didn't see the game, to be honest, dude. Yeah, I've got a cold. I'm, I'm spluttering along. I've got no meds that will cure it at the moment. So we'll just have to put up with it. Yay, hey, Lexa, how you doing? <laughs> is this the first day the map is open? No, I played it before. It, it's open for a test that I think started on Sunday? Maybe Saturday. I retweeted when it was happening, but yeah, I uh, I played it before, and it's back up again for a test, so we might as well have another look. I'm kind of struggling to work out. Like, the sea line's almost going north there. must just be that angle around. Really hard to use this map, the uh, the map, like the RP map as it were. I'm going to follow the line of the beach and as the beach bends round to the left again I'm going to keep going straight I think this way.
Uh, Buzz, the guy killed HB because HB turned his crossbow to kill him with it. Uh, I'm really, I really feel a bit aggrieved that the crossbow got bugged and I couldn't loot it, but never mind. I guess we're doing okay, though. The biggest issue I've got right now is the lack of bandages, but that's kind of why I'm heading towards the town. I'm going to need to get something to bandage with. Quirker, the, the uh, part two should be out Saturday. Um, it was meant to be Saturday, just gone, but should be Saturday for sure. That's a boar. Who was the dude that's saying Ten Hag has only had a season and a half, by the way? I can't remember who it was. But while the server was restarted, I had a quick look. His start date was April 2022. <laughs> Without wishing to dredge up all of the old news, he has had two full seasons and two full uh, summer transfer windows. Although he hadn't seen the team very much when he was trying to work out who to be buying. But he started before the season started though, Jambo. Maybe he was given the job and then he started a bit later, I don't know. A quick Google says he, he was taken on in April, but maybe he, he ended up starting a little later. But he did, have the, uh, he did have the summer transfer window and then the whole season. He was in charge on day one of the season, right? Yeah, but that's fine, because there is no, like, in April, if that's when you've been announced, there's normally an, another few games till the end of May, but it still doesn't change the fact that he started from the big, like, he was in the job well in advance of the start of the season, he did the whole pre-season, right? Like, there's not much difference between April and May. I think I've been here before, but we need to loot this quite thoroughly. I'm going to have to try and luck out on a bandage. I don't think we're going to get very lucky. So this is Strand. I don't even remember. I was expecting not to be coming here. Ah, so we we were at the old terminal. That must be how we where we crossed over. I don't really know. And then we're at Strand. Okay, so I wasn't as far over as I thought. We might end up going a different way, perhaps, but... Found any good loot on this map? Uh, not really, no, but... We're only barely been in the spawn zone. Evo, I, I don't know, dude. I've not seen anything of, of it, to be honest. Audi and F1, I really haven't. But uh, I think the current season is pretty turgid. That much I do know. He's got shot at by a crossbow. <laughs> he dipped back behind the... Uh... Yeah, there he is. Shit, the mace is good, isn't it? <coughs> I 
This is probably the dude that shot at HB. This is probably the dude that shot at HB in the first place. With his sawn off dog shit. He was starving to death, which is probably why he fired at me. I've had a few BKs, and I've, now I've got this shitty one. So we had a few big boy BKs, and now we're ended up with this shit. I can't believe how quickly that just mowed him down there. That's madness. Oh, he has got a big BK. Let's have that one. I missed that. Should probably take his crossbow. It helps me on the uh, on the bandages front no end as well, doesn't it? Or was he thinking he I think he thought he was definitely bossing that interaction and uh now he did. <laughs> Just, there we go. I think that's okay. Let's have one more. I think six is definitely enough, probably. There needs to be a zombie boss modelled off of Benny Hill and he runs around really fast and slaps you in the head. That sounds uh groundbreaking. <laughs> Kingdom, thank you very much for the support. <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> Cheers for the super chat, dude. Cheesy peas, uh, all new cheesy peas. Well, Jambon, it makes no difference, does it? The, the point is, somebody earlier was saying he'd only been in charge for a Cheers, season and a half. And chat, if he started July the 1st, that means he's had the entire summer. All right, he doesn't get to see the players until pre-season, but... He's had an entire pre-season and an entire season and then another entire pre-season, you know. So he's had two full seasons in charge. It, it, well, he had the whole of last season, then all of this so far. So not two full seasons yet, but uh, I guess what the dude is saying, season and a half this season, but I don't know. He, he, he hadn't started midway through the season, like just gone, had he He'd done the whole season? Well, it doesn't make any difference, Jambon, whether he started in April or not. Like, if he'd started taking over in April, but the bit that was really mattering to me was that he'd, he'd done the whole of the first season. So this is his second full season he's managing now, right? I know he's not finished it yet. I haven't seen the Klopp interview, to be honest, but yeah, I, by all accounts, it does sound like he was a bit of a dickbag. <laughs> What, what top was the other dude wearing? Maybe I should take his top. Let's have a quick look. I had a firefight here on the last run. I ruined it anyway. Right, let's have a quick look at the map. Emergency services training. I don't know where we should go. Maybe we should try and go to the airfield. North and west. All the United fans know the owners of the problem, but he has had lots of money to spend, though, right? Like, um, uh, United are... I think that maybe it might be different now Radcliffe's around. You never know, but... The owners may well be a problem, but they have had money to spend. They haven't maybe improved the facilities like they should be and whatnot, and they, they may be saddling the club with debt, but he's not... Ten Hag has had money to improve the squad, right? Like, it's not the owner's fault who Ten Hag chooses to buy. <coughs> Tinned Haggis. He has had backing. Whether, whether they're spending their own money or whether they're spending the club's profits... Ten Hag has certainly had his opportunities in the transfer market thus far. It's 
So someone said earlier, is Haggis in? There we go. Yes, it is. This is OBS update has really moved all my windows around. Kind of sucks. Hopefully, I'm not getting killed while I'm doing this, but. There we go. North and west, I think I said. Prog champ, yeah, maybe I should have done, but I've been having some issues with, with this running, so I did the update straight away. The issue I'm having now is just with the way the windows are formatted. It's not really a big deal. Uh, I just need to get them formatted properly again, but I wanted to do the update because I've been having some issues while streaming. Kingdom, cheers for the support, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe just hold off then. <laughs> uh, per Mac, I, I don't watch a great deal of streams at the moment, dude. Uh, mostly, if I'm on the internet watching stuff, it's on YouTube, and it's mostly not Daisy related as a rule. Uh, I do, uh, I do occasionally lurk streams. I used to lurk streams more when I was editing, but uh, I, uh, I haven't watched a Daisy stream much this year at all, really. I saw a tiny bit of, of uh, HB when he was meeting Jinxie on Alteria. <coughs> I, 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 I don't, as a rule, watch a great deal of DayZ for obvious reasons, you know, if you're doing a lot of streams. Thank you. My wife is getting mad because I keep giving you money and TRMZ says, Paula, it's okay. Jason is doing it for a good cause. <coughs> Kingdom, thank you very much. Who's Jason? Haggis can fly but chooses to hop. <laughs> oh, so good. Sandwich time. Eleven broken legs and counting. Dark vet, dude. Thank you for the eleven monthening. Thank you. What have we got in the sandwich today? It is egg mayo, cherry tomatoes and parsley. A little bit of parsley. Very good. house is over there I reckon that is probably <coughs> what knows what it probably is actually I've no idea it's quite hard to navigate I don't think I'm gonna to go to those houses I'm gonna keep going this way try and go to this airfield Check out that town called Underdevelopment. <laughs> if I go there, maybe I won't die. I'm guessing that's what the thing is. That's a military star. Maybe we should go there then. Do 
you know what? I don't think that is military stuff. I think that's a tower. I think it's just a town. I've been there before. Yeah, I don't get to choose the ads, none. None so vile. So hungry. The sword off Mosing is a fucking abomination. Still the most powerful gun I would have if I could find some bullets for it though. Let's see. <coughs> Worker, well uh, have a go at doing it. <laughs> Get to be the boss, dude. Very good. Fuck, the only reason to short to sawn off a Mosin is is to make it take up less space, you know. Unless you, maybe you want to be all careful like and look like a new spawn, but then you've got a Mosin in your pants or something, right? But beyond the, the fact that it fits in more easily, there's literally Notice no other reason senpai. to do it. I think him shadow band TRMZ love. Subby, uh, shadow bands are on me. <laughs> Just for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, this way. Seem to have two maps all of a sudden. Let's try and get over that hill and see where we end up, shall we? Enrayed. No, well, that's where I'm going. I'm still eating the sandwiches, Sneaky, uh, and the gout seems to not be gout at all. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> that's about it. It is slightly less powerful when sawn off, and also less accurate as well. It does still take the PU scope though, if you can find one. <laughs> Jamie, don't really have any choice, dude. Yeah, I'm going to have to be. It's never going to go away. What's the weather in England? It's quite warm, actually. Very sunny where I am. It was... Uh, I don't know what the temperature is. Maybe uh, this morning when I was out walking, maybe it was like 14 Celsius, something like that. But it felt really warm. Here's the airfield. That's where we're going. It felt really warm, really good. Like More like spring is in the air, you know? mayo on my fingers now. I, I I went out for a walk like I try to most days and I ended up with my uh, coat off. I had a like a fairly light jacket on. Uh, I ended up just with my polo shirt and jeans because I was too fucking hot. It's snowing where I live. Oh, that sucks military base on the hill there. That could be interesting. Uh, Substatica, thank you. Uh, well, 
Not, not yet. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. is walking the dog today. I, I walked the dog most of last week, but she's walking the dog today, so I was on my own. I went, I, I incorporated a trip to the supermarket on my walk and got, got a few things we needed, like milk. <laughs> Minus one, fucking hell. It's to be a big town the other side of the airfield as well. <clears throat> I really need to finish this sandwich. I probably should have done that before I got to the melee base, but never mind. Ooh, military loot as well. I, I found a mag. Take that. <laughs> Take that as well. Come it, that's not so bad. Bison mag, not so good. Right, I need that because we lost the other one. When I was cruelly knocked out by uh, HB and his big bully friend. <laughs> <laughs> that then killed him. Get to these trees. So the airfield's like butting onto the edge of a big town by the look of it. That's kind of kind of cool. No point shooting that there. It'll end up being lootable. Didn't want the boots. I probably should have took them, but never mind. It's always a good time. Watch the TRMZ, TRMZ love. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to triple gun, I suppose. The shotgun's kind of decent with, with rubber, sorry, not rubber, with uh, proper buckshot in. I think we're going to have to use it for now. Making sure they're all red. I think I dropped the other ones, but just making sure. Okay. Good. Think about fixing some shit. I might just fix the gloves. Oh, I had sewing kits. Somebody, somebody stole my sewing kits. They did. You can play Daisy solo. A lot of people start solo. If you play in uh, servers and you've got a mic and you stay around the spawn zones, you can meet people to play with in the game. You really can, so I won't worry too much, dude. You. If you play, uh, if you play a server local to your area where people are going to speak your language, stay near the spawn zones and talk to new spawns. You can probably find some uh, players to team up with, dude. Right, I finished the sandwich. Now I can uh, get back to focusing.
There's definitely been players around here. I think we'll, we'll go with the shotgun in hand for now. Oh my god, that's made things tricky. <coughs> I'm going to have to drop the BK. Uh, is that a... I thought I saw a bag then. That's a good choice now, because the BK is only chambered. We can now chamber the M16 anyway, can't we? We'll use, we'll use the, the M16 like it was the BK. I could have fixed the gloves with the duct tape. I suppose I could have done that, but... open through that window here right now. Duct tape will fix those gloves, yeah, because they're sewing kit gloves. Duct tape does the same job as a white sewing kit, right? So. some loot knocking around. <coughs> so someone's been here. All the doors are open, but they could have been here a while ago. Hunting scope as well. I don't want the Vega, I don't think. I definitely want that. How the fuck am I going to start carrying this stuff? Let's get rid of that. We can find a mag for the M16. We can fix it up and be in a pretty decent position with it. I think we want to go to those shots just yet. Another grenade. The lack of any ballistic protection is somewhat of a worry. As is the fact that I keep finding mags for the for the ones I don't need. Let's drop that. I've got a helmet, I suppose, but I'm meaning more the, uh, the vest. So, well, there. That's kind of handy. <laughs> This is this is not feeling particularly safe so far. What's that one? SSG mag, don't need that. I want, I want to drop the uh, crossbow, but it's so useful John in an area Andrew like this. Donated $50. Good luck. Looking forward to our game in April once I am back in town. Me too, dude. Hopefully it'll go okay. Uh, thank you very much for the support, dude, and see you on the 8th. Uh, cheers for the support. Lone Star, Wookie, thank you very much. Uh, cheers for tuning in. Optimal speed, Subby, Die Man himself. Oh, fuck me, that's going well. Uh, cheers, guys. Thank you. Drop the sawn off, what are you doing? Well, it would be the most powerful gun I have, dude. Why is the crossbow so effective? Because it's balanced in the game, dude. It's it's really slow to load. It, it doesn't one-shot a player wearing a plate carrier or anything, but it's, it, it's, <coughs> it's very, very good in the game because it's so slow to reload. You have to craft the bolts and whatnot, you know. In terms of game balance, it would make no sense if it was weak as piss, would it? You know, it, it, what would be the point of having a crossbow that was not very good, given how it how long it takes to reload and how much space the bolts take up in your inventory? You know, like if it was as powerful as a sporter or something, you'd just use the sporter. 
And I, I don't think getting hit by a crossbow bolt is probably a very good idea in real life, but I, when you're talking about real life and whatnot, it's never a good idea to mix that with game mechanics, you know? Like, as far as games go, things that are very slow to reload tend to be more powerful uh, because they have other drawbacks that make them harder to use in the game, right? McDonald's and Monster, eh? What a combo. Oh, how I ruined his vest. I don't think... I'm sorry, backpack. I don't think I hit him in it. Uh, Mr. Fear... Fear... Fear me? I think that's fear me, right? Like, fear me, I guess. Oh, babe. Oh, my word. Right, we're going to have to drop the crossbow. These cars seem to be the, the things that have got the best loot so far. <coughs> Maybe whoever came through first didn't check them <coughs> properly or didn't check them at all. I thought I saw a box of bullets for that, but maybe I was, uh, maybe I was dreaming. Ooh. Right, now the, 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 uh, the Mosin's gonna have to go. Very pleased with the press vest, that is very, very good. So what are we rocking? We, we've got nothing with range yet. We are close to being really well off. But we ain't quite there yet. I'm, st I'm not amazingly happy that I've dropped that crossbow, but I think... Oh, that's good. <coughs> I think it's the right choice. <coughs> Hello again, old man. Memphis, thank you very much for the support, I think. Maybe not for the uh, massively disgraceful ageism. <laughs> Just for the support, dude. Good, uh, good mojo. Thank you as well. How much more do you enjoy normal Daisy over the BR version? PSO, they're just completely different games. The Battle Royale version is great for a, a quick blast, but it's not something you could play every day forever, you know, like... <laughs> The Battle Royale mod is immensely well made, and I really enjoy it, but it's still BR, you know. It... With the box of AK ammo, do we need the shotty? We're, we're close, yeah, maybe we could drop the shotty. It might be enough. One full mag is probably enough to win the first firefight, I guess. <coughs> it does feel a bit of a gamble still, but... I never saw those. <coughs> I don't think we need those two bullets. F and X. With no mag, that's no go then. Is it near as the night time? It feels like we're close to night time now. It feels to have come around really quick. It's got properly dark nights on this server, so night time is going to be tricky. We know there's players here because we've heard the shots. Twenty round. Oh, that's nice. Twenty round mag. 
definitely was uh, fine to be dropping the shotgun now because we've got a small mag for the M16. We're kind of set now. With that, we haven't got any range, so we're not fully geared or anything, but we're doing pretty well. I'm going to leave the M16 tap fired as the, like my mid range gun and use the AK as more of my uh, CQB. Don't you need to go code brown while hiding somewhere safe and maybe heal a bit? <laughs> no, I could go. I could go here if you want to. At least I know what the what the uh, the gamble is now. Will I get back to full health? I'm gonna go and uh, punch <coughs> some zombies badly. Why can I not have that? Can have it. How many people are on this map at once? Uh, I think it's up to 50. <coughs> Laying down on a tower is probably better than standing on a tower. I'd say. Uh, delivering just like most of them do, isn't it? My god, it's... Oh. oh, there we go. That's the... Funny enough, that's the mag I thought I saw. You've got great survival instincts, damn straight. <laughs> I'm full health, so there you are. If that was the bet, I'm full health. Close quarters battle, I guess. Oh, close quarters. CQC is more accurate, I guess, but close quarters combat. Well, close CQB. It's close quarters anyway. Have I? I don't. I ought to take that smoke grenade. I, I've seen smoke grenades <laughs> used very well. I very rarely use them. I did use one to try and escape the other day, actually. So, on the airfield, I was being shot at, and I used a smoke grenade to run away, and it did work, actually. I held it in my hand as I was running. So, actually, on a stream last week, I did use a smoke grenade to uh, reasonable effect. How's the game? Wipe out the map yet? I have been trying, inspired by Muller, basically, to try and pick up more smoke grenades and actually use them, and they, they can be vaguely helpful, you know, I just don't use them enough. Doomsday, thank you very much. Memphis, thank you as well. Good mojo, thank you before that. <laughs> oh my god, that's a Mosin in his hand. <coughs> that's some fancy shooting and no mistake. You got a Mosin bullets? I don't know, but I ought to load the M16 mag into the M16. That much I do know.
Ah, <clears throat> Dufster, yeah, you're right. I should put the 30 round in. I, I, I just literally did it as I was there, but you're right. I have got the 30. <coughs> Take the ten round mag. He's only got one bullet in it. Badly damaged Mosin with one bullet. I was extraordinarily worried that we were going to get killed there. I did get him. That, so that's the second time today. That's kind of annoying, but yeah, it is what it is. Afternoon. Ash Brain, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Did I loot? I didn't loot all of this, did I? I'm amazed you hear from such extreme range. Me too, Picky. Fucking <laughs> sucky bastard. <laughs> Redline don't want to pay. Redline's probably not here for the time being, but he'll pay out when he is, rest assured. <clears throat> Awful convenient. Kevin, thank you for the super chat. Cheers for coming in, dude. Appreciate it, man. This is quite hard to see. He's done a runner with chat's points. He's on the Dow trading them. Yeah, he's, he's trading them for, uh, <coughs> I don't know, Apple shares. Didn't I find a box of AK ammo early? Yeah, I loaded it and then I fired a shitload of them at that some dude. Hello TRMZ, you make great videos and streams. Keep it up. Greetings from Germany. Again. Thanks again, Kevin. Cheers for the super chat, dude. Thank you. Decent food. I don't think we need anything else. Let's go. I don't think night time is massively long, but I really can't go too far. Got no head torch, got even got no battery, I don't think, but we're gonna have to just uh not travel too quick. Um where the sun don't shine. Keep up the great work. So it was dark when the stream started, which was what when I got in the server was about two and a half hours ago, so uh, I'm guessing about twenty minutes of dark and then uh, about two hours of daylight seems to be about the ratio, roughly. There was an FNX with a flashlight. Yeah, no mag though, and I've got no bullets, so I, I didn't pick it up. There's no battery in the flashlight, so running around with a pistol flashlight, flashlight, pistol flashlight, and no <laughs> bullets in it doesn't seem like a smart play, really. I 
underscore love underscore motor underscore boating has just donated one hundred dollars. Hi. Dude, holy shit! Thank you very very much for the for the. I know you said super chat there. <laughs> so so uh, I'm used to saying it. Fuck me dead. Motorboating. Thank you for the continued support. I really really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very very much. Thank you for the uh, for the tip. <laughs> Incredibly kind. And with only the message hi. So hello. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers for the support, man. Thank you very, very much. Hockey Puck, uh, thank you very much. Shooting where the sun don't shine. That seems like a plan. I heard the sun shines out of Amish Zed's ass. Cheers, my Boeing dude. Thank you. Did you actually enjoy Tenet, by the way, Ish? I, I've only seen it once, and I spent most of the film frustrated. One or two people tend to have liked it. Through the history of this, like, reading it in chat, a handful of people liked it, but most people hated it. Or disliked it, let's say. Freaky, we normally play with, it, with, with uh, as a group, Sauer, Muller and myself, roughly once a month, as, on the whole. So we did one a couple of weeks back, so two or three more weeks maybe. There you go, look, he's paid out. Uh, Kevin, thank you for the sub and Cheers for the sub, dude. I don't think it's a movie you need to make sense of, just enjoy the ride. I just... I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy it. It was too grating for me. I, if you like it, you like it. Your, your sense in films is somewhat suspect. Everyone knows it, you know. <laughs> I, I really like Chris Nolan, but that for me was the one where he was like, he crawled up his own ass and died. I thought it was like, I don't know, he had some kind of like drunken idea and then pressed ahead with it, trying to be too clever. Why not dry up? Uh, if, if I'm not light blue, it makes no difference, so... If I'm consistently light blue, it'll make any odds, but not really other than that, no. How the hell can I see where I'm going? I can't really, dude, to be honest. I'm, I am struggling a bit. It does make a tiny difference to weight. Depends what's wet, though. Like, uh, particularly plate carriers and stuff. It can make a small difference, but... I saw a trailer for Roadhouse somewhere or other. Yeah, I'm not convinced myself. I think I saw it on YouTube. Actually, not many things are uh, properly wet, like though those are. Uh, Kevin, thanks again. Dutch Roller, thank you for the bits too. What makes DayZ stand out for you as your main game? In the, in the survival uh, sandbox genre, it's the one that creates stories for me, you know, like... Most other ones, uh, without naming names, but most other ones don't feel very storified, you know, like... Like, when you when I play DayZ, I feel like I'm in it in, t enough, you know, I'm immersed in it enough, so that... Whether it's just random interactions and having a laugh with random people, or PvP, or team-ups, or whatever... It's the most immersive. When you meet other players and then you choose to be friendly or you choose to be evil or whatever else happens, it's the one that generates the stories best, you know, like... A lot of other games might have a few nicer toys, maybe different vehicles and maybe different things that can be, uh... that can be good, uh, but in terms of feeling immersive when you meet other players and the random shit that happens, nobody does it 
as well as Daisy by a mile. And it's that that keeps me playing the game. What happens when you meet other players is, is what the game is about for me. <clears throat> I might just take that off. I don't need it right now, but... I can go here really I, I don't really want to go to the rest of the airfield in the in the pitch dark I don't really know how much of the airfield we've even really covered there, there could be loads left unlooted there's a shitload of barracks over there I think I might go for those barracks as risky as it might be I'm gonna keep the M16 in my hands just because we've got more bullet capacity with it this is dodgy. No driving on this airfield. Mr. Temps, if you're playing vanilla, the press vest is the second best vest in terms of ballistic protection, so if you're playing regular vanilla with no modded or extra items in, then press vest is the second best, the best being the plate carrier. We've got a mace kill today, by the way. That is cool. Oh my god. The mace is much better against players than it is zombies, by the look of it. I can't see fucking anything. I don't even know if there's loot on the beds. I think I might drop this Mose in the middle of the Mace as in uh, Knights of the Round Table Mace. Like uh, King Arthur and his uh, guys. That, that kind of mace. Let's open another one with a knife when I've got this. Yeah, it's in the game. You can find them at castles and whatnot. Same sort of places where you might find the sword and the knight's helm and suit of armour and shit. Yeah, the mace is pretty big. If I need space, I'll just start using the knife. And ditch it. Started drinking Yorkshire Gold thanks to you, dude. Get on to them and tell them. I need that sponsorship. The foot symbol's like a warning legend. Like, if you fall from a height or whatever, you might... It, think of it like a sprain or something. There's three levels to it. If your foot's damaged and then you get shot in the leg. Let's say it, it's showing as level two. And then you take a shot to the leg. You're much more likely to break your leg. Or if you fall... And then you fall a bit further, and the second fall might break your leg. It's, it's like a symbol warning you that your leg is damaged. And you're more at risk of uh, busting it. Which is quite hard. I think I've seen a new jacket yet, have I? Oh no, I don't think I need those pants. Definitely saw a mag just then. UMP mag. I don't know if I want those. They're a bit brighter. Is it getting lighter or is it my imagination? Fucking hell. This is 
hard. It might not matter too much that I've not got any range at the moment, you know, like I've got well, I've got one bullet for the for the Mosin, but with the assault rifles, we are pretty well off. I just don't want to be getting in any long range kind of gunplay for a time. Packed pumpkin seeds. Oh. Oh my god. It might be time to go AFK and make a tea and then when I get back perhaps it'll be light. Snare trap? Holy shit, somebody actually made that. Take goggles off. They don't do anything, dude. They don't make it darker, if that's what you think. Tactical goggles don't make it... They're not sunglasses. They don't make it darker at all. They just take away sun glare, so... They're not hampering my ability to see. getting a North Yorkshire tea emote. Sponsorship only. <laughs> Sponsored emote only. I do need to go AFK actually. I, I'll try just try to vault a wall which was naive. I have a funny feeling. I came here before and it was up before and I died there was people sniping on these apartment buildings over there. And much Always like then, I don't think I had any range. Of yours. Keep running, mate. Just double check something. See, the server's full. I, I, I can't, I can't leave because <laughs> I'll end up a fan from Detroit, stuck in a queue. Michigan. So maybe I won't make a cup of tea, maybe I'll just fill up my drinks bottle, but I need to go AFK. I best not leave the server though. The queue is 21, fuck. I don't have time for this shit. That zombie's got a head torch. I'd like to. Oh my god, this is dark. <laughs> I would, I would like to be able to go and get the zombie's head torch, but I think we've got to carry on. Holy shit. Paul, in all our preaching to you of the holy way, have you learned nothing? Your craving for loot leads you to cause miseries and murders to no end. We pray you repent, sir. But only after a few more loot. No repent. No repent, no surrender. <laughs> right, guys, I'm not going to make a tea because it's going to take me too long. But I'm going to quickly fill my water bottle up and stuff. Uh, Michael, thank you for the super chat. Oza Doza, thank you for the resub. Kyle, thank you. Iron Balls, thank you very much for the support as well. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you.
Forest has been docked four points. They've announced it, have they? Blimey, I didn't know those were announcements were coming today. Is there going to be an announcement on Everton as well? So they got their, they lost four points from the last one. They're going to get those four points docked again, aren't they? That sucks. Iron Balls, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to get the achievements on Steam, Dennis, if you want to do the Steam achievements, you have to play on official, dude. You can't do it any other way. You can't get the achievements on community servers. Just keep playing. We don't care that it's dark. Dude, I need to go to the loo and fill my water bottle up. It's just a good time to do it while it's dark, right? I, I do need to go and get a drink, so might as well do it now. Meanwhile, Man City with 115 charges. Yeah, there's a big difference, though. Nottingham Forest will have been... Uh, keen to work with the FA whereas uh, whereas Man City are contesting every single charge so if you get charged once and you admit it they can come to a conclusion Man City are dragging it on and on and on aren't they so it's annoying everyone wants Man City to be dealt with except Man City fans but they're, they're contesting them all right I'll be back in a sec
Uh, how many dies have, times have I died? I only once to change my character, other than that we've not died. <clears throat> have a look at the map. Oh, fuck. I fucking hate this map. <laughs> I really hate them. Like, as in this, this map, I much prefer the other one. This one's tr really tricky to use. So, that's a big town to the north. I think maybe we might just head north and keep an eye out for, like, hunting areas and see if we can get lucky on something to to make the Mosin viable. Like a PU scope and some more bullets. Where's the compass gone? Eat these for a sec. Oh, so north must be kind of that way. Yep. Oh, there's some more military there. Look, we ought to go to that. I never looted those bits. There was some shots that sounded like they might have been from there, though. There were some shots much earlier. <laughs> Harley, well, good luck. Good luck for us, us then. It's all, it's all good. I think, I think they go for like major. Major names and celebs and shit, you know, not uh, not twat streamers like Watching me. Watching from the U.S. Virgin Islands. We definitely heard shots from over there. There's a shitload of containers there. I think the shots we heard as we arrived were from the ATC. I think we might as well loot the last bit of the airfield, though. Have a good one, Mance. You still not got my name right, lol. I keep calling you David Clark, don't I? Daft Clark. Well, Daft, thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> Davta. <laughs> Just for the super chat. It looks like David. I can't help it. That was very convincing. Well, fair play. Yeah, I do look better without the orange jacket. That is definitely the truth. Right, let's just eat the rest of this shit. North is opposite south, blimey. Harley Quinn, thank you, by the way. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Prince Eugen, uh, watching from the US Virgin Islands. Well, thank you. I think we ought to stick with the M16, actually. I hate that I've aggroed a zombie outside from up here. We ought to be checking these. These were cracking for loot. The, the trucks were the best Up place the to find loot you. before. There's another one. The Humvees, I should say. Teak, sir, thanks for coming in. I guess the forest points redu deduction helps uh, helps a few others around. If Twining is offered off a team sponsorship, would you switch? Gutsy, I, I've never really drank Twinings, to be honest. I mean, I've probably had it at some point. But I'd have to try it and really like it. I wouldn't just switch because they paid me, no. Not that it would happen anyway, but no, I I really like your shitty, so... I'd have to have to try it and believe it before I would do. I need to 
your gap in the fence, please. Oh, God. Is that a gap there? There's a gap there. Shit, this thunder is loud. TRMZ is the day part of day Z. I looped in triple carry, therefore I am. <laughs> I like that. A triple carry. I, I need to triple carry, triple carry. Therefore, I am. I really want to use the Mosin. Here's the thing, though. If I find a PU scope, and if I find more Mosin rounds, I'm still struggling to drop one of the other guns. I'd probably drop the AK. Well, I definitely would now because I've just got another round, another mag for the M16. But I wouldn't like it. I could probably drop the AK74 now. But I don't want to. Who am I kidding? That mace has done me really well. I need to keep the mace. I think I should stash it, yeah. I'll think about it. The thunder's crazy loud, Cruncher. I think my gloves are ruined, which sucks. I did do some punching with them, I think. Need new gloves. I should have fixed them with the duct tape while I had the chance. I think I'm going to go for that instead. If I can. I think I'm going to go for that. I don't know. That. It's going to be uh, hard to find in this uh, level of visibility. Oh, fuck off. They're very John McClane-esque, these fences. I'm right here now as well. I kind of wish I'd got my, uh, I think it's kind of this way, I wish I'd got my gun out, sorry compass out and, and gauged it because now I've got no fucking clue. I think we want to go kind of this way, ish. I was looking towards those big mountains, I think we're going to go this way and see but this might be a mistake. I think I'm going to drop the baby AK, sorry, the big AK somewhere as well once we get a bit further away. Uh, three, four, I, I think, have a look at the Tissot PRXs. Hi. I don't know if that's dollars or pounds. If it's pounds, you might be able to squeak an automatic PRX for that kind of money. But if it, if you want to look smart at a wedding and you want it to be kind of bluish, bluified, I think the PRX is uh, is a winner. They do a quartz one as well, but yeah, I'd go for that. The quartz one is uh, somewhere under 300, I think. For the amazing entertainment and the life lessons. You're a great man. <coughs> uh, Sue, thank you very much for the 11 months. Cheers for tuning in. Uh, Scrap, thank you as well. Big show. Uh, I'd like to buy an eye for David. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, Seiko Presage is decent as well. I quite like those as well. I definitely think you're worth looking at those. There's a the one I actually uh, gave away 
during the charity stream was a Seiko Presage with a blue blue dial, and they're quite nice as well. Very good for that kind of thing. Dice Coral, it is a little bit Oyster Quartz-esque, isn't it? But it's just a, it's just another integrated bracelet. But I'd, I'd like to see Rolex bring back the Oyster Quartz. I don't think they ever will, but it would be interesting. They'd be crazy money for what they are, though. They wouldn't bring the Oyster Quartz back and sell them for, like, less than an OP, would they? Anyway. Map's always in the title, Sholo Forever. It's always in the title. This is Scalar Sake. I don't think I'm going to find this heli. I kind of regret it now. I don't even know if I'm going on the right line. I've no idea. I definitely agree. I'd like a sponsorship with my with a with my logo on. Yeah. Dark Vet, no. I, Redline brought up March Madness earlier and I couldn't even remember what it was. The only time it ever gets brought up is probably in chat and I'd forgotten. I didn't even know it was basketball until earlier today. So we played Scalar Sake in the past. I've, I've streamed it in the past, but it's open for a test again at the moment. Uh, it's being made by someone called Vori and Dexter who was in the chat briefly earlier today. And it's a work in progress. It's based on uh, a couple of islands uh, around Scotland. Or based on some areas around Scotland. And it's kind of cool. It's still a work in progress, though. And right now I'm fucked. It's a bit, a bit frustrating that we're getting such bad weather. So close after after the, the, the night time. You know? It makes it impossible. I think the new uh, the new white dial Speedy looks great. I'm not going to buy one for many reasons, but I think it looks good. I've never been to any whiskey distillery, dude. No. Pizza. I've never seen any of the moon swatches in the flesh either. <laughs> uh, soup. Uh, Sprat. Thank you again. Cheers for the support. I don't know if I'm anywhere near this heli or not. Speedies are coming down in the market. They are not in the. Uh, they are not in. If you want a white dial one, unfortunately, but yeah, every, everything has come down in the market lately. Not quite everything, but most things have, haven't they? You know, so. It feels like this is dull, but if if much work, watch market talk, it feels like the. The, the massive decrease in secondary prices has probably just about hit the bottom as a guess. So yeah, if you were holding off trying to get a bargain, maybe now is the time. It feels like it's just sort of plateaued. What months encompass the soccer season? It starts in August and then ends early May. based on a real island called Scalasake. I can't even say it. It's got authentic weather, that much I know. Oh my god. Well I ain't getting the I ain't getting the uh, heli anymore am I? Easiest choice this month out of the way. Keep running. Bronson, thank you.
I was meant to be dropping the AK and I haven't done. I just I think we've got to get on that road and just follow it. I'm just going to follow the road loop loosely and see if it leads somewhere. I think that's all I can do. I haven't, definitely haven't given any financial advice. Well, maybe watch market predictions, I suppose. But yeah, that, I don't believe buying a watch is ever a financial uh, investment. Though. So yeah, I wouldn't think that's a very good idea. Despite all the fucking Instagram hype and God knows what else, all the, all the uh, injection of fucking hypers all around it, it's not really an investment. Yeah, There's certainly worse things to You're waste your money on. Yet again. Keep running and gunning. Any other suggestions for your own wedding? I, I think if you want something that's kind of smart and you want that kind of money, Seiko Prasad or Tissot, or Tissot PRX are the first two I would look at, without a doubt. Other than that, like somebody else said, you could have a look at the Orient range. Orient are... Uh, normally Japan only, and they are owned by Seiko, so they'll have Seiko movements. The, the only downside with an Orient is that you you have to buy it on the internet, not from a store, pretty much. So the road had a right-hand bend. What way am I running now? East. We're going east. Ah, oh, this is not good. I think we need to... So we're on a road that's running east to west and there's a T-junction that's heading south. I don't even know where it could be. Could we be near Cockroach? There isn't really a road that's running east to rest. I guess it could be one of these. And I'm I don't know. I think we're just going to go north and go towards the mile. I, th I think if we go north, we'll probably find it. It's not quite straight east to west. Seconder. Can I join the club? Thanks, mate. I think that. I think. The one I looked at is probably the one we're at. I think we're going to go this way. It's clearing up. I wish we'd. I wish it cleared up a touch sooner. We probably would have found that heli. But that's where I thought. That's where I thought MTB just above Mill, Mill Foy. <laughs> uh, Preston, thank you very much. Of course you can. There's there's no uh, there's no wrong one wrong one. Baltic do some nice stuff, Stephen. Yeah, they do. I've never owned one, but Baltic do some nice-looking dials and some nice-looking watches, for sure. <laughs> Boots, Boosty. So they make their own, do they? That's interesting. I thought they used Seiko, Seiko movements. I've never, I've never owned an Orient. I'd normally just go for Seiko. I think they're similar kind of standard, though. They're owned by Seiko, aren't they? Yeah, just buy Bumcoin. I agree with Cole. That's the answer. Bumcoin is the is the answer. There isn't a lot of hunting spawn on this map. <coughs> you seem to run quite a lot and not see many hunting stands, unless I've been unlucky. I, there's probably some summer camps that I've missed.
Never seen a Nixon, uh, dude. Never seen one IRL. Don't know a great deal about them, to be honest. That looks like a perilous journey, doesn't it? Oh, there's a castle. Oh, it's a single tower, then. This looks Scottish, doesn't it? These hills near it does look a bit Scottish. I feel like we're about to find uh, a final stand with M and James Bond knocking about the place. Does look good. Here's hoping for some actual loot. Either Scotland or Mordor, yeah. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan or Daniel Craig? Oh, Daniel Craig had better films. I don't think most of the Pierce Brosnan films were very good. Golden Eye out. Uh, Golden Eye being the massive exception, but I preferred most of Daniel Craig's actual films. Is the brightness on? Yeah, I'll turn it off. That's a good shout. Second time I've done that today. Two night times, two forgetting to turn the gammas off. I, I quite liked... I quite like... I, I, I don't dislike Pierce Brosnan as James Bond. I think he played Bond well, but his, his uh, films were a bit shite. and on the way through. I don't think... I, I don't know. I'm struggling to pick between the two of them, really. They both brought something different. I quite liked them both. Well, the Invisible Car Bond wasn't the best. I, I only personally... It, I can't remember all of them, you know. There was uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough. Uh, I can't remember the name, Goldeneye, whatever. But Goldeneye is the only one I really liked of his. I, I didn't like the others very much. But yeah, the invisible car and shit, that, that wasn't great. Right, so I finally made the made the right call and ditched the uh, ditched the AK. Kind of hoping to get lucky when we go up here, in that we might see the uh, the helicopter. It wasn't that far away from where this hill is. If we get up the top of the hill. We may still see this crash site that I couldn't find in the, in the uh, low vis. <clears throat> I haven't seen Heinlander forever in a day. I. I I don't remember really being a huge fan. I thought it was cool. I, I, I saw about five minutes of one of the early Highlanders on the telly about a year ago. And it felt like it had aged tremendously poorly. 
but I only saw a couple of minutes. That must be the big town we were looking for then. Looks like it's got a massive gas area. Yeah, I can get rid of the AK mag. That's kind of nice. Military tastic. Yeah, Civil War looks like quite quite an interesting film, doesn't it? I don't know if I want that right now. This is all just drop loot that somebody else has left. I've, I've seen the trailer for Full Guy. I think it looks dog shit myself. I very much like the cast. Emily Blunt and, uh, and Ryan Gosling. Everyone knows what I think about Emily Blunt. I, I find it hard to say, but if I'm being honest, I couldn't give two shits about Fall Guy. I hope I'm wrong, and it's really good, but the trailer makes it look fucking turgid. The trailer does not make, make me excited to watch it personally. Wouldn't a damaged plate be better than a... Maybe. It would certainly tank the first bullet better, there's no doubt. It would absolutely tank the first bullet better than the press vest, for sure. I have Highlander on Blu-ray. It's spoilt a bit because you can see all the wires and the actors hanging on them. Oh dear. kind of talking me into swapping now. to remember to actually use one of these grenades before I die, if I get the chance. Dropped BK, there's some drop loot from dead dudes here. Feels like people have been here fairly recently, but I don't know. Server restart was quite a while ago now. There's the heli. Southwest. Can I even get down the hill that side? I think I've got to go for it, right? It was interesting casting, I agree. French man with a Scottish accent and a Span... A, a, a Scottish man with a Scottish accent. Sorry, a Scottish man with a Spanish accent. It was interesting casting from that perspective. There's another military base there. A Scottish dude playing a Spanish dude and a French dude playing a Scottish dude. fancy that much. That's a cool military base. Unfortunately I'm guessing that we may not... No, there's upright zombies at it. Oh my god, that was a bigger drop than I was expecting. It's 
packed in, didn't it? Zombies are already there. I reckon somebody's at this. I feel like, well, maybe I'm close enough to cause zombies to spawn in there. I don't know. I think I'm closer, the, closer to it than it kind of feels. Uh, prog champ didn't see any darts. No, I, he's co he's causing some consternation, little Larry. I think a lot of people are out to hate him at the moment. You know, like he's a bit confident, but he's he's already he's 17 and been to a world final. And I think he's entitled to be a bit confident, you know. But uh, I've not seen a single thing of him. I I definitely think I'll end up watching the darts finals, like the actual world championships, when they come round again over Christmas. But a long way away. Uh, but no, I I ain't got time for watching darts, dude. I I did well to watch. Uh, like last week, I watched the boxing and the Liverpool uh, City game, and and the Formula One. This weekend, I watched the the game yesterday afternoon. Uh, but there's only so much time I can get away with watching sports before I end up single. Yeah, I've got to do the heli first. It looks like it's not being looted. Someone's definitely camping the heli. I can feel it in my joints. Oh, I hope you're wrong. With the, the curvature of the hill here would make no sense. I guess that if there was somebody camping it, they'd be just a bit to my left. Really like some 308 rounds here. Blaze. <coughs> as well stop anyone else having it and I can come and get back and get it if needs be. dry out. I want a bit more stamina. I could uh, I could put the pistol suppressor on the Glock and use that chambered as well. I've got one more shot in the 1911 just yet. But yeah, you're right. I could pistol suppress the Glock instead. Dick Daddy, I've not got any team ups booked right now at all other than the one with John for the, uh, the, to the charity stream team up. Oh, I did fire it. I thought I still had one. So I've I've not I've been offline since Wednesday last week. I've not really been on the internet, so I've not got any collabs booked at the moment, dude. Feels very dangerous. Where's that? That goes on the M sixteen. Suppressed M16 is not a bad thing, is it? It was worth coming just for the suppressed M16, even if we get nothing else. Press vests and deagles. That's the kind of fare that you want to find here, I'd say. Well, that was alright. It would have been nice to get a different gun, but... M16 with a suppressor is no bad thing at all. I, I dropped the Mosin on purpose, dude. I, I, I'm not using the Mosin at the moment. I I found this tundra at a castle tower, and then I hid the Mosin in the AK in a lake. I did get the DMR, Maggie, right, and that, that gives me a few more bullets for the, uh, for the tundra, which is good too. The DMR mag's not so much worthwhile, but the bullets are very good. <clears throat> Sorry guys, one sec.
village, I, I, I very often stash gear like that. It's not so often I run back. I've done it a few times lately where I run back, but more often than not, I like if I've been on this map for six to eight hours or something, I won't run back. I'll just move on. You know? We've w. not been on it anywhere Commercial. near that long yet. crouch and I couldn't fucking do it. I think we've got to have a look here. God almighty, that, that floating dude there is a bit disconcerting, right? I know there were some military zombies here, so if we uh, we don't see it, I don't, then but there either must be two or three milli, milli Zeds here at least, or else they've been killed by someone. this map have gators? Far as I'm aware, the gators are only on John McClay maps like Deer Isle and Alteria. Could be wrong, but that's the only place I've ever seen them. There may be some maps, other maps running it, and I'm wrong, but... And that's definitely another factor. You, you don't, as a rule, tend to get alligators in Scotland. <laughs> It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. I think that's a fair point. I, I don't normally go down the IRL route, but given it's designed to be like a like loosely based on Scot Scottish kind of area, alligators might not make much sense. Maybe a drunk Scottish fellow with a kilt and a sporran on, perhaps. But uh, definitely not crocodiles or alligators. They escape from the zoo. Yeah, makes sense. Need a Loch Ness Monster. There probably is one in here. There's one in here, the Loch Ness Monster. It exists, but you can just never see it. Just like the real thing. Exactly authentic to the real thing. It's definitely there, but it'll never show itself. Ah, thank you. SKS. Hmm. Ah, thank you. Uh, I, don't, I drank a drink. I think it probably was Iron Brew, Hazard. Definitely found the canned haggis. I killed a dude that had a can that was modded, and I didn't check it. I bet it was Iron Brew. It was an orange can, so it probably was Iron Brew, yeah. I should have checked it, but yeah, I found the haggis for sure. Are you looking at me? I'm not right. I'm not trying a Scottish accent. That'd be funny. <laughs> you sound doubtful. I can 100% guarantee that Nessie is real. I've seen grainy pics. Grainy pics. Sounds a bit like a porn star. Hey, I'm grainy pics. Granny picks, well, whatever floats your boat. Not for me, thanks. No king shaming. <laughs> oh dear. Come on then, in you come. Come and get a come and get a mason. Surely you should be dead by now. 
Oh, he, he took a hit, that dude. Best loot that we can find so far has been on all the broken down cars. The Humvees, anyway. This has gone alright loot-wise, I'd say. Some drop Work shit. Sucks today. Happy to take a break with your stream. Thanks for the fun. I don't want the shotgun or the shells. Uh, Tomcat, thanks for coming in. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Hopefully it, it gets a bit better. Uh, Mr. Code KO, thank you for the 22. Fork can find out. Mark Sando, see it, Bart, Preston Bloke, and Poison Black. Cheers for the resubs, guys. Thank you. Oh. I don't like that. I think Mike Myers' Scottish accent is a lot better than mine, dude. Trust me. My Scottish accent is terrible. And my my missus's parents are from Dundee, and she does an amazing Scottish accent. And from time to time, I try to replicate replicate it. And I am um, well, it makes a laugh if nothing else. Let's put it that way. I can't do a Scottish accent. I can't do really any accents really, other than Doctor Claw from uh, Inspector Gadget. I've never been slapped for doing a Scottish accent, no. Another SKS. Hmm. I think we're done here. Another Humvee out there, though. Look, we could have a look there. I wouldn't mind getting on this hill and looking back towards the uh, heli. USG. I don't think we want that. I might take the site. <laughs> Can I see the heli from over here? I feel like it might have despawned. It's still there. have a quick look back to the heli and then we're going to have to go north towards the big town I think it's really misty can I do the southeast China accent absolutely 110% no problem I, uh, I can't do it right now though Am I so good at fighting zombies? I'm not. I'm, I'm better at zombies, at zombies than I am players, though. I'm, I'm alright at meleeing Zeds, but I'm terrible at meleeing dudes. Well, it's a good job we came back and had a look, otherwise we wouldn't have got all this action, would we? Don't know whether L come for the game or the chat. Uh, Jaska, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Right, so the last time I played this map, this huge town to the north wasn't there, so... Never seen this. I've never seen this milli base before, either. Uh, maybe a little touch of both. Yeah, it can't just be the gameplay. I think I'd have nobody here if that were the case. Uh, Jaska, thank you for the three months. Uh, that's Magoo, thank you for the three months, too. Ever played the Battle Royale yet? Yeah, I've had a few goes. I uh, My best finish so far is uh, second. On Wednesday, I had about four or five rounds. I finished top ten. I, I think I did four rounds. I, I died really quick, and then in the next round, I was bugged, so I couldn't shoot and finished 20th. Uh, no, 18th. I finished 18th, and I couldn't shoot my gun. <laughs> then I had a round and finished, like, ninth or 10th, and then I had a round, got seven kills, and finished, uh, finished second. So I... Uh, I just missed out on the win, so it's, it's quite pretty fun, though. There's a there's a mod of Battle Royale Savage. Yeah, I played it Wednesday evening. It's pretty fun. United pulled a shocker in the FA Cup. I, I think if it ever comes to a time where everyone's shocked that United beat Liverpool at home, then it's really gone wrong for United. They they uh, it was a it was a hell of a game. 
Liverpool didn't deserve to get through because they they just had too much of the game second half and didn't score. Uh, so I think that the result was fair. As much as it was annoying, the, the result was fair. I don't think it was a shocker. I think just Liverpool wasted too many chances. Tony, yeah, well, uh, I, I don't know if I've been stream sniped or anything. I'm not saying I have, but yours and mine are in slightly different circumstances, I'd guess. But uh, I don't know. I, I had no run whatsoever in about four rounds, and then where, where I've had been able to actually shoot. I had two rounds where I just got shot in the back. There was an M4 on the ground at that tower. Are you sure it wasn't a UMP, dude? I'm pretty sure it was a UMP. I, uh, I'm a bit gutted that they're out at the uh, quarter-final stage. And a semi against Coventry, if they'd have still got the same draw, would have been great, you know. But uh, let's face it, City will beat Chelsea and then they'll beat United in the final. <laughs> I know that's really uh, like... Oh, God almighty, I, I, I was about to start shooting at my shadow again. It, that, that's what a sore Liverpool loser is going to say, but it's true, isn't it? Uh, Richard, well, thanks for As coming in. Started a new career in law enforcement. Stay safe, dude. More bright spot. Though we have much bigger things to worry about. All in jest. Love the stream. Where does yeah? The week before they did get a little, a little bit lucky. There's some, there's some gas area in this town for sure. Criterion, yeah. stand on my right. Oh well. I don't know how long ago it would have been, but... So the castle is gassed. I don't know if that's a temporary thing, if it's always gassed, but my gut feeling is that it's always gassed. Is that a dam over there? like a dam. <sighs> Do I have any interest in March Madness? I don't really like basketball at all, dude, so no. Sorry. It's, it's not something that really gets any coverage in the UK. We know nothing about it. If the castle had gassed, it must be Edinburgh. Oh, I don't buy whiskey around that area. On that, whatever it's called, mile. I can ha to have a flight of whiskey there. You'll need it will cost you more than the flight. Something I found out yesterday. Right, this is related to Scotland. Some some weird I, I, like. People that are of a certain age from the UK will still know this. We'll know who this is, possibly. But Supergran is still alive. A lady that appeared in a show called Supergran in the early 90s is still alive. And that's cool. <laughs> She's a Scottish lady. I think she was younger than perhaps she was portraying when she was, uh, she's 98. That's why I saw it. She was 98 years young yesterday. It popped up on my phone because it was a birthday. I, th I was going to say she was 97, but yeah, 98. There you go. Supergrand still, still alive and kicking. What about super hands? Now he's probably, uh, face first into a into a pile of vom dude only the character not the actor how many people are in the server it's full dude man time flies love you bro 50 
but we're a long way from spawn at the moment. It's quite a quite a journey to get to here. For the map, anyway. It's not that hard, but yeah, lots of people will be stuck on the spawn, I guess. Did I ever try salted porridge? No, no salted porridge for me. Big Kev, how time flies. Cheers for the 26 months, dude. Thank you. I don't know if I really want to loot this town. I don't know. I might go and have a look at the dam first. Uh, Wedders, Jaska, and Big Kev. Cheers for the resubs. Not a lot of interactions, it seems. Well, I've had a couple of kills. Uh, it's not been it's not been any different than an average day on Chernerus, I'd say, but we are a long way away from the spawn right now, like I say, so I think interactions are less likely here. We got a kill at the airfield. We got a kill in the town before the airfield with a mace. Uh, maybe leaving the airfield to try and get the heli was a mistake, but I don't know. Oh yeah, we had we had a few more interactions when we were still on the coast. There was quite a few, wasn't there? Right, when I say coast, I mean spawn zone. Hey, do you're all right, man? Average player, thanks for the 17 months. Just a quick heads up, I can see a few people talking about trying to get in or people that are in the queue. Just be aware, like don't don't carry on watching the stream once you get in the server. I'm sure you're not gonna, but just be aware that it's not a good idea. So this is the mile and Dakai Age Kelpi is up that way. That's sort of authentic Scottish I just did there. So we kind of need to go north, I suppose. Might go and have a look at that. We must be going about north, I suspect. Not about north, we're definitely going north. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this dam or not, but I would quite like to. It's just over here somewhere to the left. Wasn't it? Hello, don't shoot. Don't get your gun out. I'm good. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, sorry, I'm not either. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, I, I definitely could have fired there and didn't, so please don't kill you me now. <laughs> I got yeah, such a fright there. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I may thought I you were my other half. May I say your accent sorry, seems to be very sure. authentic for, for this particular map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're giving the place an explore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll leave you to oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, stay safe. Nah, I'm good. I'm alright. I, I don't need anything. Are you two married by any chance? We are indeed, yeah. I thought you might have been. I, 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 I just had a gut feeling. Uh, just had that, one of, that one of my friends might have killed you on uh, Alteria the other week, so apologies yeah, for yeah. that. Had nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. Mm, sure, sure. Love you, bye! That's pretty good. That we've, I've met them with Sour and Muller more than once. I thought actually, when they said uh, when they said my thought you were my partner, I was like, they, "That's the married couple, isn't it?" Those were the two that were on the factory building on Alteria the other week. What the fuck is this dam? How have I missed it? Oh, well, let's just go north for now. Oh, it's there. Look. And we, we also met them once on Chernerus and killed the husband and then tried to hold up the, the wife and she didn't want to be held up because her husband was dead. Oh, that was cool. It's nice to meet them. Just to, just goes to show, right, when I'm playing with Sarah and Muller when we meet them, they always die. When we meet them on, my, on their own, they live. <laughs> It's definitely all Sarah Muller's fault, not mine.
Shout out. I don't even know they stream Bond. If they do stream, I don't mind somebody uh, putting links in the chat or one of the mods if you can let them know, but I wasn't aware that they uh, they streamed. Maybe they do. Oh, there's a little military bit there. Look, that's cool. Popsicle, uh, if you mean the audio is out of sync to the video, it happens all the time. Like, when you're recording, you get slight acceleration or deceleration of the audio compared to the sound. It happens all the time. Uh, you can correct it in the editing timeline, if that's what you mean. But you might fire a gun and the gunshot goes, but you don't you don't hear the sound for like half a, half a second or something. Normally, the longer the longer the file, the more the... Uh, the, the the sound can be out but you can correct that in the edit you can just uh, shift the timeline of the the audio across a touch and then marry it all up and you, you can't do it by rendering you just have to put it in your editing software so you like obviously, when you put when you put edited footage into the your editing suite, you've got your video file, and then you've got your audio file, or you've got your video line, and then your audio lines. Maybe more than one, but you can usually separate the audio track and then just drag it across until it's in the right place. Usually, the best way to do that is with the right thing, like a gunshot. So you you can move the video file until the second your gun fires. So you can do it in slow mo. Like, I'm aiming down sight. As soon as the scope goes up, then you know the gunshot sounded. Then you can move the audio track until the uh, the peak of the uh, shot is in line with the gun rays. I'm going to go and uh, loot these two military bits here. I don't want to bump into the couple, though. Uh, 420 Gaza average player, thank you very much all of you. Cheers for the resubs. See, if I'd seen the other guy first, I would have shot because he had a gun in his hands. So it's kind of cool that we bumped into the, the, the lady with the cooking pot instead. When they said, do you want anything? I should have said, yeah, a leather kit or epoxy would have been good. I should have, uh, should have asked for some of that. Can I make a comment about putting keys in a bowl? You can if you want. <laughs> Back in, in yesteryear, I used to live on a road that had featured in a tabloid article for having swingers, wife swapping, sorry, not swingers, same kind of deal, but for having wife swappers on the street and they were they were in a tabloid for it uh, just before we moved in and a lot of them were still living there. It was like a kind of a funny thing. <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Right, let's go this way. I want, I want away now. Oh, they were they were like in the late mid to late sixties. Upside down pineapple is the swinger's symbol, is it? Got attacked by twenty wolves on Deer Isle's temple. Mind me. Right, which way's north? This way. I oh, just kind of, kind of does look good. I like the, the 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 mountainous kind of feeling of it. It's pretty cool. There's still more to get put into the map, I guess. But what's here is kind of good.
I don't want to go too much to the right. So at some point we're going to be getting to the edge of the map. We might be close to it now in terms of the edge of what's actually viable. I think after this we'll just go down south and try and find some people to shoot at. You know, we'll just go back towards the spawn areas and shoot dudes. So we are at the mile. That all looks kind of hilly to the north of it. And then we've got Dalgleish, Kelpie. It looks to be on a road. It looks to be about, about where that island is to the right, doesn't it? So I don't want to go just north. I kind of need to go to the east a touch as well, I think. And pick up a uh, pick up a valley, perhaps. I'll go this way a touch. We'll go down south. easy they're interesting there's a, there's a they, the color of their loafers says what they're interested in is it mm. that's a retirement community <laughs> uh, well fair enough I don't know if I've got the uh, the relevant drive right now never mind at retirement Villages has the highest rate of STDs among seniors anywhere. Even when they're seniors, they still they're still not practicing safe sex, eh? Blimey. I guess at least there's no need for the morning after pill, I suppose. Prog, I've heard nothing at all, not had any emails. Why would they care as they are at the end? Yeah, you're right, dude. Like, having something that makes your cock itchy and raw is definitely fine when you're 65. Like, when, when you're 25, like, having, like, like a really itchy penis is a bit of a problem. But at 65, yeah, it's no issue. You know, just, just, just have a scratchy cock for 10 years. It's completely fine. Jesus. It's starting to feel like maybe there's no map left, but I'm sure there is a bit of map left. I'm starting to worry that maybe we're going the wrong way. I don't know. It looked like there was kind of a road following it, but I ain't seen no road. Thankfully, Southkin, I, I'm happy enough to share that I've never had an STD in my life. Or an STI, some people call them, but STD, I think. <laughs> uh, Israel, thank you for the uh, follow on YouTube. This is Israel Bustamante. Would I admit it, Jambon, on this stream, while I was having suppositories for for very mild piles, I was talking about the minutiae of details about inserting suppositories. Uh, yes, I probably would have talked about it. Never been to prison, no. Aside from driving offences, I don't believe I've ever... Well, not true. Maybe as a kid I might have broken the law slightly, but... Uh, I, n as an adult, I've never, never done anything other than driving stuff, as in, like, going driving too quickly. Never done anything else. My nephews are eating lunch right next to me. Ooh. Always wear protection. Colin McRae's fault, the STI. Hmm. I, I don't 
don't know where to go now. This is it. This is this is it on the map. This is what. There's a bit of military there. Oh, it's another castle. Oh, that sucks. It's fucking gas. Too much gas. most like sarcastic like uninterested uh <laughs> whoa new map so cool <laughs> oh, yeah. Time to research. Uh, when Thanks did she get so sarcastic uh, i'm sorry vorium but I, I don't think robot ladies are fans <laughs> uh pixel thank you for the new sub file transfer thank you for the resub 420 huge ass thank you very much uh steezy thank you as well Hello, good sirs and madam. Top of the morning to ya. Uh, Johnny, thank you for the resub. Phil the German, thank you very much as well. I'm going to quick look up me from the emails while I wait for the server to come back. Capital letters get her going. I think it's the punctuation as well. If there's a, she reads things really differently with punctuation too. I'm, I'm not sure if I've got Q priority on this or not, and I'm not asking for it. If uh, you're watching Varian, by the way, I'm not. But I think I'll find out now because the server's back up. If I join in at number one, then that means I've got it. Which means if I know, need to go for a for a uh, code situation, I can. Uh, You were kicked off the game. Data verification error. Well, that sucks. Do the English participate in any St. Patrick's Day celebrations? Not really, Kingdom. It, it, the pubs will have some shamrocks knocking about the place and be trying to flog extra Guinness, but it's not something that... Uh, the only Add people that really celebrate are more the Irish. You, you know, like, like if there's a few Irish people knocking about, then they will, but it's not really... Uh, like, it was no significant day for most English people. They do in Liverpool. Well, Liverpool's right next to Ireland, so the, the number of people that are related to Ireland is going to be much higher, right? In the northeast of England, right on the border there, where more people maybe have moved to Ireland, and it's going to be more of a thing, right? But for most of the most of the UK, no one's going to give a shit. Knox, they they closed it to do an update to the mods earlier, dude. So there was a mod update earlier. This is just a regular restart on the hour, I think. Uh, I'm going to try and log out of Steam and log back in. Uh, Pixie Dust, thank you for the three months. Cheers for the resub. Uh, Mr. Madness, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Tasteless Foxy, thank you as well. And they, they try to like tie it in with the pubs and whatnot, but not really a big deal to most peeps. Oh, fucking code on an email to log into Steam is so fucking pointless. Got time for this shit. Kaboom. Uh, new spawns. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much, dude. PUBG Battlegrounds. Play, play for free now. Well, I've missed out on getting back in the server now. This could be a pain in the butt.
So yeah, Forrest getting the points deduction has put them below Luton. I still think they'll finish above Luton even with the point deduction. At least we're on the way back in now. Gonna have to wait a little while, but hopefully not too bad. Gambon Forest got deducted four points today. I only know that from people in the chat. I've not seen it myself, but yeah. Uh, Forest got four points deducted today. Uh, I saw Burnley won at the weekend. I think Burnley, uh, Burnley are going to go down. I think it, it looks to me like the teams that went up are all going to go back down, doesn't it? But... It would be cool to see one of them stay up. And Sheffield United look a right off. Burnley are at five points away from Luton. T R M Z love. I don't see it being between anyone other than the people at the bottom four now. Could be wrong. Maybe Everton or Brentford might slip in. If Everton get docked a few more points, that could pull them back in as well, couldn't it? Kind of sad, isn't it? With it in the modern world of football, talking about docked points and VAR and shit like. Like, a game, you can't celebrate a goal until VAR says it's a goal. You can't celebrate where your team finishes until you're sure you're not being docked fucking points. Dresh, the, the, there's plenty of transparency in the in the process, dude. Unfortunately, I, City's one is a pain in the ass, but if you've, if you've done any reading or you've listened to anything about it, the, the difference between Forest and City is so big. What Forrest have done is really recent and they, they, they have admitted it and it's one thing. They're charging City with 115 things, some of which are like 8, 9, 10 years old or more, you know. So uh, there's a lot more proving to do. There's a lot more fact finding. There's a lot more evidence required. And because it's 115, City are just using lawyers and trying to kick the can down the road. Whereas clubs like Forrest and Everton that have got one case to answer, they're going, yeah, this is what happened. Here's the evidence. And then they get their slap on the wrist. City, when they if they get found guilty, will get way more, but it's so much harder to do. It's going to take potentially years to get it all done. Because they're not like they've only had to do one case for Forrest and, and it's taken what a couple of months. They've got to do 115. And they're not going to go, all right, you're guilty of this, have a five point deduction, then spend another couple of months doing it. Oh, you're guilty of this, have a four point reduction. They're having to do them all. It's 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 really annoying. City deserve to to be dealt with, but they are really trying their best to say that like like get away with it. What are my fan thoughts on fans wearing half scarves? It's okay to wear a half scarf only if you're at some kind of exhibition friendly, and you're somewhere like as a tourist. <laughs> wearing a half scarf uh, and it's your own team uh, and you're wearing it in the league game or something, that's just not right. <laughs> uh, but if you're, I don't know, if you're a a tourist or if you say, say, I don't know, Liverpool play Manchester United in America and you go to watch the game, buy a half scarf or something. But if you're watching Liverpool as a Liverpool fan with a half scarf on while they're playing the other team, <laughs> unless it's some kind of testimonial or friendly or something for charity then it's just weird what if they broke the years in the, well they have broken the rules in the years they won the titles Anna but uh, but well allegedly but it looks like they will have, they will they'll get caught they're not going to take titles away they're just going to deal with them there and then when Rangers got caught doing really dodgy stuff they didn't take any of their titles away they just relegated them out of the Scottish Football League you know they had to start, start again Cheers, dope demon. Take it easy. What's the best Namask server? Uh, I quite like uh, Spaggy Zero and Day One. Uh, they're all very similar. What are your views on does my bum look big in this? No, it looks perfect. They they won't they won't strip any trophies or anything. Even if they're found guilty of most of the charges, they won't get. They're not going to go back and say, oh, actually, all those leagues you won, you're not having them. It's just not going to happen. Rangers weren't liquidated, Ferry. The Rangers were relegated out of the Football League and it bankrupted them, so they had to start again. 
they weren't liquidated by any governing body but they couldn't afford to carry on as going concern so they started again as a new club effectively but they weren't liquidated by the powers that be but if you've got a club that's really struggling financially that are relegated out of the football division that company ceases to be so they had to start again right no, they they started in the bottom tier of the Scottish Division, Prog Champ. <clears throat> Half scarf, it, like it's where you go to a game and they're selling scarves, where one side is the red of Liverpool and the other side is the blue of Everton or Man City or whatever. So two football clubs on one scarf. It's also an easy way to clear debts. Well, that happens all the time, you know, like even if they're going to be carried on uh, by the same people, which I don't think happened at, at Rangers, but it happens with businesses. They go out, a bit, they go into administration and then they suddenly reappear as uh, a new company with all the same stores and all the same staff, but they don't pay all the debts. Uh, Boom Snake, thank you for the 30 months. Welder, thank you very much as well. Ken Bates did that at Leeds years ago. It, ha it does happen. It's a way to, if you go into administration uh, and then start effectively as a new company, you can clear, it's like going bankrupt as an individual, isn't it? You know, you don't pay all your credit cards off. They're all done. That's it. And then you you have to start and build yourself back up again. But it's not an easy thing to do. Oh, come on, let me in. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. I don't think I don't think they'll get they won't get they won't just get fines. I think they'll end up back in, they'll end up down several divisions if they are guilty. They won't get retrospective titles taken away and they won't just get a huge fine. They'll get relegated down to the fourth tier or something. They might end up in the conference or something like that, but he'll, uh, they'll get relegated. I, I did watch uh, the last Masters of the Air. I thought the last episode was pretty decent. I think the whole show was a really tricky show to make. I think it was decent, but I, I don't think it was stunning or anything. It was just so hard to... It was so hard of a story to tell. It felt like they only showed a little bit of everything. Uh, so, slight... There's a big spoiler, actually. Here's a spoiler warning for the last episode of Masters of the Air. It will last about 30 seconds, so mute now. Just for example, as to how they uh, they really accelerate everything, the best pilot, the one that was doing all of the flying, never had a fail. He crashes, and then his journey back to safety and back to the UK is like three seconds. <laughs> you know, they they don't have any time to show it. Uh, I, I won't talk any more about plot, but that that is the uh, that is the kind of example of that, that, things that could be a really cool it, whole episode were done really quickly uh, try not to do any spoilers yourselves guys now obviously because they can read those even if they muted their mic depends on how many of them are proven to be guilty of no way they're guilty of 115 how it's who knows who the fuck knows dude Jax, uh, I don't watch a lot of rugby. I only really watch the, the World Cup when it's on. So I watched England's semi-final narrow defeat against uh, South Africa. But I, I don't watch a lot of rugby. It's not really my sport. But uh, it's very different nowadays. England seems so kind of weak. Uh, it was all right. I quite like Masters of the Year. But yeah, it's... they. Again, no more spoilers, by the way. So you say they they just can't really show enough of something to give you a real, 
you don't see it, it's all done with highlights you don't get to see enough of anything well the duke i, the, I think a lot of the real stories are known in as far as the, the 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 names of the pilots and stuff people might know the stories a little bit uh but i think one season for what they were trying to Thank do you it's for so the grand constant, great content keep on running it was really tricky I, I think we all we get to see is little snippets of moments and it's trying to it's like retelling history rather than uh making drama out of it if that makes sense i just don't think it worked very well that they're, they're, they're trying to get from the start of the planes being in europe to the end of the planes being in europe in a number of episodes rather than trying to to, to show a really cool story that people want to see if that makes sense I saw how you're right, dude. Uh, I didn't see any of the foosball other than the uh, the Liverpool 2-1 win against Man United, dude. I turned it off with about 10 minutes to go, but I was pleased to see Liverpool get through to the next round. Uh, do I use chat, GBT, or any AI in your content creation? Nope. Uh, thoughts on Band of Brothers? It's much, more, much, much different, Park. Very easier to make. Very much easier to make. Sour, dude, thank you for the resub, by the way. Uh, CG Fathom, Pomerian, thank you very much too. I haven't seen the Beverly Hills Cop trailer, no. <clears throat> yeah, the, the, it's visually stunning. Some of the later episodes better still, Duke, in terms of the uh, the way it looks and everything. I did enjoy the last episode, by the way. I thought the last episode was pretty good. I've never seen Black Mirror other than the first episode. Or first two, maybe. <clears throat> uh, think Leeds has got a chance of staying in the Premier League for more than next year. That's very presumptuous, Mint. <laughs> I, 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 the, the, uh, assuming that you're going to get into the Premier League this season uh, and then worrying about whether you'll stay in next season, I think you're jumping the gun a touch there, dude. You're... Uh, you're top of the league right now, but Leicester have got a game in hand. You're only one point ahead of Ipswich right now, and Ipswich are back on form again now. Happy Don't running. count your chickens before they hatch, dude. You could finish third just as, just as easily as Leicester or Ipswich could do. Uh, I play with Tope just before Christmas, Loki. Yeah, I play with him once in a while, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Keep scoring goals. When you were one four three, I don't know who you mean, dude. Like I say, Liverpool got through two one. Can't wait. Can't wait for the semis. <laughs> when is Lights Out Part Two coming? It should have been Saturday. Just gone. I had a message from Uncooper about half an hour ago to say that the video is rendering, so it'll definitely be out on Saturday. <clears throat> when will I play with Sarah again? Never. I can't stand the guy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Normally once a month. Uh, so couple of weeks or three or something like that roughly my girl sent me to the store to get shampoo but now she won't talk to me i thought the plastic poo was very realistic to be honest keep <sighs> running uh angry chair thank you very much for the support shampoo eh? my god <laughs> clipping and shipping that and putting it on on twitter very cool <laughs> uh yeah probably in a week or two, well a couple of weeks i'd have thought uh angry chair cheers for the tier three by the way thank you that joke was uh a little thin to be honest 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Masters of the Air is definitely worth watching. If you're subscribing to Apple TV, you'd be mad not to watch it. I think it was good. But I, for me personally, it was only good. You don't have access to my charging network, dude. My charging network is on the front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I've used in the last six months. <laughs> That's cool, though. I, I nearly, you nearly got a Saki reply from me. You tweeted something about the shape of the new Rivian and how it was dramatically better because of uh, the more load space. You know, like, like you nearly got a Saki reply because literally making anything a box allows you to fit more in it. You know, it's just like common sense. You know, like. <laughs> never mind aero or or anything else but yeah making everything a but that's why every vehicle that's ever been good for the last 50 years has been an exact rectangle <laughs> i couldn't be bothered though so you've got it now you know like it, it just seemed like it might be a brilliant car by the way i'm sure it is i'm not really but championing the idea that it's a square <laughs> seems a bit of a bit of a tricky one to me you know <laughs> first time catching you live well thanks for coming in kts it's taken a while for us to get in the server isn't it we will get in there eventually uh, bummer bummer stim thank you very much for the eight months dude thank you Let's see if we can uh i've lost it Sorry, guys. I've lost the uh, the YouTube thingy. I need to fix that. Do, 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 do. I just started singing the fucking theme tune to... Darling, hold my head. Darling, hold my head. That's an advert, by the way. I, I, get, I get adverts on my own streams. Click analytics, pop out the chat. There we go. Let me fix some shit while we're at it. I want to try and find uh, find Redline's tweet. Tweet. I always struggle to find your tweet, your Twitter Redline, because I go to search Redline and it's not Redline. It's the other one. I always forget how to find your fucking Twitter. It's really frustrating. I know you have a red line, but if I type in red line, it doesn't come up as a recommended thingy. It was Thomas the Tank Engine. I just started humming for a second. Yeah. Uh, it's it's Ryan. That I always have to like. It's struggling to find. Remember what to search for. I forget it every time. Let me let me see if I can find your. Uh, where's this picture? We can we can have a look at it. I'm not in the server yet. Am I? No. Uh, I think you retweeted. I'm not going to dox you. I'm going to find the tweet. I don't think you can be doxed when you've got when it's your Twitter. By the way, every time you tweet, you're doxing yourself. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it works that way, does it? But anyway, anyway, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and find the picture. That's the bit I'm after. I can't fucking find it. I'm sure you retweeted it. I'm going through replies now. This could take a while. Eleventh of March. It must have been before then. I'm sure I saw it as a, maybe it was a like then. If it was a like, I thought you'd retweeted it. Maybe you'd replied. Maybe you'd replied to it. It was must have been a reply or a retweet. I wouldn't have seen it if you'd only liked it, I don't think. Oh, well, I can't find the fucker. Uh, nope. It 
Still not in. That's the tweet, is it? There we go. Oh my god. I'll have to download it because when I tried to put it on screen and I get a half naked lady for dream singles <laughs> as an advert. <laughs> dream singles. Uh no, save image as. The amount of uh, the amount of pussy in bio messages I'm getting on Twitter at the moment is off the fucking scale. Yeah, this was the picture. This this is the one that I wanted to give you a bit of a digging out for. This may or may not show very well on the stream. I'm not really. I'm sure it's going to be amazing, but like championing the load space of a car that's basically a rectangle. <laughs> like, whoa! It's so smart. It's such smart design. It's a fucking rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's got more space. <laughs> like fucking big whoop. It's also fucking square. <laughs> like, I wonder why they haven't always made cars exactly square to give them the maximum amount of space. It's a Volvo from the 1980s. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I didn't quite get the excitement about the fact that it's a bigger car. <laughs> Whoa! I, I, what was the tweet, actually? I, I need to find the tweet now. You've sent it. Because the wording of it was... Uh... Yeah, this is, the, this is what Chris on Twitter... Rectangle greater than teardrop for space and comfort. No question this will sell. <laughs> I wanted to find, uh, find right, Redline's reply because I, I really wanted to be Saki, but I couldn't do it. But yeah, I, nonetheless, I, I, I'm sure they're brilliant cars, but I think it's a bit thin to... Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, I am. Right, that, that occupied a few minutes anyway, didn't it? Right, now I just need to get my chat back. Apparently, if they make aeroplanes cubes, they also have more passenger space, too. Band of Brothers covered three years in ten episodes, and no one complained. It's the way that they did it, Agent. They, it still felt to me that you had a whole episode for the really things of gravity, you know, like... In the forest, stuck in the... Stuck in the... Uh, stuck, stuck in the... the, the the sort of uh, foxholes trying to not get bombed the shit out of them, you know, like two episodes for training and stuff, you know, it worked that you, you can do things. Uh, you can cover a lot of time in a relatively short amount of space, but you need to give something that's uh, you need to make make things feel dramatic and make really kind of cover them in a way, you know. Bastoin, yeah, like, like. It didn't feel like in Masters of the Air they managed to do that. Everything felt rushed to try and get it into the number of episodes they had. Like, like for example, uh, very mild spoiler. Uh, very mild spoiler for 20 seconds. The Red Tails were in it briefly. They literally did like a fucking three second synopsis of everything so they could, they could then shoehorn them in, you know. It, it, they could have had an whole episode on that. It, it, maybe they were just trying to make it in so many episodes, but it, it was too grand for the amount of time that they, they had in it. They didn't give ev anything enough time. Nothing was... Uh, everything just felt tacked on to fit it all in. It was still solid, but that's it. It just wasn't out of this world, you know. Jurassic, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for the support. Angry Chair, thank you very much as well. Uh, Bomastim and Tripper, thank you very much. Very, very kind. Cheers for the support, all of you guys. Thank you. Moonlander, I've seen your opinion on films. I can't remember what you said your favourite film was the other day, but I'm just going to say uh, I'll, I'll stick with my own. <laughs> I think it was okay. I think it was okay, but it wasn't anywhere near on the same level as uh, Pacific or or Band of Brothers. But it was such a different setting, and it's so much harder to make. You know, like 
I've already, uh, someone's just made that point. You, it's very hard to get emotionally attached to ten different people in a plane, and then a plane gets like shot down or something. That, that's that's common sense. I've been saying as much since earlier on. It's it's very hard to get into it. It it was so hard to make that story. It's so grand. You know, with Band of Brothers, you so, you're you're showing mostly the same small squad. Uh, and the journey they go through it on the timeline. With with Masters of the Air, you're showing way more. It's trying to show way more. And as a such, you, because they're showing way more, you effectively get way less. Uh, it needed more episodes. It needed it needed more uh, more detail to really get the feeling of it. You know. still good, but it felt like a synopsis of history rather than a show that was trying to be made for entertainment. <coughs> uh, Jurassic, thank you very much for the Prime once again, dude. In that final episode, no spoilers here, by the way, that final episode had enough stories that could have made... They could have made four episodes out of the final episode, and they could have all been really, really good. They were just trying to cover too much ground far too quickly. Still enjoyed the last episode. Who ate all the pies? You fat <laughs> Masters of the Air Fury. It's Fury, sorry. It's on uh, Apple TV. I don't think I don't see why it would affect your feelings towards Band of Brothers, dude. It, the Pacific is not as good, uh, in my opinion. Some people prefer it, but not many. It's still very, very good, though. We started trying to watch the Bear Red Line. My missus wasn't keen. She wasn't so keen. I quite liked it, but she wasn't that into it. Yeah, Shogun is pretty good. I've been watching Shogun. I do quite like Shogun. I, I prefer Shogun to Masters of the Air in terms of entertainment. It's more entertaining for me personally. Somebody mentioned Come and See earlier. I've never seen that. I do need to try and get get a look at that. I've never seen it. I didn't mind Oppenheimer too much, Skira. I don't know. It was quite a, a slow, fairly ponderous film for me. They did they didn't cover off a lot more after, like like further down the line. But I quite liked it. Pig, yeah, I, I quite, I, I guess ooh, that door just opened. I, I don't think it was anything but desync, but just better check. I think that was just a, I'm getting close and then the door opens kind of thing. Yeah, Daredevil was pretty good. I, I rewatched the first season, having not watched it since much earlier ago, like five, six years ago, whatever it was, maybe four or five. Uh, I thought the first season of Daredevil was a touch slow. <laughs> Having known where it gets to, it felt really slow getting there, but Daredevil's pretty good. I didn't, aside from Glowy Hand Man, I, I didn't mind all of those, including Luke Cage. I, I didn't really like Iron Fist, but most of the others were, as far as TV series go, they were okay. I think maybe the times have changed a little bit now, though. I think Marvelitis is a, a serious thing.
Yeah, Punisher was good. Punisher was very good. Tony, so far so good. Little bit light on action, but it's been pretty good. Got a couple of kills. We've seen quite a lot of the map. I don't know where else we can go now. I think we've basically got to go back south and head back towards uh, where we can find some sort of geared or mid-geared players to shoot at. Have a quick look at the map before we go anywhere else. So we are here. If we follow that road, it'll take us towards... Uh, Scally's Bay. Maybe we could uh, follow the road. I wouldn't mind trying Locker whatever. Locker, Locker, Chinook. We could possibly go there. We follow this road until we get to the junction and then carry on straight down. We could pick up that road and then find Scally's Bay and Lock, Lock Chinook. Tom, uh, it's on a temporary test right now. I have played it once last year. Quite a while ago, but we have we have uh, had a run on this map in the past. Have a good stream. Cheers. It's been a while though. Okay, yeah, we're going to go this way. We'll follow the road. So there were some shots in the distance, but I've no clue if we're going to find them or not. We might as well just go this way. say is that surely that's not the crossroads already it's not I don't really want to follow this road now it's a bit open isn't it but I think we're gonna have to do it it can't be getting to be night time again already can it fuck it is you know fuck's sake I guess it makes sense. We joined at night time. We've had a night time and we're getting to the, sec the third one. But we're nearly five hours into the stream now. I suppose that makes sense. Is this the T-junction here? I think it is, right? So we're right on the edge of where the map is and kind of isn't in development right now, you know, over to there is like nothing it in it at all. Mexican, anyone could join the map, just don't join the map while watching me stream it is all. The name's in the title, you can find the, the map from the name of the name of the map. Anyone can play it, it's open. It's not a private map or anything, dude. I think I can see a building in the distance there. Yeah, some kind of an apartment block. So where is the map? There we go. So we are where that yellow road joins the purple road. And straight over that way we're seeing an apartment. So we might as well head that must be Locker Knewick. Loch. We'll just go towards the big apartment, I guess. Nothing beats running across an open field, it'll be fine. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd's in uh, Indiana Jones and the and and the Temple of Doom. Yeah, he's like the valet or whatever that sort of shows them into the plane, and then the owner of the plane is laughing because they close the door and it's his name on the on the on the door of the plane. Yeah, that's Dan Aykroyd. Uh, 
any special settings you set in the config? Uh, Senator, I'm, I'm using a 1490 and I, I've i got the config. The only thing I do in the DayZ config is more with... Uh, that's the big town. It is more to do with removing head bob and uh, making sure mouse smoothing is done. I don't... I use kind of extreme... Uh, graphic settings pretty much. You can see my settings in game, exclamation settings, but I haven't changed anything much in the config. I don't like reduce the draw distance or anything. But use the fr the Freeman irregular walk, yeah. That might be an idea. Are Daisy developers planning to make a real city map? I very much doubt it, dude. No. A map that's just an urban city would be tremendously tedious for Daisy, in my my opinion, dude. But I don't think the Daisy devs will ever do that. Bohemia are very much around open world maps with a lot, a lot of uh, countryside and forest and such like. It works for the game. Uh, there is a city map. There is a map being made by modders called that's based on New York, which is in a work in progress. And I played it the other day. Kind of fun, but. I'd be amazed if uh, the Daisy devs ever made a map that's specifically a city. Still got it. New York, New York was loads of fun, Vlax, but it, it's not made how the devs would make it, you know? Like, the skyscrapers mostly aren't enterable, and the ones that you can enter don't really have any rooms and stuff, you know? Like, if you're going to make it as a game where you, you play it and you're playing the map and you're playing it for adventure... You'd go in an apartment block and come out an hour later. New York as a PvP map was insanely fun, and it would be it would be a fun map for that. But for Daisy, the survival game, a, a, a map with that much verticality just wouldn't work. Very nice red line. Yeah, I'm going to give it another whirl. I did enjoy New York. It was cool. Oh, fuck me. Right, we're out of bullets. Where did I put that then? Oh, it's gone on the, gone on the 1911. That might make sense, actually. No, I don't need that. I have got a few more 9mm we could use, but we might as well use these, because I've actually got a mag for the 1911. Gluten-free dairy cheesecake. I'm not, not convinced we're going to see that. Even on New York, like, there was a few times where I was being sniped at from a building and then when I got down on the ground I couldn't find where the building was because you can't get your sense of direction, which some people might Happy say is fun, year. but it Hope just massively well increases called. camping, you know, like, if, you, if you're trying, if you spot a building and you're on the, you're on the 15th floor, you don't have a compass and you know there's somebody camping a uh, particular tower, and then you get to the ground level, you come out of a door that's facing another way, and then there's three different towers they could be at. It's really hard to work out which one's which, and that's on a, a relatively small map. You know, it works great for PvP, but for for DayZ as a survival game, it really isn't. It isn't that. It, it's more quick blast and have a load of fun. Go around to the to the left there. I don't think it would work very well for Battle Royale either. I think it works exactly as it is for a DayZ server. Like, Battle Royale, like... Like... I just don't see it myself. Like, 
you go into one building and spend a while looting it and then that's it, you're done. I don't think that much verticality is very good. You, <laughs> the zone changes and it's going to take you 15 minutes to get out of the building you're in or something. You know, I just don't see it myself. I think it's great for a, a blast and a, a, a session on DayZ like we had on New York. That was cracking, but I, I don't see it as a battle royale now myself. The shots are at the heli. I'm going to try and get a bit closer. I would like to have known where I am, but... You just want to see me clap them cheeks, do you? You not see that easy headshot on the zombie I just missed. I haven't played since Wednesday last week. That's like I've never played before for me. I think City Map will be fun. Roth, I, I, I can't say I... I just don't see it. Like, imagine it being realistic and you go into a skyscraper and there's 15 floors and 4 rooms per floor. Four rooms per floor is tiny, really, let's face it. But let's say it's 15 times four. <laughs> that, that means you've got to do 15 floors, four a floor. That, that's that's 60 rooms you've got to go in before you're then looting the next building. It just, it, it would be really not fun. And then you turn a corner and there's three buildings that are all facing towards you. Someone shooting you with a suppressor. And there's like 150 different windows they could be in and you can't even check one, you know. I just don't see it at all. I, I think it would be awful. But, like, that that's not to say that the New York wasn't a load of fun. It just wasn't Daisy Survival, is all. They must change the buildings. So, but if they have apartments or big, big... If they have big tower blocks without rooms in them, what's the point of having the tower blocks, you know, like, if they're going to be realistic with it, even if they have a re, like, a, a reskin of New York, you know, go and loot the Empire State Building then, how fun will that be, you know, it might, it'd be great the first time, just for a laugh, but then what? It's just, cr like, a hundred of floors, and, <laughs> and what's the point? One more month until sub-baby number two. Keep running. You're talking about hours to go into one building and then and then what? You might play for three hours and you just loot the one building you started in. The shots were definitely there. We got here a bit late. And they could have gone any which way after shooting. They probably went the other side of the hill by the look of it. They certainly haven't, by the look of it, come this way. Hiya Paul, hope you're doing well. 31 Mothering. T-R-M-Z-L-U-B-T-R-M-Z -L -L Love. Scotty, thank you very much for the support. Do Prolly, JMC, uh, Iris, Candrak, Pano, Jurassic, thank you. Cheers for the support, guys, thank you. And Bohemia's strengths are sprawling maps and Daisy's strength, some of it is, and Bohemia's is, is around ranged combat and ranged weapons and gunplay and such like, you know. There's not going to be a great deal of call for a Mosin or a, or a sniper rifle if you're stuck in an apartment block for two hours. Just stopped to clean my glasses. I thought I heard a gun swap. I'd love to know where they went. Getting a bit dingy, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to fucking see him. They could make the skyscrapers like the ones in Battlefield and lobby in a rooftop. <sighs> Just don't, I don't, I don't see it. I may be, I maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't see how it how it's a good map for Daisy. I 
Well, I hope you're leaving, losing it 9mm, because I, I didn't hear shit. I think we're going to have to go down here and see if we can find a well. I've got a cooking pot. We're good to fill it up with water. Keep on running, TRM dead love. It really only feels like about two minutes ago that it was dark. A zombie just went running. I don't know if it was aggroed or if it... I don't think it was aggroed. It was just a runner. Complaining about looting a bunch of ruins... Buzz, I, I don't complain about Daisy being a running simulator. I don't complain about looting rooms. Some buildings are more boring to loot than others, that's for sure, you know, like like looting the prison area of Valteria looking for a keycard before the keycard spawning changed was a bit tedious, but the idea that you might spend two hours playing and start in one building and when you're finished you're still in the same building, that doesn't feel like a very appealing game to me, you know. One of the things that's magical about Daisy is that like, you need to be... You, you spawn in Berezino and you want to get to Severograd and that's your mission for the day, you know. And while you're doing that journey, you're going to different towns along the way. You may be looting some castles and some summer camps, maybe a medical area. Maybe you go to a little couple of tents along the way, military area. Those are your chances to bump into the other players. The journey, that your little two-hour mission, that's your session for the day, playing DayZ. And while you do that two-hour mission, that two-hour journey, the game happens, you know. You go to a medical and there's somebody else there and you team up or you go to a military tent and someone tries to kill you and you kill them or they kill you or whatever. But the journey is where the story is, right? If your two hour session is, I'm on floor two and I'm going to loot to floor 47, where's the fucking journey in that? Where's the, unless there happens to be someone in your building, you're basically just loot simulator, you know? It, you need the journeys, you need the bottlenecks along the way not a shitload of skyscrapers and no sight lines. You turn a corner and you're getting shot and you've no idea. Where's the randomness of, like, popping over a hill and seeing somebody in the distance? Or turning a corner and getting shot, but they could be in one of seven buildings and 57 windows. It just... It just... I don't see it. I don't see how it works for DayZ. A, a, a big city map would be much better for a single-player survival game or a game like The Division or something. But for a game like DayZ, I don't understand how it works. I don't, I don't think it does. Just accept it, Paul. A big city map would be godlike. Say it, man. Say it. <laughs> Capital love. Uh, yeah, I was wrong all along. Fucking hard work, that girl. <laughs> you don't have to loot big buildings. Well, if you're in a city that's like, like a true city, then that's mostly what they'll be, isn't there? You know. Must be a well in this town. <coughs> you know. Some military barracks. Do I have any more bullets? The New York map doesn't work as a lone wolf. Uh, it worked for me. I had a great time, but it was a one-off and I got a really good start. But I really had fun playing on that New York map just for PvP and lols and like, like anyone I see, I'm just going to shoot or dick about with, have a laugh. It was really, really fun, but it, it was not an adventure game. It was more like a 
like a just a clusterfuck of fun, you know, and that's fine. That's what modded maps are for, aren't they? You know, that kind of thing. I was thinking I needed that, I don't. Bison. Oh, it's not a white not a whack gatter post unless it's at least four lines long. <laughs> if it can't be from whack gatter unless he's used up his entire fucking uh, I bet a fucking phone conversation with you is fun, whack out. Have you considered being a streamer? <laughs> fucking hell, there's some loot around here, isn't there? Oh, I can't put that in there. Or that. Oh. Oh, the New York run was crazily cool. Uh, Packerzilla, you shouldn't need to find it on Steam. You should be able to just search for the name of it in the launcher and then play it. Now, I'm sure there is a Steam page for, for Scalar Sake, but... Tinnerus, what are you saying? Test server the saviors. What are you saying? Are you just promoting a server, server or what? I don't. That's the second time I've seen it, but you're not making any sense. If you're just, if you're just promoting a server, then that's not for me. I don't need to look in here, but I, I was trying to find a, a well, but I don't know. I've got no fucking hope, have I? In that. It's time for a head torch. There's probably a zombie in the town with a head torch on. We saw one before. Galley's Bay. Nice, more food. This is proper first person darkness, yeah, it's quite hard to see. Gabri, you can eat you can eat rotten vegetables, you just got to do it slowly. Interestingly, Wobo put a, vi a video about it the other day. I, I, I think, if I'm being honest, it gives you so little energy, it's not really that big of a deal. I, I don't know if maybe I should stop again. For a long time, I didn't eat rotten vegetables. I don't think it really matters, but uh, you get very little calories from, from rotten veg. Wobo made a video the other day talking about it. And in fact, if you, boil, if you cook rotten veg, it burns them. And then you get more calories from them. So you can burn the veg to get more calories out of them. 
uh, than nearly double for most vegetables if you burn rotten veg. But and you can eat them as long as you eat them slowly. But when you're geared like this, there really isn't any point. You don't get the same energy from a rotten uh, piece of fruit or veg as you do from the same piece that's not rotten. This is almost unplayable. Like, like, there's nothing wrong. Like, this is how it should be. I quite like that it's using the, the dark mode. But when you're on a map that you don't really know, <laughs> and this is the challenge for new players, I suppose, right? But if you're on Chernerus and it's dark like this, I can navigate. But on this, I can't navigate. I don't know where I am. I I, I'm just going from one building to the next, and then that's all I can do. I can head back to the town, because it's there. I think. Bowie maker, did you? You made it from uh, Bash to... Sorry, Berezino to Bash eating rotten fruit, blimey. In 35 minutes, that's no mean feat. Not even sure if I looted... I think I did loot that one. Back near the police station again. It's really hard to know where I've been and where I haven't. I think I ought to try and keep an eye out for zombies and s s see if we can find one with a head torch. This is a police zombie. Having a look, see if we can't find a leather kit as well, or an epoxy. Shugs lager. Is that some kind of Scottish thing? Is it Shugs? Shugs lager. I thought it had been. Uh, What's the what's the really strong one they do in Scotland? I forget it. Begins with muck something, I think. Lager fiend, how are you doing? Tenants, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, so it doesn't begin with muck. <laughs> tenants super, yeah. They used to sell tenants down south once upon a time, but I don't think it really gets sold south of the border anymore. Still game? Yeah, maybe. I don't really remember that film. I saw it years and years ago. I don't remember it at all. Tenants was 9%, Crest was uh, 10%. Back when I used to be a proper binge drinker, if, if I was having... Uh, ooh, if I was having a night in with my mates, like instead of going out down the pub, I was having like a night in with a couple of mates or whatever, you know, maybe chilling out with a film or two or whatever, and we were all having a few drinks or whatever we were up to. I used to buy like uh, something like six cans of Cronenberg but I'd buy one can of special brew <laughs> and have that first, which is good. A, a special brew, uh, a special brew to, to start the night and then Cronenberg thereafter.
Head T ball. I mean like in supermarkets and you know damn well what I mean, you sucky fucker. <laughs> I didn't mind special brew at the time. I would. I've not had it in years. I wonder if we can have another bit out of this bottle and then bin it. Not got much else to do. At least we've found the well. The only downside is that I don't now know where the well is. <laughs> so if we come to this town again, I don't really know where the well is still. Who is my favourite cricket player? I don't watch a great deal of cricket. I, I really did like Freddie Flintoff. Uh, that era was cool and Freddie Flintoff was amazing. I... I, I probably would have picked both of them if I'd have been a bit older, but I'm not old enough to remember both of them very well. By the time I was watching cricket, both of them was a bit past it. You know, I remember him stumping him, like knock his own stumps off and stuff. He was just not, not the same. Like when he was at his prime, I was too young to be watching cricket, or I wasn't alive. You know, uh, Darren Goff was good, but I, I think. Uh, that era with Freddie Flintoff and Kevin Peterson and whatnot, that was quite exciting. There's been some others more recently with the with the next generation on. Dan, thanks for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. this I thought I had moving. Wouldn't have expected that to go next to the well in the end, really, would you? <clears throat> Alex Stewart, blimey, I remember him playing a bit. I didn't get to watch much cricket cricket in the more recent times. When when Freddie Flintoff would is it was at his peak and there was that they won the Ashes. He was absolutely insane. Uh, that was special. I don't remember much as good as that since. Oh matey, that's England captain now in that that final was inspired as well. Why is it so dark? It's night time, baby. It's, oh, so we're actually close to the Millie base. Okay, so behind the military base, behind a row of houses, that's where the well is. I'll be able to remember that then. Behind the civilian barracks. Yeah, Ben Stokes was the, the name I was looking for, Night Owl. Ben Stokes is pretty cool. I'm just waiting until I can drink this little smidge of water. Oh, 
while, while we're waiting for, for me to be able to drink this smidge of water, uh, let, let's talk about the kind of videos that I'm getting shared on uh, Instagram and Facebook Reels and such at the moment. I'm still getting mostly shared. Fucking flat earthers. <laughs> I can't. I, I, it doesn't seem to matter what I do now. I'm getting flat earth stuff and not much else. Flat earth and puzzles. Uh, like puzzles. Like like stupid puzzles that people don't understand what they're saying. Where, like, the, 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 the reason for the puzzles one, I understand. Instagram is full of dummies. Well, I might get, get to that in a second, uh, relating to puzzles, but. Uh, I, I, like, I don't watch the flat earth videos. I skip them, but for now I just. I'm getting scared, shared them. I watched one, and now I'm getting shared flat earth videos like fucking crazy. But yeah, the the, puzzle, the, the last puzzle one I saw was this, right? I can remember the premise. Uh, let me let me try and get it. The numbers don't really matter. The principle is the same. I'll just make it up. So, this this was the puzzle. A man buys a cow for seven hundred dollars, and he sells it for nine hundred dollars. Right, that's that's so that's that's he's bought a cow and sold it, and then he also then buys the same cow for a thousand dollars, and sells it for twelve hundred dollars. How much profit has he made? And the amount of fucking people getting it wrong, and I, I don't start answering because someone's going to get it wrong, and I don't want to argue with you. Uh, but like <laughs> the like the amount of I I didn't I don't reply, but I read a few of the comments. My God, people are so stupid. Like, it's not just that they get it wrong. Anyone can get an answer wrong. Maybe they misread the question. They don't really understand. Like, like people can make mistakes, right? And that's fine. But there's literally people in the comments going, it's $300. Are you all fucking stupid? Why are you all so dumb? You're so dumb. And like, literally, there's people with five comments. And then you go back to those same comments about 20 minutes later and all their comments are deleted. <laughs> when they've had someone explain to them why they're wrong. It's it's crazy. So th the fact that people get it wrong is kind of irrelevant, but there's so much fun slash frustration to be had in reading the comments. Like reading how much people have like chains of arguments over something inconsequential. And then when they realize they're wrong, they just disappear disappear they just know what they like they don't exist anymore green thumb of course he made 200 from each transaction the answer is 400 right but so many people were arguing well yeah, but it doesn't matter that's not true because when he when he bought the cow back it was a thousand and he'd sold it for 900 so he didn't make 200 he'd lost a hundred He'd made 200, then he'd lost 100, then he'd made another 200, so he only made 300. And people just don't get it. <laughs> but the, the amount of people getting it wrong and then arguing about it was just insane. Whoa! Not today. Brian Lara Cricket on Mega Drive with the ship. I remember that I vaguely. Like cricket. I used also to quite like a, like a cricket game. Feeding. I love re reading the people arguing over the order of maths equations. Oh. I love Facebook page people call people incorrectly correcting other people. Oh, dude. I just, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get off it a little bit, to be honest. It is quite fun reading the comments. It's a lot more fun than actually the, the met the video. Reading the comments can be great fun, unless they're comments on one of your videos, in which case it's less fun all of a sudden. Pop 
Porridge oats, that's that's traditional Scottish fare. So you get porridge oats instead of uh, porridge oats instead of uh, rice. Badly damaged. I think we could just keep the bullets. Shropshire, I, I I don't doubt it, except for when you post. <laughs> Six months and still waiting for the punch card. T R M Z love. We did it. We did the punch card. We did it. We've done it several times. We're good. Don't you worry. <laughs> it feels like daytime is upon us, so I'm just kind of killing a bit of time. Right, do, can we try and work out where we are? We never did look at the map. Uh, I don't know if I'm in Lockard, Lockard Schnewick or what. I think I must be. It must be because we crossed over from that yellow road. Must be Lockard, whatever. So if I go south and a tiny bit east, we'll be getting to Scally's Bay. I think that's where we should go. This will be the road that leads to it then, I guess. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It might not be. Oh no, let's just go this way. South and a tiny bit east, I said, didn't I? Yeah, that'll do. Somewhere around there. Scally's, Scally's Bay, let's go. It's always in the title of the stream, Cave, what map I'm on. It's called Scalar Sag. If the average person person can walk five kilometres and the store is three kilometres away, why is it taking my dad yet eight years to come home? <laughs> Dear. Uh, Almighty Truffle, thank you for the support, dude. Uh, Golf Punk. Rusty, thank you very much. Silent Snooper and Kenna. Cheers for the resubs, guys. Thank you. I suppose we ought to really be on the top of the hill. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of adverts on Amazon Prime. Because I'm paying for it, you know. Like I, I paid for Amazon Prime. I did. I do use the the next day delivery really quite often. I kind of like way too much. I I buy I buy make way too much stuff on Amazon that I could get. But a lot of the time it's twenty miles away by car, so it's like fuck that. No point. You know, I only live in a relatively small area. You know, like a bigger town is a fair way away. You know, so. But nonetheless, I I maybe should try and do a bit more shopping locally if I can. I am I'm pretty bet pretty good at it. But anyway, I. Uh, I use Amazon for the next day delivery, but I think it was a combination of next day delivery and the, and the TV stuff that made me get it in the first place. And the ads for something you're paying for is kind of annoying. It's not like Jeff needs the money. Well, of course he doesn't, Ghost Hunter, but the, the reality with all these companies is that they all need to make a little bit more money than last year always. That's how it works, right? So anything they can do to maximise profits, they're going to do over the time. You know, like next year they'll do something else and the year after something else. Otherwise, they don't keep growing. It's just if their balance sheet doesn't grow, their stock price doesn't go up. They, they don't get all their big fat juicy bonuses and nobody's happy. <laughs> At least on the upside, they seem to be relatively low right now, like... But it is a, you, you get a relatively short advert, and often none in the middle, but nonetheless, it's annoying.
Hi, uh, my dime. Hope you're good. So, do we think this is Scally's Bay? I don't even see a bay. I think this is Scally's Bay. Is that the? Uh, that's the ocean there. Wayne, thank you. Cheers for coming in, dude. Cheers for tuning in. Is this a playtest? The map is being tested right now, Hero Slash. It's not a permanent fixture at the moment. So, yeah. I, anyone can play on the map, but there's only one right now. There. Oh, there we go. That, that's a bay. What? There's a castle up there. Look. That's cool. The rain, it seems to, that, that's two nights running, where as soon as it's getting daylight, it fucking pisses it down. <laughs> so, while, whilst it's, uh, whilst it's kind of cool, the visibility is really low all the fucking time, it seems. It's night, and then you can't see because it's raining. And then it's night again. So, authentic Scottish experience. having a quick look in case we might get a leather kit or something. I really would like to be able to repair this uh, plate carrier. Quite a lot of zeds. low effort I'll take that can't be bothered to, to reject the rounds out for the other one but that will have holy shit Son's got his hat on. I think it was the uh, the dawn breaking. I fix that pistol? Pistol suppressor? Maybe I should. The gamma is still on, but let's face it, it needed to be on until about three seconds ago. That song's going to be... <laughs> it's not going to be in my head, don't worry, it's fine. Sorry. Not sorry. Do we think we'll get a survivor game like Daisy in the future with better immersion? Uh, possibly, I hope so. I think it might come from Bohemia, but there's so much possibility for survival games. The problem is they're so difficult to make. Uh, survival games like Daisy are relatively niche. Like most, most AAA companies are sticking to the IPs that they know they can make money on, like Activision and so on. You know, Bethesda and. They stick to what they know. It's re it's really a big gamble for them to come out of their lane and try and make something like this. I, I, I don't see there being a survival game from a AAA uh, company that, that beats Daisy. No, I really don't. I'd love to be proved wrong. I think any improvements to a game like this are likely to come from people making games like this already. Like Daisy, Like Bohemia making a sequel. Comes a great game, Silent Box, but it—I don't think it's more immersive. I don't think it's better at doing the survival. 
it's better at day better at certain things than Daisy, you know, like and if you want those things then Scum's a good game. But if you're wanting like a story on the character that you're trying to keep alive, for me personally, Daisy is uh, hands down the best survival game at the moment. There are other games that are really better if you want certain things, like for example if you want more of a base building type game then Rust is the uh, Rust is the one, right? Hiya. Oh, I met you before. Are you friendly? Yeah, it's me. I huh? met you I met you before. Oh. Hiya. Yeah, that's no worries. Just Dude. shooting the zombie. Badly. Oh, <laughs> I was right? hoping that I wouldn't accidentally shoot you at some point, so I've just been like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> did you by any chance loot a helicopter earlier? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I heard some shots near the heli. I wondered yeah, if it might have been you guys, but yeah, I, I did hear some yeah. shots oh, in the distance. Yeah. We got attacked by a wolf. Uh, oh, blimey. Yeah, I've, I've, I've only just got it. Do you I've... need a standardised mag? It's damaged, but I've been carrying it for... No, for I'm good. I, I've, got, I've got an M16, but I've got three mags. I'm okay, thank you. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. Okay. I haven't, I haven't really found a great deal of loot since I last met you. I have found a bit, actually, but not much, really. We uh, yeah. have been wandering aimlessly, to be honest. We yeah. don't know if we're in the middle of the map or if we're at the top. We're in the north northeast, I think. Yeah. Have you got one of the maps you spawn with? Yeah, yeah. This is on the map. It's on the east side. It's called uh, Scally's Bay. Yeah, that's where we thought we might be. Yeah, so that that's you definitely where you thought you were, but I don't know. I'm not. Nice. I, there's not so much going on. I was just going to go and check that castle tower over there. You haven't been to that, have you? That no, no. That's kind of where we were headed, but go we can go a different way if you want. If yeah, you well, like it's you. up to you, really. But yeah, I, I just want to try and find some three away. I'll go and have a quick look. Good luck, guys. Stay safe. Nice. That's the uh, that's the married couple. Please tell me I didn't miss a leather kit. Where was the leather kit? Fuck. That sucks. Was it in the shop? Yeah, it's me back. Oh, hello. <laughs> you don't by any chance have a leather kit or a epoxy putty that I can have a use of, do you? Ah, uh, no. You know... We've not seen any of that. No, I've not seen one yeah. either. They must be rare. Yeah. Alright. Just up to. No worries. Alright, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh... I, uh... <laughs> that laugh was cool, right? I don't I don't want to team up with them, although they are cool. I, I kind of want to team up with them, but they're playing together and they're in Discord, and I, I don't really want to be a third wheel, if I'm honest. They're kind of cool. That's a, for those that weren't here earlier, uh, they're a hus husband and wife team that play together and uh, we've met them a few times. So last time me and uh, Sarah and, El and Muller teamed up on Alteria, we killed them and I felt a bit bad. Well, I didn't feel bad at the time. I was helping. I wanted to do it, but they are kind of cool. So it's nice to meet them a few times and not shoot. We also killed them on Chernerus as well when Sarah and Muller and I teamed up too. Oh, it's actually a proper castle. I thought it was just going to be one tower. Peacock scope. Oh, there's military here as well. That's cool. They're going another way. I'm quite pleased about that now. We can we can hover up all the loot. Hoover up all the loot even, not hover.
AKM. Mm, very nice. Pristine knifey booties. Not bad at all. It's amazing. And like, you know, like, it happens a lot when I team up with other players. Like, if I play, team up with nearly anyone I play with, but whether it be Amish Zed or Doc Dreist or Sour or Muller or whoever, like, Mr. OG, there's all the others pretty much, but most of the time people tend to say, end up saying, you, you play together like an old married couple, like always bickering. How would that be if you're playing with your missus or husband or whatever? And, and, like, the Daisy Bickers, you'd be carrying it on, you know. I told you I needed a leather kit. Well, I didn't pick it up, or I'm sorry. Well, well, next time, make sure you fucking... You'll be having arguments about it when you go to bed. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe that's just me, perhaps. <laughs> they, they, must be, uh, they must be newlyweds. Give it a year's time, and you'll, you'll, you'll get near them, and they'll be arguing in VoIP. Oh my god, Dana Jenner, the the challenge of what do you want what do you want for dinner tomorrow, you know, like I, I can't do that. Like like I'm talking about through the history of my life and not right now. Let me try and let me try and swerve some damage. But like I could be eating today's dinner and at the same time being asked what I want for dinner tomorrow. I don't fucking know. I don't know if I want this and I'm eating it. <laughs> I don't know. What are the options? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? Whatever you want. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Harry, broken controller and close to divorce, eh? <laughs> Red line. Well, give options, okay? Give options. Right, it can be this or this. What do you fancy? Pascarable, yeah, you can't. When you say what you want, it's never right. That's still more work on my part to give multiple options. Well, if there's only one thing that's available, then just tell us what it is. Red line. If, if basically you can only make one thing. Oh, all right, for dinner tonight, it's this. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. Cheers, love. That's what you'll get. No worries. If there are no options and there's only one thing available, then that's what we'll have. No worries, but no worries for me. Unless it's shit with onions or something. Have I met any viewers IRL? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not for a while, but yeah, 2016 and 19 I have, yeah. Scally's Bay, Mill, Pew. Maybe we could go to the emergency services training. 
that's what we'll do. We'll go south and a little bit west for now. I spent six hours getting uh, base materials with a mate on KK Livonia. Went to build our base once we had a handsaw and then got grenaded and shot by people who clearly had a base nearby. Uh, ropesies. I, I think that can happen, dude. It sucks, but it can happen. Just got fucking scared by my own shadow. My wife of 10 years just left me for someone else. Very sad time. Red line, I, I just don't see Still it, you know. She's probably had to screen, make about a billion and one decisions at work all day. While at home you've had to make the decision between which foot to put in, put your sock in first. You know. <laughs> you, you, do, you make the decision. <laughs> do I put left foot or right foot in first? I don't know. Uh, Patrick, cheers for the for the super chat, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone in the UK want to trade houses for a week or two? You're having some renovations, do you know? Cheers for the support, Patrick. That's I, when you tell the missus. I've just seen a, seen a question about Whatever socks. She says is actually what she wants. That's something else I get on Instagram lately as well. There's a there's a fellow with tattoos that does this kind of clicking thing with his hand. He, he clicks his fingers and then he claps his hand and he goes, Right, Tuesday, today I'm wearing it. And he goes through all of his outfit and he has a fragrance. And uh, there's another one that so might be a copy of or it might be... A, but I saw one that... That was wearing a particular fragrance because it really matched the tone of his shoes or something. I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> I quite like the clicky fingers guy. I don't, I, the, the videos are kind of like ASMR. I quite like the clicky fingers guy, but I've never dressed like that in my entire life. I don't know why I'm watching the video, but I still watch those one. The, the clicky fingers guy is okay, but there's another one that's incredibly pretentious. I don't know what his name is. I don't know who he is, but... There's a crazily pretentious one that's matching his fucking, like, fragrance to his outfit, you know? Like, that's just not the real world for me. I'm sure it is for some people, but I have one fragrance. I have a spray and I have a fragrance, like every fucker else on the planet. If you've got a collection of fragrance, GG to you, but I haven't. It's crazy though that I can't do it, but the click click that he does, that's kind of like, it gets your attention, it works. WD-40, now there's a fragrance we can all uh, get behind. Do you wear Jean-Paul Gaultier? Sorry, I, I'm not really interested, but sorry if you're spamming. I've just read it anyway now. Uh, no, my ex, my ex from years and years ago bought me Jean-Paul Gaultier and I had it for a time. What fragrance? This, uh, this is possibly not everybody, but th my, my fragrance is whatever my girlfriend buys me. <laughs> That's my fragrance. Uh, whatever my missus likes, they buy it for me and then I wear that. Not because I'm incapable of buying it. I don't give a fuck. That's the, I, I don't care. So I've got I've got a Chanel of some sort that my missus bought me. And I like it. I really like it. But like, if if I hope it doesn't happen. But if me and my missus split up, I'll use that fragrance until at some point a future girlfriend buys me a fragrance and then I'll wear that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what do I fucking care? As long as I don't sound like smell like fucking shit. What do what the fuck do I care? I don't give a shit. I use body spray and whatever fragrance I got bought for Christmas.
<clears throat> and then when it's empty, it may be potluck. Sex Panther. Whoa. Now I wear some kind of short. The short black and white is the, the body spray I use. Which is like anything that doesn't leave a mark on the inside of your clothes. So like an antiperspirant spray. And then it's Chanel. It might be Blur. I think you're right. B-L-E-U. Blur. Blur. I quite like it, but I don't wear it very much. If we're going out somewhere fancy, I put it on. I don't wear it other than that, though. Like, I haven't put it on on... Like, if we went to London and we're staying in a hotel or something, I wear it. But, like, dur like if it's a Saturday and me and the missus are going, like, shopping for the day, like, going, like... Say we're going to a bigger city shopping, I won't remember to put it on. What the... Why? <laughs> if it's... If we're going out for a meal or something, I'll put it on. But beyond that, I never remember... I think through my entire life, I've only really worn, to any degree, three different fragrances, pretty much. I wore Fahrenheit, which I picked myself in, like, about 1994. And then I wore Jean-Paul Gaultier for about 15 years, and now I'm wearing Chanel. And that's about it. In fact, I don't think I did pick Fahrenheit. I think my, my first uh, girlfriend helped me pick it. <laughs> Fahrenheit is the smell of the 90s for sure. Oh, we need to go to this emergency place. I think I'm at Millbue now. Millbuey. So, east and south from here, we need to go. South and east. I don't really need to loot this. Maybe if we bump into a player, we can uh, have a little look. But I don't know. Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. I can make it. So can she. I don't know why he didn't stagger the first time. Definitely hit him twice. Anyway. Oh, no way. That sucks. The plate carrier didn't do me a lot. That was a Mosin, though, so I'm con. That sucks. It didn't seem like there was anybody there. That was a good shot as well, because I was moving by the time they fired. I'll be dead now, then. Oh, no! <laughs> that really sucks. I, I was about to start. I was, a, I was surrender. I'll surrender, but no chance. Ah. Uh. We're in the middle of nowhere. That that shot kind of sucks, if if you ask me. You know, nothing wrong with shooting whoever you like. You know, play how you like. But we're on a, a new map that's kind of up. We're in we're in a little town. There's no military base. There's no real danger. Shooting me in that scenario after shooting a zombie, it, it's it's a dickish kill, if you ask me. Fair play though. I might have shot me too. I can be a bit dickish. So why not? But it sucks. <sighs> that really sucks. Fight nearly six hours deep and and starting again. That, that's a that's a bastard. It's a bit tricky in the spawn as well. It it's a bit tricky to like this first bit down here, Priory Town and whatnot. There isn't actually much down here. Really sucks. Not the map, it sucks, it sucks, we've got to travel quite a ways. The map's kind of cool, I like it. He 
smelt my aftershave. Then he smelt my fear. I wore Lynx Africa and Lynx Impulse and all of those when I was at school. some civilian barracks over there. I, I get the feeling we won't find any loot though. Actually running the wrong way. I think I'm going to change maps. I, I, I enjoyed the run. I, we, well, I think six hours is enough. I think we might do something else. I think it's time for a, a, new, uh, a new map. Not sure what we're going to do. Let's have a look. We could actually try to get in a battle royale while I think about what map I want to play. I'm not doing battle royale for the whole rest of the night, but I might just quickly do one now because the server has just restarted. Any thoughts on going back to Banoff? There's meant to be an update coming out, dude, but it really depends on availability of servers. Availability of servers with low modding. Yeah, I've managed to get into a battle royale, so we might as well have a bit of a go. Look at that, straight in. Right, one sec, guys. I'm just going to quickly change uh, the title on YouTube's. Quick. Battle. Let's call it Daisy Battle Royale. Save. Copy. Done. I've changed the title. Look at that. That's uh, that's good for me. That is. Yeah, I think we'll go back on to Daisy Survival again at some point fairly soon. But like, just because it's restarting. It seems stupid not to, really. VR as a palate cleanser. Yeah, exactly. I think I might go and have a piss and fill my water bottle up while, we, while it waits to start as well. I'll be back in a sec, guys. What are my thoughts on the other map? I think it's kind of fun, Scottish Hitman. A little bit sparse, but it's still a work in progress. I quite like the way it looks. I think it's pretty cool. Right, it won't be long.
bit worried it might have started. 55 players in. <laughs> Only 36 players have readied up. What? Yeah, alright, wacko. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, you're not even wrong. I'm just... <laughs> I just had a look. You're not wrong. At least at least there'll be no, no pressure on uh, me for getting stream sniped then. It was alright, Madame. We had a great meal. We went to a rest her favourite restaurant, pretty much, in... Uh, a Chinese restaurant in Bury St Edmunds, really good. She had an okay day. It went, it was uh, wasn't the the best day ever, but it was all right. I step out and you died. Uh, I got shot. Exclamation! Last death. It might be there. Who's that weirdo behind the shed? Time oh. after time, I look forward to your shenanigans. I think there's a lot of people that haven't played before. Running. Like, there's 60 people here. It can't get any fuller, and not enough people are pressing F1. Like, this is the one time where you wish there was VoIP, so that you could just go, press F1, you fuck, plebs. I think it only needs one or two more to press F1, and then we can start. Uh, do what you will, Redline. I'll just try not to look at it. Is it starting yet? People need to press fucking F1. I think it's starting. To go. You've left the safe zone. Where where was I? Starry Sobor, that's where I am. Well, let's see how we go then. I've not I really enjoyed playing this the other day. Well, that's because we got some kills. Oh, we're in a modded one then. Holy shit. That looks like a very good gun. First building. Crazy good gun. Holy shit. Can you explain the rules again? Kill as many people as you can, don't die, be the last player standing. So what I'm really after right now is a vest. Kind of the guns we've got are good. We might possibly don't need any other gun, but we could do with a... Uh, could do with a vest of some sort. Press vest or whatever, stab vest if needs be.
there will likely be somebody else in Starry. Is Fuck! Safe. I heard the door open, but I, I I don't think I could do a great deal different there, you know, other than hit the shot. But yeah, I was just lined up perfectly for him. That sucks. He's got good gear as well. That sucks. There we go. Did you really have a bet on whether I could get a chicken dinner in one round? Fuck me. 60 players in it, and I'm one of them. Even if it's just 59 to 1. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, anyway. That was fun. I would imagine most people were thinking that was probably like over more than one round rather than in one round. But yeah, that, that's for uh, that's for the, the, the casino to decide, not for me. Uh, right, let me just see if we can get in another. That sucks. Lasted well though, right? Fuck me dead. Uh, there's a trio that's running low on players. I don't really want to do a trio server. Trio server, there's... Uh, this is the problem with this. Like, The server we were just in has got 51 players. And then there's another battle royale with duos with 57. There's another with 56. There's another with 59. It can be really hard to, unless that's filling up. Maybe I could try. Uh, Wild Donkey, thank you for the 13 months. Scott, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. I just uh, standing up on the platform with the stairs right there, and then I heard the door, and that was that. I'm in position number one. I doubt I'll get in. I might make it in. I, I, fuck. Why are 676,000 people betting on me getting a chicken dinner in one round? Those odds are not good enough. Remember to stop laughing face. I'm just seeing if I can get in. I, I think it's starting, unfortunately. I, I know you can use the Discord, by the way, Redline, but you don't really need to. You can, there's only five servers. It's really easy to see whether there's one you can get into. Well, in fact, not true. There's eight servers, but it's still really easy to see. Like you can do it using the using the DZSA launcher. It's really easy to see when to join and when not to. I think I might be in. glitchy. So VoIP works again now. Uh, I think this is duos. But I don't know if it... It is trios. Yeah, it is trios. 50 months, that's the gold anniversary. You got anything gold? Maybe footwear? Uh... Alski, dude, thank you. I haven't got any gold footwear, no. Just a, a plethora of solid gold watches, of course. <laughs> uh, Alski, thank you very much. Arjuks, thank you. Wild Donkey, uh, score packs, thank you. DMC coated counts, right? Tenon, you can use Prime to sub. They've just moved where it is, dude. It, where you've got subscription, there is a, a thing above it that says something like more details. You just click that. Verograd then. So we're in a trios round right now as a solo. Such good gear there as well. That sucks, doesn't it? Uh, 
next Call of Duty Pro Big Timer, Optic Gaming, has been watching your YouTube video as he's just started playing Dave. Young, there was the second person that's mentioned something about Optic. That's cool, dude. It'll be like two or three videos in. God, these guys are fucking idiot. If they're all this slow, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> result yesterday but oh well we go again Rob yeah it wasn't the best was it it wasn't the best I think Liverpool got what they deserved because they just couldn't they couldn't score when they had the opportunities to they had enough chances to score and didn't take them they had enough enough of the game to be winning that game in the second half and they didn't and that's what happens you know same thing happened to Arsenal when Liverpool beat them in the cup you know Liv Arsenal were the better team and they were a bit gun shy even though Liverpool scored three goals yesterday, they still were a bit gun-shy. When they needed to absolutely score, they didn't. Young uh, young Mike, dude, thank you very much. And uh, Dixon, thank you. Rob, thank you very much too. Here we go again, another month, another sub. Leg breaks and heartaches. I actually need to start away. moving fairly soon. We're a lot. We must be on the edge of the zone. That that involves a lot of travelling. Let's have a look at the map. Round up a bit. Tomty, I I'm just. You can you can team up. You can make a squad. But I'm not in a squad. I'm just uh, a solo dude gonna keep running towards the center of the zone and loot a few houses on the way like this green one maybe need to try and find a vest not seen any golf no i don't know anything about unless it's a major i'm, I'm not into golf really just because of time I, I, all the other tournaments i never have a clue So in this round there'll be some trios, but there'll be a lot of solos as well. We're not up against just all trios. There'll be a hell of a lot of people that aren't teamed up. People just join whatever one they can get in quite a lot of the time, which is what I've done. I've just joined the first one I could get in. The real reason they lost is BC. They had less points as the other team. Dude, it, it seems like you know all about the, the foosball. <laughs> Brandon, cheers for the super chat. You could be one of them commentators that they have. That's good if it wasn't on the blaze. Oh, no bollocks to that. I'm not taking an MP5. We're already packing some serious heat. Got knife boots. Well, I don't even need the knife, really. All I'm really doing, I've got a helmet. All I really want is a vest, and then I, I quite happily go for it. I'm going to have to start moving towards the next zone anyway fairly soon. Be argued that being out in the open looting this is not the smartest. I need a Sega... Ooh, SV98. That looks fun. Bye-bye, Blaze. SV98 should fire the Mosin type rounds, right? It's epic, apparently. So it's a Mosin with a hunting rifle, hunting uh, type snipe scope as such. It's also uh, bolt action. Having crazy good guns didn't help me last round, did it? Not having a vest is a worry. Yeah, I can put the bottle suppressor on it. I'll do that in a sec. Let's 
Savannah. the way that shows through. That one does it too. Let's just get rid of it then. Use the regular scope. I don't know why I'm doing this. Sixty round mag for what? An MP seven. What do the colour of the guns do? It, it's to signify whether your gun is rare or, or not. So the colours are kind of to differentiate kind of common loot to rare loot, basically. I don't know which is which, but this one's, like, purple is epic. There's, like, a goldy colour one, I think, which is legendary, but... So, this is only on the modded server it does that. On the regular server, you don't get any of the colours or anything. Maybe we could get in that car. I think I might just go for the car, try and drive to the centre of the zone. Fuck it. Slightly dodgy. I was just a shot nearby, but it'll be okay, probably. Oh my god. Like a glove. It handles like it's on rails. drive in third person. off-road. Third-person enabled in Battle Royale only when you drive in the car, Dope. You can't use third-person in the other way. I think we might have fucked it. been a pretty good day. We had nearly six hours on uh, Scalar Save, which was kind of fun. I'm, I'm probably going to switch to another survival map at some point, but we're just doing some Battle Royale now, which is kind of a change. I don't know if the car's going to be much use on this journey that we're doing. I think I'm just going to go on foot, <coughs> but even. It has got me about 700 metres nearer than, well, 
I was 3,200 3, away from the last zone. Now I'm much closer to the, this zone, and the zone moved further away, so it did help me a little bit. You can't park there, mate. I really would like a vest. There's a truck there. So there's how many people left in? 39. Does that 23 mean 23 groups then? So there's there's some playing in threes, there's some solos, and there's 23 different groups. Is that what that means? Yeah, I died, Sneaky. It, it should be a command in the last death. It should be there. Does the car storage have loot? I don't think so, dude. I think they spawn empty. So it's 20, 23 different, or 22 now, individual different teams. So there's 15-ish solos, possibly more. I don't know what these are. I don't know what they are at all. No clue. Wasn't sure if you were driving a car or an auto scooter anyway. I would NT trust you with my life. Feels weird, man. Uh. I wouldn't trust you with my... I don't blame you. Not in a car in Daisy, anyway. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Wemensch, uh, Cadfree, uh, Tenon, Moon Maniac, Brandon. Thank you. Cadfree. Cheers. Sorry, not Cadfree. It was Tenon that couldn't do it before. Thanks for working out and using your prime, dude. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, cheers for the super chat. Bruin Bear and Lee, thank you for the resubs, too. So this is near Krasnostav. We have got a castle to the right we could maybe go to. What's it called? I was Chennai Agora. I was called it Black Mountain Castle. Call me Don Toretto. Mm, not me. So we are well in the zone for now. Might as well have a look at the castle. There could be players. Just need a vest. The red, the red uh, diamonds are nice viewpoints according to Reddit. Okay. Points of interest. What oh, a zombie! looted this then. carry on towards the centre. So we, we got uh, we got two vests. The gun is on semi-auto and that's not great. It's got a spare mag for it as well, which is cool. Camp here for a bit. Nope. We must press forward. Takes quite a while to get anywhere in this, so I'd, I'd rather get nearer to the centre for now. Bit of an open field coming up.
That's why I don't want to stay still. Exactly that reason. Like, now we've got even fucking further to travel. Where's that up to? That's up near Svetlo somewhere. Like, you can be running forever in this if you're not careful. So, and we, we may end up just getting shot in the middle of a field and dying. But get, trying to play the edge of the circle in this is deadly. You need the infinite stamina on this dope trailer, unfortunately. I, I, it does mean that a lot of the shots, if you see someone in the field, upon they can duke the infinitely. I made. Stream. They can duke infinitely, which is a, like there's no stamina to slow the movement down. But like having to travel a couple of kilometres in five minutes to get to the next zone is impossible, you know. Because of the sheer scale of the map for a battle royale, it, it needs the infinite stamina. It would be great to try and make it more tactical in some way, but I, I think I quite like the zombies as they are. I, I, I don't think zombies yet having them or not, but zombies that run at full pelt, even if they were full pelt, because you're infinite stamina, you can still outrun them. Like if if you're playing on an infinite stam server where the zombies run normal speed, you can still lose them. All right, we need to not go across the airfield. I think we're going to have to go around. In the forest, I guess. This is a bit dodgy, actually. It's not the best... Uh, not the best route. Back right on me or what? The guy kind of threw me. It sounded like it was aggro, and it might be, but... Vigrid is the name of the servers. There's eight of them at the moment. V I G R I D. So I don't want to run across the middle of the airfield, so hence I'm coming into these trees to try and run around. zone's only got two more minutes till it's locked. I'm well, I'm well in the zone now, but the next, the centre of the next zone, and the zones do get smaller. You, you really have to keep running. Silly new prime sub button. Daiki, yeah, it's seemingly harder to find. I wish I wasn't in the map when those shots went. It sounded like it was on top. Blaze double, maybe? See, shit. They may be like crouched or prone over somebody that they've killed. Lots of people are getting killed now. A tree. Down to the last 29 players, 19 groups. I don't really want to turn to a suppressor at the moment. I'm going to try and move away, but whether it works or not, I doubt. Might regret this. I'm just going to end up getting shot in the back, but... That might not have been at me. It might have been... Oh, God. It might have been somebody... Uh 
suppressed shooting out of the trees as I was running past, but... Those wolves are actually aggroed on me, or what? They might be now. Runs with runs with wolves. I feel like wolves are less of a problem with infinite stamina, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's kind of scared me a little. Bring him with. They are a bit distracting, I ain't gonna lie. to run. This this running in with the circle business has been tricky, hasn't it? Like I'm just doing nothing. Like the next zone is twelve hundred meters away. Like that's the that's why I've had to stay so mobile. I know there's players behind me right now, but I, I haven't got time for a fight. Like I can make it to the next zone, but I'm gonna have to run straight to it. I can't do anything else. Which is why it needs infinite stamina. Because if the circle doesn't go your way, if you're on the far side, you literally run. I ain't got time to play with those. I've still got a kilometre to travel to be inside the zone. We'll just let them shoot it out for now. Exactly. Twenty two left in. Yeah, shots behind me is a good thing. We are gonna have some problems coming up as well. There's the train tracks area and the It's gonna be tricky uh crossing over where the road is. It's not gonna be easy. Feels like Baziki is the kind of final zone. There's lots of people not in the zone. Holy shit, then just like four kills back to back. Shadow, Wool, Jack Burton, Daiki, thank you very much for the support, guys. Cheers for the uh, subscribing and resubs. Six more out. I might not even have to get a kill to make the top ten. You never know. Although this this big open area that we're about to run across has me oh shit has me somewhat worried. Fantastic shot. <laughs> oh, I'm going to end up running into him now. The bottle suppressor's kind of helped, but... I should have hit that first shot. I was waiting for him to run in a straight line and I fired... I, I waited a tiny, tiny bit too long. 
I got a PM5 days run so much better that PC is my next upgrade. Did you build your buy it all together? Mm. Oh my god, the recoil on that. I did hit him. The recoil on that gun is insane. That is awful. I, I, I could have played it better, so I missed the guy and ran past him, but that gun is fucking shocking. <laughs> I didn't trade, he was still upright. I hit him more with the other gun. I switched to the other gun because the recoil was... I wasn't expecting that, but that recoil was very, very, very hard. Never fired the gun before. Uh, it was shocking. Oh well. Yeah, the iron sight's bad. I, to be fair though, what cost me was because I missed the shot with the scope, you know, I missed that. That's what cost me, but nonetheless. That is horrible. That is horrible. The sight's no good. The, uh, the vertical recoil is very high. Never trust a gun you've never shot before. Well, you don't have a lot of choice when you've got, you get what you get. They're down to 14. That's annoying, that, but there we go. How long is the stream going? Uh, 12 hour stream today, dude. We've gone on six and a half hours. Right, shouldn't take too long to get into another one. Uh, I'd quite like to go into a solo one. There's The solo ones have both got 15 or 16 players in, so we should be able to get into one of those fairly quickly. Connor, I did have an AUG, but the AUG is a bit weaker, so I, I was using the gun that I protect, was expecting to be better, but I honestly thought it would be similar to an AK-74, but that recoil went to the fucking sky. site with that one again so there's two solo servers only both have got about 15 players left so 15 players down to like it's all over shouldn't take very long but I should have uh, I, I should have hit him with the uh, with the SV 98 really I, I, I should have done better Michael, thank you very much for the gifted memberships. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support. Real McCoy, Dracula, Impaler, Shadow Stand, Wolf, thank you for the resubs and new subs. It was high rate of fire, so it's probably decent at close range, but it's no good for, for that. On day two of the St. Patrick's Day hangover. Fucking hell, dude. Uh, fair play to you. And both both solo servers have got 13 players left in it. Seven. I've not seen the leaderboards or anything. I, I've, I've not got that many kills playing this. You know, a lot of the rounds I have are like that, unfortunately. But normally, I, if I get closer, I, I do okay. But uh, I've had a few rounds where I've not even fired the gun. But the, the, the one we had a decent run the other day. I got, I got second, unfortunately, but seven kills along the way. said I was hangover baby. <laughs> kind of interesting. Uh, happy birthday, dude. Uh, 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 Mr. Dr. Carmichael, dude. Thank you for coming in.
I could eat anything. I think I've got lamb, but I, I really would like it. Right, how many people we got left? 10 in one, 12 in the other. Won't be long. A PvP leaderboard. <laughs> so it's what, what do you get for PvP? PV, time spent alive. How do you qualify for that? <laughs> Solo with 13, there's a solo with 10, 9. I really want to go in another trio one if I can avoid it. There is. Uh Cheers for the gifted sub. Uh, CKY Dave, thank you for the resub. 997 GT3, that sounds like a car. Sounds like a, sounds like a Porsche. I should probably say Porsche. <laughs> Cheers for coming in, dude. Right, solo ones are down to 10 and uh, not many players, so we should be able to get in one soon. A spectator mode after you die would be cool because then you could watch it rather than uh, like, so you could actually get into the next round kind of thing. That would be pretty cool. You're going to be able to get into a solo one very, very soon. Hi, Ocean. How you doing, dude? Hope you good. The solo ones are five players left and nine players left, so it'll be over any sec. Four players left. See, uh, it would be cool to do a little group on this. It would be kind of cool. The only problem with it, with stuff like that, because there's no spectator mode, if you were in a group of three and one of you dies in the very beginning, then you're stuck. I guess you could watch one of the others while they're streaming, but that's the tricky part, is that you can't, like, let's just say I die, because it's more likely. But if the round's for half an hour and I'm, I'm stuck then, you know, it's a bit tricky. But yeah, it would be cool to do some squads, and it would be kind of cool. I've only done BR Lone Wolf, dude. That's, I'm not really done any teaming up. Both solo servers are nearly finished, so we'll be in one soon. Yeah, that's true. If you could... Uh, you're right. If you could... Uh, Maybe if you could only spectate your teammates, though. That's what normally happens in other rounds, isn't it? You know, like, if you die in a battle royale, you can only spe spectate your teammate. But yeah, you're right. As a mod, that's asking a bit much for any of these things, you know. I'm not really complaining, Lord Vader. It's just a thought. I'm only going in it solo, you know. They're both both solo servers are down to the last five and three well five in one three in the other so in fact that's a duo so i lied oh god that one's down to two both solo servers are nearly over anyway yo and i'm uh, i'm 
playing Battle Royale. I'm just waiting for the server to end. So I'm waiting for the server to come down so I can join another one. Thank you for the 18. CKY Dave, thank you. Right, one solo looks like it's about to end. The other is about to end too, yep. Yep, the other one's ended too. Right, so I'm going to join one of the two that are uh, offline now. Gabriel, there's a couple of icons, but the, what the server I was just in was a trio server. So one is showing you how many groups there are, and the other is showing you how many individual players you are. So let's say there's 20 players left on a duo server. That could be 10 groups of two, or it could be uh, one group of two and 18 lone wolves. It's trying to give you that information, like how many groups there are. I was already already joining on Redline. We should be it should be getting in pretty quick. I get a bag, which I don't get to keep. Better keep the shoes on. Shall I, shall I keep the? I better keep them on as well. No, my luck. I'll end up spawning with nothing. Uh, they're open just, Trev. Anyone can play them. Just don't watch the stream while you're playing, dude. That's all, you know. Fairly common sense. <clears throat> right. Let's hope we have a slightly better run than last time. And it's kind of weird. What's better, really, to get get killed really early on and shit happens, or to run around for 15 minutes and then get killed anyway? <laughs> like, I think I'd probably rather just get killed. <laughs> I've not played a server like this since TRMZ killed me 5-0. I don't think that happened. Are there broken legs? I don't know, Jambon. I think they're less likely. I think if you get a broken leg, you're fucked, so I doubt it. There is VoIP, but it's only very local. Whisper VoIP. Like... Like that. Sorry. Press the wrong one. Mariners got executed on a hold up on Winter Generous in the North Air Stair Tower after 10 minutes of friendly convoy. Oh, dude. Night out. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the vids. Uncupers sent me the edited video. It's finished, so um, it's now. It's only Monday. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we were hoping to get it out on Saturday, but the part two lights out is done. I've got a finished video, so I can't release it until Saturday, I'm afraid to say, because I can't release it on a stream day. It just doesn't work. But there, it definitely means the video will be available on Saturday, because I've got it ready to download now. Oh, 
Why do you get a backpack? Ramon, it's just whatever random loot is here, dude. This is where we are for now, but... Uh, this is just like the holding area and loot does spawn here because once the map round starts there will be this area will exist you know there's an awful lot of uh, non thumbs uppers non f1ers You can't get far, Tompty, because when you do this, it teleports you back. So you go like this, and then now-ish. Maybe now. What about now? Maybe now. There we go. I do that is. We starting now. I bet. Do you know what? I better not dance. Any money you like. I start dancing. The round will fucking start, and I'll be like bugged. <coughs> One more play needs to ready up, and then I think we can start. Why is my stamina running? I think we're starting. Hey Mikey, uh, Balea Palana, that's where we already are. Berezino, hmm. Fucking hell, can you please stop that now? Two mags, three mags, no gun. Oh god, I can feel what's coming. Okay. this side so we don't have to cross the road again. Magnum? Fuck me, we'd be desperate, wouldn't we? I don't want no shitty shotgun. Oh nice, stab vest is okay, better than a kick in the teeth. Poo scope. Kugel, it's good to know, thank you. Another magnum. Oh, a bag. It's actually almost worth shutting the doors. I, I said I didn't want to cross the road, but here we are. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck. Well, I'm glad we crossed the road. The AK-74 is pretty good. Ra ranged weapons are kind of good in this, but if you can get yourself to the kind of nearest close circle, a couple of, like, assault rifles are more useful. Like, if you, if you get yourself into the top ten and get near the, the final zone, then it, it's assault rifles that are going to get you the win. like we have quite a lot of time. Nobody in Berezino. Sorry, by the way, there was a question before. I, I never answered it, but I uh, I didn't build my own PC. No, my, I am sponsored by PC Specialist, but my PC came from there, obviously. You know, like I, I've done a few things with PCs. I've I've done a lot of changing and upgraded things, changed uh, thermal paste and added different things and whatnot, and uh, upgraded graphics cards and power supplies. But I've never built a PC from scratch. I'm I, I'm kind of a, a, a pre-built kind of dude anyway. Happy Monday, TRMZ love, TRMZ love. Not that powerful, but it's, it's a bit of range. I put a, I put a eight terabyte SSD internal dubs. So I, I changed my hard drive from an old style hard drive to a an eight terabyte internal SSD. Much quieter. Right, I think it's time to start running. It's time uh, no, alright. Why so much? What do you mean cat inspector? Why so much what? Oh, you mean the SSD? Why so much? Because I record all my gameplay to make videos, so... Uh, I actually had an old-style hard drive that was 16 terabytes, so... Uh, the SSD is for recording video files, and I record in high quality, so it's not very much. Like, so it... it, it an SSD is slightly overkill, but it's silent running, which is kind of quite appealing, so... Uh, Possibly could help a little bit with editing because it's being read, write, read, reading and writing from the from the edit on a quicker hard drive. But yeah, it, it's for that. I, I had a 16 terabyte old style hard drive and it was so loud. Like I presume it's double disc, but like when it was reading and writing, the clicking was insane and it was driving my missus mad. get in the car, mightn't they? I was getting all excited then. It's a zombie mooching around behind it.
Not sure. Oh, is that someone running? Thank you. That zombie just aggroed. They don't run very quick. I think he's, there's someone around there. Yeah, I think they're aggroed. I'm going to have a look this way quickly. Shitload of zombies spawning in now. I think we're going to use the car to just shoot down that road some. Maybe should have waited longer, but never mind. So it's two kilometres to the next one. I think driving the car a little bit is probably a good move. Like the zone where it's moved to is much further away from the people that were just shooting in Berezino. So getting a bit of distance with this fucker is probably a good idea. Although I could do with going the right direction. Should be a junction soon, I think. back at Kresnestad, which is where we were before going this way. bug, okay? It was a bug. experience slash out of car experience I 
I need to eat some sandwiches. So I need to eat some uh, lamb pitta. It's dinner time. Minted lamb. Oh. Keep up the good work, TRMZ love. Thank you, Jono. Franco as well, Jax. Thank you very much for the support also. We're very central here, that's good. I see your minted lemon raise you a chicken madras. I've gone white right off curry lately. I'm right off curry. It should be closing in now, right? Schizophrenic guy, if you have a crack curry, it puts you off ordering for a while. It does. I, I got bad stomach. I, I got, like, real bad vomiting from a curry about a year ago. I barely had one since. Across there, I've lost him now. We may have to run back that way for all I know, but I doubt it. There was a guy running across the crest of that hill, so he's to my left somewhere. This doesn't feel good, does it? Hi, Rag. Thank you very much for the resub.
Tahis, thank you for the supping. Cheers for the membership, dude. Thank you. I don't know if running makes sense right now. There's shots at the northeast airfield. There was a player this way, and he could he could be right in front. This is a dodgy Hello. route. I mean, I'm going to run now anyway, but I, I probably shouldn't be doing this, especially exposing myself so much to the right. And the hill. Yeah. Oh, he's on the... He's on the fucking chimney. Holy shit, no way. I think he was on the chimney. I'm not dead, but I will be in a second. I think he's on the chimney. That's insane. It was a bad choice that. As I was saying it, it was a bad choice. Why not lay down? I was already I, when you get shot you lay down there, drills. Laying down he still shot me when I woke up, right? It was it was a stupid route to take. It was really dicey. Yeah. I think he was on the chimney, otherwise he wouldn't have been shooting me when I was pro. But yeah, laying down would not have helped there. Like I was I was exposed, you know. I needed to get up and get my gun and get mobile. Gyro, yeah I do. We could maybe do that in a bit. Maybe he wasn't on the chimney, but it can be the only place I can think of where the shot was coming from. I may have been finished off by somebody else as well, it's possible, but I don't know. Dexterous, Bolty, thank you for the resub. George Potts, thank you as well. Sir Hiss, thank you for the for the sub once again. That was a really bad route. I, I knew it was a bad idea as I was doing it. I should have uh, I should have stayed nearer to the houses and gone up nearer the police station.
Matt, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Ever think of working with the Fresh Bombs? They, they, I like what they do, Cup of Tea. I normally only team up with one other player if I'm doing a team up. Like, I play with Sour and Muller because we're the Lights Out team, so that's three of us. But usually if I'm teaming up, I try to make it me and one other streamer because it makes it more possible for me to talk to you guys. because your sub count goes up when you're streaming and goes down when you're not dude. so I don't know what my sub count is right now but it will have gone down because I was off Thursday and Sunday more than I normally would have been so yeah your sub count goes down if you don't stream but it comes back up again when you do it's a part of it at least hopefully it does right the solo ones are a bit of a no-go coming soon with 14 players in it right now. You can use Prime to sub on Twitch, Rob, yeah. Excuse me. So there's a duo down to 13. I'll be able to get that, get in that. Yes, yeah, uh, if you're a streamer, you're self-employed. I'm not employed by Twitch or YouTube. I'm, uh, I'm self-employed and have to declare everything. Yeah. Solo, solo's not a no-go, Malbix. I want to go with Solo, but the problem is the time. So the Solo servers, the modded one has got 31 players left in it. The uh, vanilla one's got 34 players left in it. So I could be waiting 20 minutes for the server to restart, whereas the, the duo one has got... 13 players in it so I can get in around quicker. I just want to get in a game as soon as possible. Uh, hi Sakav's world, I'm okay, hope you're good. I just, uh, I should have, I should have chose a better route there, that was annoying. Which Daisy zombie character is my favourite and why? I honestly don't really. I quite like the one that looks a bit like Ray Donovan, I guess. One of the police zombies. But only because it looks a bit like Ray Donovan. I like the other... There's, there's another one that looks like a, a dude from Sex Machine. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I don't really recognise the zombies. I, the zombies are just like wallpaper. I just like punch them in the face. And rarely am I looking at them. I'm normally reading the chat. I won't be doing the mouse today, Trevor, no. I've not done much in the mouse this year, only a couple of times. There's one that looks like your mother-in-law. you get a bit better at the game I think about a team up well Rob good to know <laughs> uh, appreciate it I had, I had a lot of fun playing this battle royale the other day but we've had three rounds today I've not had a lot of fun today uh, one bad shot one bad choice and that's three rounds over Welsh Kevin very nice oh, sorry Welsh Viking my bad but dude not very nice I don't know a lot about about the brand or anything, but a, a, a watch from a family member is always kind of special, right? Keep on running. Timothy, it was delayed. It'll be out on Saturday. I've actually got the final version sent to me today from my editor, so uh, I need to quickly check the ending of it and make sure I'm all right with it. But yeah, it, Lights Out Two was uh, Lights Out Part Two was delayed. It was meant to be Saturday. It just wasn't finished in time. I was gutted. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wanted it out on Saturday so badly, but uh, it wasn't quite ready. So it will be out next Saturday. Right, where are we at? 
there's uh, nine players left in one. The server I was just in has only has still got 28 players left in it. Chip it, ending be damned. It doesn't work that way, Mr. Moon. I can't release it till Saturday anyway now. Obviously, I've got it on my hard drive. Well, it's not on my hard drive. I've got the link to download it. But I can't release it on a stream day, so the earliest I could release it is Friday. Eight players left. Not nine anymore. Nine. Big Grid or DBR? I didn't even know there was DBR. What's DBR? It doesn't make sense to release a video on a day that I'm streaming on YouTube, Johnny. It, it fucks up the views because if I've streamed for eight hours, that's YouTube sending out eight hours of Running Man's is streaming. Watch the stream if you want. And then if I release a video afterwards, the impact of me uh, the impact of me streaming for eight hours before massively fucks the video views up uh, because I've streamed on the same day. It's not a good idea. It's much better to get to get decent views if you're streaming on YouTube. Much better to release the video on a day you're not streaming, right? So this week I'm streaming uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The video will have to come out Friday or Saturday, and it'll probably come out Saturday, purely because uh, any other day is kind of stupid. Saturday's a better viewing day than a Friday. It's not great for streams if it's unlucky like this, David. It's kind of frustrating, but sometimes you get in around real quick, and sometimes you're unlucky. What's not helping is that both of the solo servers are so close together, you know, like there's two solo servers. And they both ended the last time at the same time, which means that if the solo servers are kind of in line with each other, it's really hard. Like if one's got 30 players in it when the other one's starting, then if you die in 30 second place, then there's another one about to start. You know, but it, it's, it's a shitter. Subby, well, uh, all for the views. Uh, try, uh, a YouTuber not trying to max out, maximize their potential views is like, it just doesn't make sense, you know. I'm paying to have the video edited. It makes no sense to release it on a day when people aren't going to see it. You know? Listed, no, the best I've done is second with seven kills. I've not done very well today at all. I had three rounds and three, three shitters. Uh, how, long have, how many years have I been streaming? I started streaming in 2015. I was partnered on Twitch in... Uh, June of 2015, went full time in 2016. That's true, Wacker, that's very true. Sometimes I take these jokes, Wacker, but <laughs> I'm taking them now. But sometimes there's justifiably very good reasons why I'm not streaming. And the constant jokes when I've got really good reasons can sometimes get a little bit tiresome. <laughs> Just as a heads up. Uh, maybe all will become clear at some point down the line. We shall see. And I charge $30 for a mug that's not worth more than about 15 Right. The duo server's down to six. The solo servers are down to 20s now. They're really going quick. Nick, I like I like the new Speedy. I think it's great. Yeah, I like the new Speedy. I think it looks really, really good. I prefer it to the Black Dial version for sure. I, I personally, I find the Black Dial one a bit boring, but it's been around so long that that's why. You know, it's just it's a great watch. The both of them are, but I quite I prefer the white one. If 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 I was looking to buy one or the other, I'd choose the white. How large is the file size for a 12-hour stream record? Dude, the, the file size can be massive, so I'm not in anywhere right now. So if I just go to desktop, not desktop, sorry, if I go to my hard drive, it's big. I record in 70,000 kilobits per second, pretty much. So if we just take a file from today, uh, so find a fairly long one. 
there's one the last hour i was on the, the the adventure server it's an hour and eight minutes that's 23 gigabytes so a longer a longer run so stands to reason you know like 40 minutes is 16.1 gig i'm just looking at a couple now uh it 20 minutes is 8.38 gig and that's dead on 20 minutes so the way i'm recording 10 minutes of footage is 4.2 gig so yeah 10 minutes of footage 4.2 gig that's insane well uh if you want to put good quality videos to youtube you need to record in good quality the black blue one attack hoyer movements any good in you are uh the, the, the more recent Tag Heuer uh, chronographs are good, yeah. Take yeah, my prime good. TRM Z love. I don't know the I don't know the, the, the if it's a if it's a current gen Tag Heuer, uh, and it's got their own movement in it, then it is pretty decent, yeah. But I, I, without checking it, I wouldn't know for sure. But, but Tag have got their own chronograph movement that they've been using for the last year or two, maybe three. Well, uh, there isn't any news yet, Wackat, but yeah. Right, I'm going to be able to get in a server in a sec. Uh, but yeah, the, the the new tag, I think it's column wheel, I think it's vertical clutch, I think it's a decent movement, yeah. Quantum, you can send it. I don't need it, though. I, I can see it in the DZSA launcher when the servers are open to, to enter. I can see it. Rugles, thank you very much for the resub. Rob, thank you for the new sub. G Simmons, Rinkerin, thank you for the resub as well. Yeah, so uh, if I'm record, if if you want to watch a video on YouTube with the best quality, or if I want to upload one with the best quality, the, obviously at any point along the way, the, the the video quality can be reduced. But the better the original recording, the better it starts from. You know, like. The better starting record, the better the end result will be. Kind of stands to reason, you know. Right, should be on the way into a server any second. Uh, what's the, in my opinion? What's the best map ever? Chernerus. Sorry, you got timed out by Nightbot there, dude, but thanks for providing the link. I, I, I ought to join the Discord. I'm not even in the Discord at the moment. I ought to join it. But uh, once you can see the servers offline in the launcher, you just join it and then you get in. The solo servers are actually down to 14 and 16 players. We could almost go in one of those. Rinker in. Thank you for the five months, dude. Thank you again. <clears throat> Are the BR servers not timed? I think the problem is, Lord Vader, that when once they uh, once a round ends. They just start another one, so they can still get out of sync anyway. You know, you, you could have one round that people die a lot earlier, and the round is over quicker, and then another round that's slower, and people are not not being aggressive in the final circle. So even if they stagger them to begin with, they could then concertina around. You know, they might be the two solo servers might be roughly the same time now, but in three hours' time, they could be massively far apart again. It's just luck of the draw. And yeah, it's in the Nightbot Coast command there. Thanks, Redline. White gold version of what? Holy shit. That sounds expensive, whatever it is. Yeah, 
Rob, well, I, I record higher. Yeah, I've always recorded at 50. I, I, I might be wrong, but it's probably me being overly sensitive about it. But in the earlier days, before VP9 and whatnot, VP09, like it was so hard to get any kind of a half-decent picture at 1080p. It's a lot easier now with 1440p. And YouTube just does compress everything. YouTube compresses down. There may be no reason to record anything higher than about 30,000, really, like you're doing 26. When it gets to... When it when it goes to YouTube, they compress it, and I think about twenty six is where they're at. But nonetheless, if you the the better quality your rendered video in theory, the better quality it will be on YouTube. They're going to compress it and they're going to fuck around with it, whatever you do. So sending them better seems to make sense. But I haven't played around with it. I've always I've always been at fifty or more. The duo server I was trying to join has never uh, actually gone live yet. It's still sitting there. This sucks. Oh, go, go. oh the server's up now, so we can do the duo's one. It doesn't change me getting in it though, Quantum, that's the point. I know there's a link, we've, we've got it on the thing, but I don't really want to sit looking at Discord, I can just do this, I'm going to get in now. It just doesn't change the end result, it just means I've got another thing to look at. Now that we're in one, I think I am going to go... Take this. Take this.
Oh, Speedmaster White, Darling White Girl. I thought it was silver. I thought the Canopus one was more of a silvery dial rather than white. It's not lacquered white, anyways. It's a different... But yeah, it's nice. It's crazy money, though. Sorry guys, I've just uh, had an epiphany. Fourteen months with Paul. Would not have it any other way. I watch your streams and videos every day. Keep it up, you're the best. Yeah, I, d I don't know if... Uh, I don't, hopefully that guy wasn't saying anything stupid while I was gone, but that's one downside with going AFK in the lobby. He didn't say anything, that's good. I have not seen that Moonlander, no. Yeah, the, the solo servers are now available, so I'm going to go in one of the solo servers. That's the plan. Yeah, Kempers, it, it, it can be tricky if you're chasing the zone. If you're near the middle, it can be loads of fun. Where the real fun is with the Battle Royale is, is when you're in the final couple of circles. It gets really tense and it's all CQB. It's really fun. But if you do a lot of running and then die in the first fight or do a lot of running, get shot in the back or whatever, it can get really annoying. Thank you for the new sub. Swash, thank you. Clarky, thank you very much. Cheers for coming in, guys. Thank you. Uh, I should think from your perspective, it was the best game you'd seen in years, Bob, because what a result to get through in extra time and be 3-2 down and then win in extra time. From your perspective, that was a great game. As, as a neutral, it was a great game, you know, but uh, as a Liverpool MZ fan, it, it was a bit of a horror MZ show. They just wasted far too much of the, the uh, possession and the chances they had in the first half. I don't know what to do here. They, uh, maybe I'll go in the other one. Someone asked how long I'll be on for. About another four hours or so, roughly. Hey, J-Bob, you're a Man U fan. You can't... <laughs> it's going to be your favourite game in years. I don't think it was... I, it was a really exciting game. I, I think if you're a United fan, it's going to be crazily cool. Beating Liverpool in that way, you know, like... from It was, it was but... I, there's been better games, let's say. But for a Man U fan, I'm, I, there hasn't been better games for ages. You can see why, you know. Why am I getting data authentication error? That, I might not get in this one now because of that. I was frustrated at uh, Liverpool in the second half. I sat there kind of swearing at the telly. Now I'm getting data verification error. I may not get in the fucking server. That sucks.
So Jimmy, I, I haven't seen it. I only heard about it on the stream, but uh, he's not normally that bad there where he's getting like angry and walking out, but I, by all accounts he did yesterday. But it was a hell of a, uh, it was a hell of a, a final. But I, I don't know what the question was. I don't even know what he said, but yeah, people in the chat have been telling me about it. It's not an update with the mod, dude. I was just in the servers. I, I'm not, it's not letting me now in now because of a data verification error. So I've got, I've got fucking bollocked out of a uh, out of getting in one. There's no, there's no update for me on a wind stride anyway. He questioned why the players are so tired. I think that is a stupid question, to be fair. It, it, does, it doesn't uh, necessarily warrant being uh, uh, walking out or being rude, but let's be fair, it is a dumb question, you know? Like, anyone that's seen, like, from pre-League Cup final until now and all the injury troubles, you know, it's pretty obvious why there's been... <laughs> why they've been on a shoestring, you know? Why are your players so tired? <laughs> I can see why that annoyed him, to be fair. Oh, there's an Australian server there. Another one bites the dust. I'm going to give up on this soon, guys. I, I should have stayed in that other server now, shouldn't I? I fucked that up. Scope. Well, I, I kept. I was getting data verification there, and now the server that I was trying to join has got 60 players in it, and it started, so I can't get in anymore. You know. Interestingly, there was two solo servers. They both finished about the same time, but one of them's not started yet. It's like they're holding it to try and split split them up a bit somehow. Like it's on a little timer. Klopp has always been a sore loser. Well, any fan that's not a Liverpool fan is going to think that. There's so many managers. Pep Guardiola's not a good winner, got a good loser. Most of the best managers are not good losers. You catch Jose Mourinho throwing his fucking loser's trophy, loser's medallion into the crowd and asking, there isn't a top tier manager that's a good loser, you know. If you get asked a, a prickly question right at the, at the end of a game that's kind of tricky like that, it, it, it's just common sense. You wheel out somebody when they're at their lowest after a loss and ask them a stupid question, you're going to get a stupid answer, you know. And and there isn't a manager in, in the league that, that isn't in that way, you know. If anyone else had faced the challenges Klopp had got, and then a, a, somebody that's meant to be in the press asks them why his players were tired after they've just lost 4-3, there ain't a manager in the fucking league that's going to go, oh, ha, ha, ha. that's not how it is. None of the best managers, like people like Guardiola and so on, none of them are good losers. That comes with the territory. Keegan, well, he never was a winner, though, was he? Not as a manager, as a player he was. Kevin Keegan was an absolutely ma um, majestic player before my time, but as a manager he wasn't a winner, was he? Easy to be a, a, a good loser when that's all you do. Bad loser when not winning. Yeah, that rant he had. Uh, that rant he had. Uh, I'd love it if we beat them. Oh my god, that was that was a shame. I wanted Newcastle to win that season so badly.
right, there's a trio coming to an end. I, I don't know what's going on with this uh, solo vanilla one. The pink's gone up. Oh, that's the Australian one. That's no good. What, what's going on with this game? Well, these are mods, dude. This is this is modded Battle Royale, and they're kind of tricky to get in, especially if you're in a server and then leave it and then regret it afterwards, like I just did. The the solo server I was waiting to get in is not up yet. It, it's not available yet. It's like it's on a timer. Leo, I have got. Uh, I've, I'm going to get early access to Grey Zone. Yeah, I, I, I followed them on Twitter, and the community manager followed me, and I had a quick chat with them. So yeah, I, I should be on. Uh, I should be on Grey Zone when it comes out. Yeah. Skunky, I, I, I hope it's Zabby Alonso. There's been some rumours over the weekend that the players want Pep Linders or Linders. I, I think I personally want Zabby. I don't want Pep. Linders, but if it's not Zabby, I think I kind of would quite like it to be him. I'd quite like it to go to the number two at Liverpool right now. I think that'd be interesting. Alf, I know, uh, believe it or not, when I, he, he, he did sort of say it's a shame we weren't talking sooner because he would have got me into that as well, believe it or not, but I... Uh, I, I only followed them a couple of weeks ago and I've missed out on all of that stuff. You're getting Steve Bruce deal with it. Right, this is we're in that one, Red Knight. Yeah, I, I kind of hope it's Xavi Alonso. I think Liverpool are in a really good plot spot in terms of the squad and the balance of it and the age of play people and the youth players coming through. I think Liverpool are in a pretty good way with a few things that need to be solved. Uh, Mohamed Salah maybe being one of them. Uh, and I think it would be good to have somebody new rather than... They, they had that thing where they kept going to the boot room for managers and kept trying to replicate what they'd gone before. And it ended up being their undoing in the end. And maybe Klopp has started an era and maybe Pep Linders has worked under uh, Brendan Rodgers as well. He knows Liverpool inside out. Maybe going for him might be a good choice. Maybe. And can go for continuity. Maybe it would be a really good choice and, and maybe it will, but... I personally think another manager with slightly different ideas that's proven... I think Xabi Alonso might be it. See, the solo vanilla I was waiting for is still not opened. It just flashed offline. It might be open now. They're all Chernerus, Adam. Well, there's a couple of Livonian ones, actually, but yeah, Chernerus. Nobody readies up. It's weird. Oh, look, and anyone can play Battle Royale. Yeah, Vigrid. If When you join, make sure you press F1, though. Most of these fuckers don't seem to understand it. Maybe Hester, they're having to team up, perhaps. Good, love.
<laughs> Open the pole back up. Ooh. <laughs> Doc, dude, thank you for the 60 months. Hope you're good. Hope all is well, man. Thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support, dude. I think we might need to go back to regular Daisy. Ish, that seems like a good plan. I should probably do that. Uh, I would like Battle Royale, but on the New York days... Oh my god, that would be horrendous with 60 players on that tight map. It would be fun though. It wouldn't last very long. Have I won any Battle Royale today? No. Have I won any ever? No. I've not played that many rounds, but we're on. This is about the fourth round today. I've had three rounds so far. They've been abysmal. Uh, death early. Uh, death due to bad shooting. Death due to bad positioning so far. You go on your holly bobs or maybe I've got the kids are here for a week quantum the kids are here from good friday for a week friday to friday so i am going to be having some time off when they're here uh my mum is looking after my sister's kids so normally they go there for a couple of days it's going to be really tricky to do that because she's looking after I, like my kids are 15 and 12 so they're not like the other my sister's kids are 11 and 4 which is much more challenge especially four you know they're much more challenge well three actually at the moment my bad, but much more work required looking after, so I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them, to be honest. Hyper Pro actually won this weekend. Yeah, of course he did. their stamina. Right, start there. How did he do that? That's impressive. Look at that, that that's painful. T R M Z L U V. On me, stop on me, stop on me. <laughs> Did I know that HP has a dozen chicken dinners? He only eats meat once or twice a month. I vomit on your head. <laughs> Why don't people ready up? It's baffling. Everybody's in. Press F fucking one. The VoIP is very close range. It's only like whisper VoIP. One more presses F1 and we're in. Every round, Liquid, every round. Oh, come on. Please, can we start now? Make team start now. Player count reached. Ah, here we go. Is it fast-paced or not? Yes and no. At the end, very much. In the middle, maybe not. Bloody hell, we're on the south coast.
No, that's not true. South coast, my ass. Oh my god, this is not good though. We are a long way from fucking Kansas here. It's miles away, Zaprudno. I was thinking of uh, Prig for some reason, but no. We're a long way from where we need to be here. Hopefully there's nobody else, otherwise we could end up dead at these few houses. So starting on the edge of the circle is an absolute fucker if your next circle is not in your... Like, if the next circle is touching your edge, you're fine, but if it's the other side, you're fucked. Definitely need food. You love getting your edge touched. Mm. Ultra, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. We are set. With our scorpion. What is the center icon? It's the center of the, the circle. So if you press K, you can bring that up. And you can take it away again if you want, but... It's the centre of the circle. It's kind of a useful thing to have if you're trying to find where you're going more more quickly. AKM. Okay, we'll get rid of the shotgun. need a repeater or a magnum spare scorpion mag though why not so at least we're not the first one today Keeping my eyes out for a car. If if I can't see a car soon, we're gonna have to start running. Just loot these couple of houses maybe, and then we're gonna have to start running towards the zone. Get a bit more central, otherwise we could be in deep shit. So the zombies only move slowly, so you can just easily outrun them. They're not really a big deal. Don't actually have any range. The SSG could be useful, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Died somehow. What does that mean? They're outside the safe zone or something. I'm going to regret not taking that SSG. I think that was a mistake. I could have took it and just used it as my ranged weapon for now. Car related death, you reckon? Okay. Picking up extra vests, I've never needed one yet, but if you get if you take shots, survive the fight, being able to switch to another vest seems to make sense to me, but it's never been a thing so far for me at all. DMR would be good. Uh. Mark, oh yeah. 
I, I haven't, if, if I haven't hit anything yet, I haven't shot any shots yet. I've, I've, this is my fourth round. I've not killed a player yet. Danger Mouse Reborn. Dandy Man's Rifle. Delicious man rump. In my case, in Battle Royale so far today, it stands for dead man running. We may be getting a bit uh, open field esque on this route. I might cut down more towards. Uh, Oh, maybe not actually. I was thinking we maybe would be better off cutting down the airfields to my right. Maybe we just carry on in this field. I, I, I. Slight issue being that if we end up getting shot at in this big open field, I've got no range to shoot back at all. Right, I haven't, done, I haven't done enough looting. I should have a rifle of some sort. This field is so open. Let's just get ourselves a uh, savannah with 10 bullets and in a mag and a scope from here. Hey Robin, hope you're good dude. Maybe we should have looted a bit more. I might, I might have left a bit prematurely. Bully. Bye bye, Mickle de Pickle. Someone's got a kill with Vicky. So hung over and have to go play music in the pub now. Holy shit. Uh, well, Crick, I hope you had a good time. I wish it was a big deal for us. Like, well, it, around here, no one gives a shit, you know, like, it doesn't even register in East Anglia, really, except for in the pubs. If you're going in the pub anyway, or you're Irish, but other than that, it just doesn't. Zone will appear in 30 seconds. Should I be in Viborg? Sorry, sorry, not Viborg, Rashino. I probably should, shouldn't I? I'm going to go down to Grishino. There is a big gap between the edge of the bush line and the town. So we're okay, we're, we're already well in the next circle. Just trying to keep an eye out for open doors. UMP.
So on the battle rail, I, I think the the doors spawn closed. But if you start seeing open doors, you know someone's been through. Certainly if the doors are all open anyway, but I think they all spawn closed. Seppo. did that. I don't need MVGs, that much I know. I was regretting not taking the other one, but let's keep that one over the MP5. And in fact, let's not. Bigger bag, more space, more space, space for shit. Oh, that's good. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm just going to leave it. We'll go. We'll go to assault rifles. We've been if, if we were really early doors, and I've, I got a kill with an early, in an earlier game, way earlier, not today. If you've just picked one up and it's really early in the round, they're actually fairly useful, those. But once everyone's got gear, they're just going to tank those rounds and keep running. It won't. Like, it's no good. I could take the bullets out of it for the gun I'm using, but I don't think it's worth the bother. Was open. Hey y'all, hi Paul. Exclusively streaming Battle Royale today, or? Yeah, someone's been here, I think. Uh, no, I did six hours on uh, another. I did six hours on uh, what was the map? Scalus Egg. Vicky. I need Vicky. I think we have enough enough assault rifles now, probably. Didn't Liverpool play well yesterday? They did, Wilkins. 2-1. Uh, what a result. Winning 2-1. Uh, my missus asked me to take it to the garden centre right near the end of the game, so I just went when it was 2-1 and glad that they managed to stick it out and win the game. It was a very commanding performance, really. They were, they were valued for better than 2-1, I'd say. is what someone's dropped. So someone spawned halfway through Grishino and then came this way. Good evening. We're still following the same dude. Doors are random now. Someone's definitely been this way. I am following someone. I don't buy it. <laughs> I found uh, that T-shirt had his uh, spawned loot in it, so I'm definitely following someone now. And even if doors are random, if they're mostly closed and then you go in three houses where they're all open, someone's probably been. Uh, Max, no, 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 no. 2-1 was the end of the game. It finished 2-1. Should have been three. Liverpool had a goal disallowed. And it, it wasn't really offside in my book, but it's just as well it didn't matter.
Bruno Fernandes should have got sent off as well, you know. That that uh, challenge was a, was a yellow all day long, but because he'd already had one, he didn't give it. But that's fine, because it didn't change the result. It's all good. <laughs> Just to be serious for one second before people start misunderestimating the fact that I'm being sarcastic. Uh, I think United deserve to go through, to be fair. I, I think Liverpool had all the chances they could have had. They had all the possession for most of the second half. If you don't score, they were 2-1 two up, two up at half-time. They had about 35 minutes where they were up in the second half. They could have scored and they didn't. You know, that's what happens. You get what's equivalent of a second yellow and it leads to a red picky bugger, but you know what I mean. If he wasn't on a yellow, it would have been a yellow. And you see that all the time. You know what I mean. If you've got no yellow card, you get given one for something. But if you do that same thing again and you're on a yellow card, you don't get sent off. They, they, they're really careful with it. Fibble deflections are otherwise. They go in the net, don't they? liking where I'm going here. This is very open. I'm in open areas with no uh, with no range. It's not smart. Yeah, I, I didn't take the SSG because we were to the point where people would be packing uh, proper uh, proper vests, proper helmets and whatnot. Maybe I should have done, but if we get into the final circle, I'll be glad of the assault rifles and the SSG won't be needed, you know. It just depends. I think an SSG is probably too weak to do a great deal again. <laughs> in hell. It's only an MP5. I got shot from behind. Different fucking player. The guy that was firing at me with the MP5 didn't kill me. I got shot from behind from someone else. That really sucks. <sighs> they may have been together. They may have been together and he was dancing around because he had a buddy behind me, but... That sucks. That that route sucked. The whole, the whole fucking round sucked. <laughs> Did the solo one ever open up? The solo vanilla one? It did, not long after my one. what have we got? We've got Solo Modded has got only nine players left. We can go in there. I think I'm going to switch to regular DayZ in a minute. This has been fucking shocking. <laughs> I still that's four rounds and I've not got a kill. And that, that round I didn't even get a shot off. Andrew, uh, I, I try and be last to get in the zone so more likely hostiles... That's great, Andrew, but in the first zone, it's no good. Like, I've tried that and died to the... Like, if you get it wrong when you've got big circles, you're fucked, dude. Like, it's okay later on to be coming in late, but if you're doing the getting in late strategy on, on the first circle, if the next circle does you, you can't make it. You know, like, it, you can end up with two and a half kilometres to run, and, and you can't do it. Name of the server, it's Vigrid, dude. The, the, server, the Battle Royale servers are Vigrid. I'm going to have another one or two rounds and then I'm going to give up. It's just not, not my day, clearly. DNA, yeah, exactly. 2 1, what a result. What the fuck is a kilometer? The distance that it gives you in this particular map, on this particular mod, that's what. <laughs> Have I ever played Vigor? No. I 
Uh, Tiny, thank you very much. Dell, good evening. Uh, Zildin, Wilkins, Florida Grunt, Spaceman, Ultravirus. Uh, Mui, cheers for the support. Resubs and new subs and stuff. Right, there's a solo server with only eight players in it, which is good. J Gibbs, thanks for checking out the bits. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Cars growing gates. Great psychedelic. Yeah, really good. I really like it. How many fathoms in a kilometre? With my newfound love for VR, I'm not loving I'm not loving BR right now, gaming Vicar. I enjoyed it the other day when I got kills and it went well. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it today. <laughs> I wish I'd started shooting at the dude now, but maybe I should carry it on. I don't know. And that dude was no gear, was he? He had an MP5 and a fucking orange hat. Like, it's madness. No, z I'll probably switch to something else in a while. I've still got nearly four hours left. I'm, I just, having had such a bad run, I want to get a couple of kills. I don't care if I win a round or not, but I haven't killed anyone in four attempts now. That's really pissing me off. I've only had one solid chance for a proper fight and I fluffed my lines with an SV-98 and then he ran past him and he killed me. Bruno Mars is 50 million in debt to a casino. Holy fucking shit. That is insane if that is true. That's madness. What the fuck? That is some serious, serious problems. what that's unfortunately what battle royale means to some extent you know there's a bit of waiting between rounds it's not up bill no it was delayed i i, I just oh. I, I spent all week last week saying it would be saturday and then i didn't get the video in time it was delayed in the edit i've got it now but now i can't release it till saturday so it's it's done i've got it i've got it ready to download but it'll be up on saturday But he is making 92 million from the casino he owes the money to. Is that true? He's not in debt then. No kill in four rounds, Otto. Like I say, I've only had one real chance to. I that you could say that was a chance, but uh, he was running around in a bush, and I've got no range, so I decided not to fire and wait for a chance, and got shot in the back. You know. Bruno Mars has been betting on your BR performance. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, after a couple of rounds, you'd think he'd have noticed a pattern. Right, we've got two servers that are about to come up, so I'll be able to get him on again in a sec. Pasty, there's only uh, Vigrid servers right now that are running the, the mod, yeah, as far as I know. Didn't Anthony score a goal? Who's Anthony? Wasn't he in blue? Seems true about Bruno Mars. Oh, that's, that really sucks. I can't imagine the weight. Of, I, know, I know what it's like to be un, under massive debt and really struggling because of gambling, but 50 million, you can't find that down the back of the sofa. No, Garrett, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. What are your thoughts on the game Deadside? It's fun. Deadside's a pretty fun fun game. It's... Uh, 
it's more sort of pick up and play for a short while. I, I don't think I could play it like every day for a week, but it's the sort of game that you could pick up and play for a session. Like for me personally, I play a lot, you know. So if you if you're playing five five nights, you might play it one night kind of thing, you know. It's it's a good alternative to Daisy. I don't know if I want to do the duo or not. Maybe I maybe I should. I can see that that one's ready and it's gone down, like, but there, there's a solo that's only got five players in it. I don't know, maybe we'll join the duo. Yeah, if, if he's being paid by the casino, then it's different, you know. It's a bit like all these streamers that are getting paid two million a year to lose one million a year. Sorry, two million a month to, to lose one million a month or whatever, you know. If he's 50 million in debt, but he's getting paid more, he's not in debt at all, is he? I'm going in that one, Redline. Then I get data verification. So I've joined it too late and it won't let me in now. So the data verification seems to happen when it's uh, when it's really busy. I may end up in the solo one. Uh, have I thought about playing The Last of Us 2? It's not available on PC, dude. So I played the PC version. I'm not set up to stream the other one. Be getting in this time. No data verification error. Okay. Uh, solo one's down to three players anyway. Glue, thank you for the 11 months. Martin27, thank you for the bits. All medical reasons, so rogue, bad news again, thank you. Yeah, no good. Once once the server's been up a little while, you fuck getting in it because it's busy. I, need, I should have joined it sooner. I was umming and ahhing about going in the solo one, so I didn't go in it. I know, you need to join it straight away, and I should have done. Players left. Come on. TMZ on top of, of the uh, of the death feed. I ate glue. Thank you for the eleven months, dude. Well, it sounds like he's not broken in any way, uh, dude. It, if he's really in 50 million debt, but he's on a contract with the Bellagio or whatnot, it may not even be real debt. <laughs> it may be real, it may not be, but hopefully it's uh, it's fine and he's actually positive for the year in what he's doing. But I don't know, what the fucking hell are you playing to lose 50 million? That's some fucking high stakes. He's not doing $1 slots, is he? Nero, I've not seen it. I only know about it from the chat. Uh, I only know about Klopp's meltdown because of the chat, but... Getting asked why his players are tired is probably a stupid question, but I haven't seen the meltdown, to be honest. This doesn't sound great. He likes both poker, but he just doesn't like to win. <laughs> Bruno Mars playing poker is like me playing Battle Royale. Bluffing every round. I wouldn't like poker if I'd lost 50 million. Right, I should be getting in a solo one any second. It's the snacks he eats, is it? I mean. Fake debt to pay taxes on real money made, yeah. Imagine caring about so-called celebrities. 
Uh, low, I don't really care about Bruno Myers, but finding out someone might be legitimately in that level of debt, I care about that because gambling relates to me, dude. You know, I, I used to be an addicted gambler, possibly still am, I guess, although I don't gamble anymore, but you get my point, right? Like, it's, uh, it's a topic I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in Bruno Myers. Trying to get in now. Right, we're in. We're in a solo round. It's going to be great. I don't really give a shit about celebrities as such, but I enjoy certain things, you know. I like might like some music or I might like uh, I, I might like to see a film. I like films by particular people. If someone's in it, I'm more interested in seeing stuff. I think that's kind of normal, you know. I'm not, like, like massively into celebrity culture, you know. If, the, if half of the people that are in the, in the charts nowadays or whatever, you know, sitting next to me on the tube, I wouldn't fucking know it, you know. I'd, but nonetheless... Uh, I think it's an interesting story that somebody that's that famous has got that much debt, if real. Not your Libra. Well, I did six hours on one uh, on an adventure map. I've been on this two and a half hours. The big problem is not getting in rounds quick enough, and uh, and me being shit. They're the main two issues right now. I'd recognise Ellie Filebank. Uh, yeah. Be that. He wants to pay rock, paper, scissors. I don't. Stamina. Yeah. yeah. Now I get to, to hold it down. Nine millimeter. Well, if you can go with your missus and you can do all right in terms of not losing much, that's all right. I, gambling can be fun, but it's not for me anymore. It really isn't. Not 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 like I used to be. And I, if I went to the horses or something, maybe. But oh shit! Yeah, don't sit when the round's getting ready to start. You're right. Celebrities have the chance to leave the rat race. When they blow it, I get no sympathy. Well, that's fair enough, Lazy, but people are people, whether they're celebrities or otherwise, you know. Whether whether you're earning minimum wage or whether you're earning, I don't know, $10 million a movie, you can still make mistakes or get an addiction or get depressed or whatever, you know. Like, money does change opportunity, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee happiness, you know. There's plenty of people that fuck it up on minimum wage and there's plenty of people that fuck it up on crazy wage, you know. I think lots of people like to pe see successful, su sex successful people fail. People like that. They like to see people that have made it fuck up. But I don't take a great deal of pleasure in people uh, fucking their lives up, whether they've loads of money or whether they're celebrating or whether they're not. Uh, 
uh, do you see gambling in the same level as drink and drugs? I, 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 Balti, I think if you're an addict, you're an addict, I, I guess. But uh, I, I don't think it's quite the same in that... I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe you could uh, be a gambling addict and go to the horse racing for the day and then just enjoy the day and then that's it. But if you're, if you're a drinker and you start drinking, you might take months or never come out of it kind of thing, you know? I don't know. It's not quite the same in that it's not an addictive drug, even though you can be addicted to gambling just the same. But I don't know. I only know about what I've been addicted to. Gambling addiction is just as serious, though. It can cause all sorts of problems and lead to suicide and, like, ruining your life forever and ever and ever, you know? Like, it's a very serious thing. Well, but Pilgrim, we're talking about someone by all accounts that's got a $90 million contract with somewhere where he's got a $50 million debt, so it's not even a real debt, you know? Greasy, fair play, you homeless heroin addict for six years. Fair play for sorting yourself out, dude. Oh, there's loads of gambling ads on, on TalkSport Hyper Pro. It's insane. This is where I thought I was last round. Three point six kilometers away, my God. Oh, this is this is shit. This spawn is shit. I think I'm going to go to Dubkey and try looting a little bit there, but I, there's no houses in Dubkey, actually. I think you need to plan a... You don't really need to plan a route, dude. I, maybe you're right, but I, I think you, I need to just get some houses on the raid. I, I don't need to keep doing this and planning a route. I'm, I'm fine. I know the map really, really well. I haven't died due to map knowledge. I, I've died to a combination of things, mostly picking the wrong route in the moment. But I know the map really well, dude. I don't need to plan it. Like right now to go that way, I either go to Dubkey. There's not many houses that way. There's some containers over the, the, the hill there. There's a little military base on the top there, but there's only two tents. I doubt it's worth it. We might as well do a couple of these industrial buildings and then head up towards Dubkey and just try and find some loot. But... I don't really need to plan the map. Like most people that have been playing Daisy a while, I know Cherner is like the back of my hand. I'm not. I'm dying due to a bad choice in the moment, not due to a plan. I know. In that last round, I was getting shot by a weak gun, so I was waiting for the better opportunity to kill him, and got shot from behind. There's not a lot you can do about that, you know. I, I, I could have planned my route. It still could have happened. Wouldn't the military tents have good stuff? Well, it's kind of random, dude. You don't get military loot in the military area any more than you do in a house. Like, any house can have military loot the same, so there's no point going to military tents and expecting military loot. It will have similar loot to any house. Let's be real, though. You don't just accidentally relapse. I don't know, dude. People make, make decisions when they're low, dude. I, I think it's really easy to say that, but uh, you might you might relapse when you're drinking. You might relapse when you're whatever. You might relapse after a bereavement. Or pe People make mistakes when they're at their lowest, right? Uh, it, it's easy to say, be strong, but if you have really bad news, it's easy to... It's easy to fall to type, as it were, you know? If, if you're an alcoholic, for example, especially... It's, it's really hard to resist when there's something that's absolutely killing you or whatever, you know? Of course it is. If you're an alcoholic and your mum dies or something, you know, it, it, it's going to be a really hard time to stay off that. There are triggers that are very hard not to fall for, as it were. I am not doing a good route here. I should have planned a better route, which would have took me towards that SKS that's shooting.
freaking ad reminded me to use my prime. Keep on going, buddy. Uh, Porter, cheers for resubscribing, dude. Thanks for the prime. Uh, PS3 and Vrendo, uh, thank you very much. Martin, thanks again. This is not good. months and i'm only slightly obsessed with you no jip from united fans today not not really or with liverpool winning 2-1 and all <laughs> oh good pioneer with no fucking mag sorry no scope Is there no handguard in it? Oh, there is a handguard on it. I definitely don't want to be using that thing except for at close range. That was fucking abysmal. The rate of fire on that thing's great, but the... Uh, it when a plan comes together. Is that a drivable car there? That is a drivable car there. <clears throat> this thing is shocking. Graves, dude, thank you for the resub. Slick Nick, thank you as well. stop when we get nearer to Nadezdadino maybe, I don't know. I, I, I get the feeling somebody will be in Nadezdadino and then we'll... Uh... Shit. Oh my god. That was fine. I think that would have killed me on Vanilla. Start driving. 1300 meters to the left. Ah. 
All is fine. Oh well, I've not got this fucking recorded anyway. Probably for the best to leave it anyway. I don't know why. My driving was impeccable. Forty players left, new zone in thirty seconds. We're getting pretty central, that's good. Still not got any range, so I could come up with the similar problem as before. We might end up with a load of uh, ranged combat and no no ranged weapon. I don't know. I said all is fine, oh my god, look. And that's why you, you have to go for the centre. Now we're, uh, well, we're still in the next zone, but I'd rather get a bit more central if I can. It's new. It's a new mod wall. It, the, the servers hosting it are you called, are called Vigrid. Love you, bye. HB, I never shot at you, by the way. You got what you deserved. <laughs> I never took a shot at you. It must have been somebody else. In fact, I killed someone a little while later with a crossbow, which might have been your dude, but I never took a shot. So from my perspective, there was no one around. And then someone fired a shotgun at me and started telling me I tried to kill him. So you got what you got. You got what you fucking deserved, okay? <laughs> you KOSing bastard. <laughs> You're the bully. You just don't know it. It's true. You go back and watch it. I never fired a shot at you. And I, I'm sure you're not bothered enough to go and look back, but I genuinely, on my mum's uh, my mum's live, I never fired at you before you fired at me. Uh, Nellis, thank you for the bits. HB, thank you. Kamikaze, thank you very much. Uh, cheese Toothpaste, thank you. When the dude said running man's and then you went to aim it in and he killed you, I was not at all... I definitely wasn't laughing. It wasn't funny. And then he, then he shot me on con and then let me go. <laughs> the end can be a bit tricky, span, span work, yeah. I, I'm not getting four or five kills like you, though. I don't get many kills in this. Anyone called Nick is now a target. Yeah, fair enough. I would have tried to kill him, but the crossbow that was mine that you'd robbed uh, was bugged. It was bugged. I couldn't pick it up. It was bugged out. Anyone that called Nick is now a friend, is, is the way I'm seeing that. How often did you win this? I've never won one, dude. I played. This is the fifth round today. I've not even got a kill. I had a terrible run. But uh, I played a couple of rounds the other day. I, I got three or four rounds in, and I finished second in the last one. I got seven kills, but that's the best I've done. I've not done very well. There's, it's one of those, the time to kill in Daisy is real short. You're going to get killed a lot, no, no matter how well you go. And I'm going really badly, never mind anything else. It was hilarious. Faizu is what I would go with, Gambler. I can see you people sort of trying to get people to... I'd go with Faizu. But I've no idea how that goes, because P-I is not normally a word, is it? You know, it's normally P-H something. Doors are open. This has been looted, hasn't it, Redline?
Oh, a Vicky. Happy bombs. Uh, don't 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 concede any points to Redline. Okay, the doors being open at the start is not true. This is definitely being looted. All the doors are open. Fuck's sake. Right, 30, 30 seconds until something happens. It's going to be great. Miss baby AK. I don't want a baby AK, dude. I didn't see it, but I don't want it. I'm going to get killed crossing this great big open field in a sec. I should probably wait until the new zone drops before I go any further, but... It's any second anyway, so... It sounded good, didn't it? fucking hate that site. I can't stand it, in fact. But as long range, it, it does give me a chance at a long range. That sounds really cool, doesn't it, that? Dorman killed Swayze with an S a VSS, no less. Dripping a hunting knife. Well, there's no need on this. You never need to open anything. has its own enunciation P he says. So apparently the rules on this particular server substatic are just getting that from Redline is that if you team up in the game you can get banned. So you you're not allowed to team up. There's no teaming rule other than before in the lobby if you're in a duos. So I presume people were going in solo and then teaming up in Discord. That that's the problem, isn't it, with a game like this? You know, you could you could go in solo, and then team up into a group of three or four to try and guarantee a win for one of your buddies, kind of thing. You know. <laughs> Any advice for solo players try, tired of playing alone? Stay longer in the new spawn areas as a new spawn. Don't pick up too much gear. Play on full pop servers and talk in the spawn zones a lot and you'll get someone to team up with. There's boar to our left. I might just get across the trees to the far side and then we'll wait a little bit. What are they battle rail servers called? They're called Vigrid, V-I-G-R-I-D, and there are some modded and some vanilla. 
Interestingly enough, though, the vanilla ones still seem to have the odd thing in it that shouldn't be there, like a Mosin Rail Mount, for example, I think, but they're still mostly vanilla, you know. They, they all have infinite stamina, but they, uh, the vanilla ones don't have any of the modded guns and different armour and stuff. kill all fucking dead. Fifth round, I've not got a kill. Now's the time. It sounded loud, didn't it? Two minutes, that's ages away. I'm fairly close to where the dude fired from, but fuck knows where he is now. Is it not that you're trying to teach people how to pronounce a word that doesn't exist, though, Gambler? Each consonant has its own enunciation. P, he, so. But may maybe it is, but obviously in English. Th there ain't no... It's just impossible, right? <laughs> it's a puzzle you've created for yourself. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Whatever that is. Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. Sounds good. was that fucking dude? I was crouched in a bush. How the fuck did he see me so well? Fucking hell. It, like, I, I, <laughs> that's insane. How the fuck is he seeing me? He didn't hear me from that range. No way. There's no way he heard me from that range. No way. I wasn't in range to be heard. No fucking way. Uh, he, he was like leaning and ready. Like, no way. That's insane. That's crazily good though. Fair play to him, to them. That was incredible. Fucking hell. I, I just crouched and was prepping for some shots on a dude running my way and I was dead. Better gun or otherwise, the fact that he was on to me. I'm not saying he was cheating, by the way. Somebody's going to say that. I'm not saying that. But I came from behind the bush. I crouched in the bush. It just saw me so well, you know. I don't know what clothes I was wearing. Maybe it was to do with that, but... insane <clears throat> right, I'm trying to get him one I don't think I'm gonna but Take off the reflective visor. You can't, dude. That helmet comes that way. I don't think it was the visor, by the way. I don't think that's the case. That that modded helmet comes with a visor that you can't take off. One, two, three. I, not all people do, but uh, if somebody dies and they're streaming with an audience, then someone's going to say the other dude's cheating. Like, 
if there's a few thousand people watching, even if two people say it, it's st that's still not everyone, is it? It's just a couple. <laughs> it was incredible how he how he was ready, but he was he was running straight that way. He just had a fight. He obviously was checking the bush and saw me. You know, uh, fair play to him. But we heard suppress shots, and then maybe his b bottle suppressor ran out. But he just had a fight. Uh, he, he got me quick. Fair play. There isn't one anywhere nearby. This sucks. It seems like the wait to the next round is just perpetually annoyingly long, especially when you just do that in the round when you're in it. <laughs> I just want to get a kill. <laughs> I just want to get a kill is all. I get a five rounds, no kill. <laughs> get out. Play V++ until a death match, death match until the server is closed. I don't know. I, I guess I could get a kill. It's 30 out of 30. So if he, death match. Pilgrim, there's eight servers, but there's none about to start. They're all they're all already started, so I've got to wait until the one with twenty odd people in it has got no one in it. No kills today on on this jab, on no. Oh my god! V plus plus has got a Q of seven. I'm going to have one more round of the Battle Royale and then I'm giving up. Surely one more round I'll get a kill. Surely. I'd narrowly missed a server when we died. If I died another few seconds early, I could have got in one probably. But He can't have heard me, Flynn. I was, I was too far away for him to hear, him, hear me know. So there's 21 players left in a solo one. 20. It's painful, like 20 players. That could be 10 minutes, 10 minutes of waiting. It's just fucking, oh. I just don't want to give up without even getting a fucking kill. I'll go all fucking night until I get a kill. I'm sorry to say, I have to get a kill. I have to get a kill, for fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Happy 40 months. Hope you and the family are well. Right, I'm going in a deathmatch server just to uh, just to shoot for a second. Blackleaf, I've lived a long time and I've died quicker. I just seem to get unlucky with the start time of the next round, unfortunately. I ain't doing this for long.
I got a kill and I don't care. <laughs> Double blaze was that? Oh my god. That really sucks. I must have gone in here. Oh my god. Spawning with a fucking sawn off on the iron sights. That's not fun. Oh god, there was a fucking dude crouched there. Jesus Christ. Max Payne versus John Wick, who wins? Both equally annoying characters. Hopefully they'll trade. Max Payne only had bullet time, right? Keanu leaves lives in Keanu Reeves lives in bullet time. That's a Barrett 50 cow. I just wanted one of the ones that I'd shot at to come back and try and get me. Go, go. Just need to have a look at the uh, fig grid situation. There's a solo one with 15 players left in it. What is that? That's a good one, well, isn't it? I want to watch it. Unfortunately, I genuinely think I hit one or two of the shots with that, but it's not brilliantly accurate. We're on a deathmatch right now while I wait for it. 
while I wait for a uh, battle royale. No. No way he saw that that quickly. He knew before he opened the door, if you ask me. I feel like he knew before he opened the door. coming out and oh, one's gone in there oh it's gone quiet that sounds cool Felt close. I hit him, but didn't fucking drop. An assist for me then. How did he not drop? Must have hit him in the arm, I guess. I like it when it goes quiet. my bush. This fucking sawn off Mosin for this long. Tundra over there. Whoa! He is fucking all over the place. He is all over the shop, that Fuck me. Right, let me just see where uh, see where we're at with the actual thing I'm trying to do. That was kind of fun, though. I am spawned back in now, but uh, yeah, there's a solo vanilla. That's 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 no good. I'll ping you when one pops up. I kind of want to do a lot of vanilla. There's a. I kind of want to do solo if possible, but. I don't know, Solo Modded has got eight, yeah, seven. Solo Modded is close. Thank you, by the way. I may not see it on this fucking thing, but...
parrot sounds so good. What is this? I get the feeling it's not as good as I think. Pretty good. Saw someone run behind there. He's just gone over the mound over there, that sucks. I don't know how some of those... I hit him once, but I don't know how some of the others didn't connect, to be honest. But there we go. Mikey came 10th. That's all right. That was deafening. Right, I'm going to go in one of the battle royales. There's a duo up, apparently. Uh... Can't even see it. Duo Vanilla. Probably that. It's probably too late for that one. There's a solo that's really close. Duo modded, I'm trying to join the wrong one. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> oh, fucking hell, just close me. So loud, holy shit. Uh, Sigildi, Mike, Josh, Nellis, thank you very much for the support. Right, I have to get a kill in this now, surely. Yeah, it's too late. That, that's the thing that somebody was saying this earlier, but if I go in too late, like I've just done there, you just get data or authentication error, so I'll have to go for the solo one, but... If I don't try and get into the solo one really early, I won't get in it at all. Uh, solo one's got four players left in it, so it's going to be up very soon. I tried to press N to mute it a bit, but you can't mute the fucking sounds either. Am I going to do the normal game today? That's the intention, my Al, but I did six hours earlier on Scalar's Egg and then died, and I've been doing a bit of Battle Royale since, and I've had such a bad run, I've been trying to do a bit more. So, uh, if I have one good Battle Royale round, I'll leave after that, probably, and, and move on, you know. Solo is done, okay. You can normally join it when it's still on uh, when it's still offline. I might be able to get away with joining it any second. Yeah, I'm going to try joining it now. It's up, is it? That's good. So I'm trying to get in it. We'll get in it real quick then. was the map from earlier. I quite enjoyed Scalar Sake. I died in kind of unlucky way and then uh, came to this and now I wish I hadn't. <laughs> right, should be getting in any sec. Raining.
So we're in a solo one, that's good. Land. You have to jump a little bit earlier. Someone else is going to do it and I'm going to be annoyed. I didn't want to do it anyway. <laughs> Disco man, dude, thanks for the 22. MNS, thank you. Only Fronks, thank you as well. I'm really tired of getting dicked. See his little, sp like, low sensitive, sorry, high sensitivity spin he did. Most impressive. Why am I struggling? Oh no, I've done it and then pulled back! No! Just allow me this. <laughs> Finally, it only took all fucking day. Nerd. Oh. King of the pole. That's my name at the weekends. <laughs> Baby. Four years. Yeah, too too early. Are <laughs> you? We're going to be going any second. This is good news. TRMZ love. TRMZ love. Don't get bugged with emotes. I might do better. I, have, it, I might as well have not had a gun the whole time we've been playing so far. Redline, I think running into shots was the right play. I wanted a kill. I tried avoiding shots, then I got shot in the back, so I thought I'd try running towards the shots. Okay. Get off. Get off the tree. Yeah, stop hogging the tree, you fuck! Losers. 
Look. Hey, Mikey. Uh, doing work. Thank you very much. Where am I now? Olivet. So I know where that is. Please stop. Oh my fuck, it's another run of pain. Four kilometers from the center. Someone's been here, the door's open. <laughs> fuck! I told you! Evening call. Just saying hi quickly. Remember I told you. Today, but subbing nonetheless. Fifty bullets. I might be able to shoot. I bet the recoil's low. What could possibly go wrong with a saw? Whoa! And he was in that red house. Well, he maybe he'll look on the other way. I don't know. He'll have a gun by now, anyway. that because it's got the scope. We use that as the long range weapon just for now. Look at where that dude went. He must have gone the other side of the town. I can't think that he went anywhere else. We don't need no stinking SKS. a sight on that, but never mind. So no helmet, but we have got a vest. Never seen this M249 before. Babsus, doing work. Hawks Hammers. Mr. Lyrus, thank you for the bits and resubs and stuff. Thank you. I should think hip fire spray is going to be the way, yeah. I'd quite like to shoot it, actually. Maybe we should just shoot at a deer or something in a sec. Maybe, I don't know. I should think aiming down sight is going to be tricky to uh, control. It's got a nice red dot on it, though. I don't need that. I 
don't know what I'm even doing with it. Let's just leave it. Oh, the first one here. That sound pretty good. It's over towards Steroy. I think it is at Steroy Tents, maybe. Loving these runs, dude. That makes one of us. I just need. I'd like to get a kill. I don't care about anything else. I just want to get a kill. Uh, the best chance I've had was probably that knife fight I turned down, and I'm bad at melee. No sudden urge to reload the bag back to one uh, to 150. I don't think I've got any bullets, otherwise I probably would have done. Oh, this is not good, is it? Open fucking field. Let's stay in the bushes. Made it from 60 down to 40. This is it. This is the one. Yeah, I could have took bullets out of the old mag, but so far in my experience of this, you, there's no point shipping bullets out of mags. You find enough mags, you get enough guns. You rarely die in this because you've not got bullets for a gun. You die before you've reloaded or you win. And I've never won, but... Uh, I don't think I need to worry about reloading this 150 round gun mag for now. <laughs> when I've got two other assault rifles with more bullets. I've got an AK-74 with you four. You might not love these runs, but we love watching. Keep it up, mate. Less than three. Thank you, dude. Cheers for the support. Uh, thank you. Kiwi, very kind. Soldier 5, thank you as well. I don't even know if it's worth trying to find a helmet. Maybe it is. Probably is, but... It's getting a bit dark. I'd quite like to just like be near the final zone and just spray 150 bullets roughly where someone might be and scare the shit out of whoever's left. Uh, Kiwi, thank you. Soldier 5, Fabs, just doing work. Thank you. Livonia Trio server just went live, eh? Blimey. Livonia might be slightly better for this. <coughs> it's a slightly smaller map. Slightly less usable play area anyway, I suspect. It might it might involve a lot less looting though. You might get more sparse loot depending on the circles, I suppose. <coughs> Thank you, Eevee. So, not long left until the next circle. We're getting fairly close to Steroid Tents, where I thought there were some shots before. See, we've got quite a long way into the centre of the circle. It, we have to be in the next circle already, I think, because it can't close mostly on the ocean, I don't think. Hello, uh, April. Hope you're good. April. Oh my god. We're, we're literally on the edge of the circle. 
that, that, well, I'm glad we're in it, but we've got to do more travelling, I think. To be honest, I do want to reload. The Call of Duty, like someone else has just said Call of Duty about it, but I have to reload after every shot. Like, like there's no mag reloading and shipping in Call of Duty, but I always reload it after every fucking, pretty much after every kill. Couldn't help it. Just got married. Congratulations. Very, very cool, dude. It's weird that the gun is legendary, yet the mag is common. Oh god, yeah, when you used to have to reload... It wasn't this one, it had that horrible vertical sight, didn't it? When you used to have to reload the box mag in Call of Duty, it's like, you act... If you accidentally did a COD reload and started reloading when you didn't really mean to, my word, the pain. The M60, that was it, yeah. So there was somebody at these tents, maybe there still is. second it doesn't spawn there those those vehicles are always there but yeah anyway I've got my hopes up quite what we've got to find on a convoy on this anyway nothing this is the point where I say I shouldn't be in this open field and then I get killed and then I go I knew I shouldn't have been in that field what the fuck is that what the fuck was that thing that was like death It had a long tail, didn't it? Fucking hell, it went... Must still be around here. The guns have got ratings on the modded servers, so on the vanilla ones, no ratings. The modded servers kind of rank them in terms of how rare or not they are common and so on. Same with helmets and vests and other things, but the, the vanilla servers don't. there was a dude. He seemed to take a while to fall. So glad. A kill. TRM dead love. TRM dead love. And SB-98. <laughs> T 
Timberwolf. Holy shit, I don't know what that is, but it looks good. That's the loud gun. This is the loud guy. Oh my god. I've got to use that. Fuck it. I have to use it. Let's just go. I couldn't even see him. I couldn't even see him. He was probably waiting there since I killed the other dude. Oh, at least we got a kill. I didn't guy to greed. I, I, there was no issue there. I, I, I don't think greed is what got me killed. He would have been there anyway, I suspect. But uh, it can happen. It, and it's hard not to as well. You can call it greed, but when you see a gun like that, it's hard not to take it, right? I've never seen that Timberwolf before. That That... That would have been cool. That's what he fired that was that was so loud. A couple are open. Uh, I can't tell from, from this. There's a few in the 30s. They all look uh, they all look like they're no good. I think it's too late. Keep on running. Uh, Galen, streamer T, nightly, thank you very much. I did overstay, but I, it, it's one of those things. It's hard to get to know. Like, If I'd have ran on, I could have died to the same dude as well. There's no way of knowing. You know, Certainly after killing the zombies, it was a bit tricky. It's no good, dude. It's, I'm still like, here, smiley face. It, it's Thanks no good. for all the years of entertainment. Uh, one kill and five, six rounds of Battle Royale. Fuck me dead. It's so hard to get in these servers at prime time. Like they, uh, if you don't join them the second they're open, you're not getting in them at all. Ah, oh, bollocks to that. Right, let's. Uh, Pancrase, Well, that's what you have to do in battle royale. Like after you've finished, you run on. You, there's not much else you can do, dude. It's easy, it's so easy with hindsight to go, oh, just run. But you have to run in this game. That was two kilometers from the from the center of the next zone. I had, you have to keep moving, you know, like I could have sat in a house, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, hindsight's always going to be your friend, you know. I, I, I ran the way I ran. If I'd ran the other way, I wouldn't have got shot, would I? That's how it goes, though. All right, let me just have a look. Kida, thank you for the very, very long reset. Thank you. Hope you're good, dude. Thank you. Nightly, thank you as well. I don't think I... I was thinking about going to my Livonia character, but after the run we've just had there, I don't think I should be going to a DMR on, a, on Livonia. I think that would be stupid. I think we'll just do Alteria. Would have missed the shot with the Timberwolf anyways. Well, thanks for your, your, your uh, vote of confidence, comrade. <laughs> Believe it or not, sometimes I hit quite a lot of shots, but not today. Uh, yeah, Alteria, we're just on regular day Z now, so I'm good. Rain. I'm not going to bother suiciding for the correct character. I think I'm just going to take this spawn. It's going to feel weird to not be finding a gun in every house, isn't it? I really like that Battle Royale, but it's it, I really enjoy it. Even though I've had a bad run at it today, I still enjoy it loads. 
it's just so frustrating trying to get into another round at the moment. It's the same for everyone, you know. It's, it's what it is. But I, I, I can't. And, and it's no fault of those guys. They can't just be expected to host server after server, you know. It's a, it's a new mod and it's done incredibly well. But you say you sp It's a little bit Tarkov-esque in some ways, you know. Especially if you're bad at it, like I've been today. If you don't go deep into a round and get some kills, you what seem to be forever to in the menu. You seem to be forever in the menu, not not having a go, you know. Spudder, Banov is being reworked by uh, Cabello. There's more updates coming on, on Banov, I believe. be running well. Can't just outrun these heads, can I? Well, there's plenty of Chernus and Livonia. I've got to be honest, I, I've, I'm struggling a bit with Deer Isle at the moment. Uh, to each their own, but the quest thing has got so kind of crazy, I just don't want to do it. And maybe that's because I'm just giving up and all, but it's just ridiculously complicated to do as a lone wolf while streaming, and I just don't want to do it. I don't even know how to do the whole thing, but it's just crazily complicated now. I have done Deer Isle a little bit, but uh, we've been having some decent runs on different maps. Chernerus and Livonia in the last few weeks, as well as Alteria has been really cool. Alteria is a PvP map, though. It's not a, like a true survival map, but I just... Deer Isle seems to have got a bit, like, overly hard to do the quest. And maybe you're not meant to do the quest, but it, it, it's... I don't know. It just makes me frustrated. Yeah, it's got crazily hard, Keaton. It's nothing like it was. It was it was hard. It was a really hard challenge how it was before. But how it is now is just, like, on another level. You're talking multiple days and maybe stashing parts and coming back for them later and stuff. But to do it while streaming uh, is tricky. And the, I'm not a huge fan of the Stag Zombies either. And I, I, don't, I really love Deer Isle. And I love what John McClane's done with, with Deer Isle and this, you know. And it's only a personal choice thing, you know. He he's made a great map, but the stag zombies around helicopters when you've got no gun, or uh, when you go to say Camp Bear, you know, like you can't. Not not only do the, the stag zombies are, are they really hard to kill unless you've got a really good gun. They scream every zombie in the area around, you know. They're crazy. Deer Isle's way harder than the mouse quest now, Bear Grylls. Yeah. It was close as it was before, but I'd say Namask was slightly harder. But now, after the changes, Deer Isle is infinitely harder, I'd say. Oh my god, that was frustrating. 
I, I think I need to decide not to do uh, not to do Battle Royale in the middle of a stream again and only do it at the end. Because it's a nice change, but doing it after six hours of regular Daisy and then it being gnawingly annoying, mostly due to my own decisions and shooting, but nonetheless, and man, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to be back on this. I had to carry on until at least got one kill, though. It was really pissing me off. to uh, go and get another drink in a second as well. I've drank my drinks bottle. There's a little tiny bit left. I don't find a great deal in here, but maybe today will be... Uh, sometimes you get a gun, but may maybe uh, today will be the day. Whiskey Monday. Mm. Sounds like a good idea. Hello, stamina, my old friend. That's pretty good, 308. Uh, you didn't miss much, Dave. Trust me, I had five, six rounds, got one kill. It was awful. Very nice, Earl. Our big's pretty decent. See loot, pick it up. What about in a mouse questing run? Uh, I've done it a couple of times. It is kind of fun. The uh, the filaments seem ridiculously hard to find now. You know, which I'd maybe maybe this is the thing, and this might be it. Right? I've done the mouse quest a couple of times. I've done the Deer Isle quest as it was. And maybe now that they're potentially harder, but I've done them already, it's taken the shine off to the point where I don't have the motivation to bother anymore, you know, like... And that might be something to do with it, but the Namouse quest seems... Like, you can loot all day and find one filament now, whereas you used to find them quite often in, in the early days. The filaments seem so rare. But because I've done it, like, spending ten hours looking for filaments to do something I've already done... It's not quite so much of a buzz, you know, it's not quite so fun. I've done it before. That it's the the quests in Daisy are cool, but when you've done them a while. And I've never done the new Deer Isle quest as it is now. I've got no fucking clue. I've, all I've done so far is get a key card from an oil rig and then die when I go to Mount Catadin and that's it. That's the best I've done. Playing the battle royale mode make it harder for you to create YouTube con it? No, not really. I, I, I could, I could probably make a I won my first battle royale video, but I've got lots and lots of footage for videos. Not so much in the last few days, but in the last three or four weeks, we've had some crazily good runs to make really good videos, and we've been stuck 
for far too long making the uh, making the video on the lights out stuff. So I've got four videos, maybe more, in the bank on YouTube, like in my on my hard drive. So uh, yeah, I'm not really struggling for YouTube video content. I'm struggling to get it released. Is what I'm struggling with. This is where we came in, I think, isn't it? I haven't done the kind of middle bit. Yeah, I've already done. Oh fuck this! I'm going. I'm going to go. I'll find a scope somewhere else. I haven't done mail. I haven't mail cut. I haven't done mail cut in ages. I wouldn't mind another go at that. Just come around this way and just leave. I think. Oh, winning. I've I've got a 16 terabyte drive which isn't really working right now, but I've got an 8 terabyte drive. I don't need to save it for too long though, because I've got file. I've got I have a subscription to Mega, so if something feels like a video, I upload it. So I I've already uploaded to Mega that run with the uh, seven or eight kills with the DMR on Livonia. I've already uploaded that adventure on Altera with Robin, and I've uploaded the uh, the New York adventure. So three of the videos that I've got on my hard drive are already uploaded to Mega. I don't even need to keep them on my hard drive anymore. Eduardo, it's just being finished. I, it, I've got the finished video sent to me today. So it will be up on Saturday. I can't push it any earlier than, than Friday or Saturday, unfortunately, because I've got... Like, I'm streaming today, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. I can't release the video the same day I stream. It doesn't work. J-Boy, uh, no, Uncupa is an editor, but he's got a lot going on IRL at the moment. I'm not going to start disclosing anything, but he's had some delays that he's not happy with. And, of course, I'm not either, but these things happen, you know. But, yeah, we're just... I, I've got lots of footage to make videos, but... I can only get the videos out when he can make them, unless I uh, stop streaming and make them myself. Which would be kind of counterproductive, really, you know. This is Altiria, Abdu. This is not Dear Isle. No worries, dude. It's all good, Eduardo. Love the stream, Paul. But really, I just come here for Robot Lady. T R M Z. You, you and me both. <laughs> Cheers for coming in, dude. Thank you. Might get lucky on a scope here, I guess. Hey, yeah. Waldo. How you doing? One thing I have done. I turned my audio a little bit up for the battle royale, and now I'm fucking ear ringing like mad. Am I looking forward to spring? Yeah, I w went out for my walk this morning. It's the first time it's felt like spring was on the way. It was really nice. It, it, uh, I've had a few days where it's been almost like t-shirt weather, but it's not... It, like, well, not really t-shirt weather, but warm enough that you're getting a bit hot while walking, I suppose. But it, it was only like 15 degrees Celsius, but I was like t-shirt and jeans only and still getting pretty warm. It was kind of cool. Where's the police station? I know that the wells to my left. Oh, there it is. I just want to see if we can get a vest. Now, I tend to keep about six weeks worth of stream content and then try to go back every now and then and just pick out the stuff that I need. And then I, I don't... I don't keep it forever, but I don't delete it. Like, like at the end of a stream, I don't do, delete today's footage. What I tend to do is... Make sure I've got everything I know I need, and at some point I'll delete like two weeks worth in one go. I 
I don't often find much here, but well, that's okay. Probably a red shell, let's make sure it is. Sometimes you don't know you're going to need it as well. That's the thing that's weird. Sometimes you have what feels like an innocuous run. Uh, and you get maybe one kill and then you log out. And then three weeks later you're on the same character. And then you have this crazily good run. And then you, you, you've got the original footage to do the start of the video. You know, like It felt like it was just like something and nothing. And then it turned out to be something that mattered. So keeping the footage in case you need it is not a bad idea. I can't remember. It's about $14 a month or something. £14 a month. Uh, it, it gives me and two other people access to it. And I can't I can't remember the limits. But I, I, it's, I've had it for nearly two years. And I just pay it and use it. I, I don't know what package it is anymore, to be honest. It's about £13 or £14 a month. I know that much. I have no foot pedal. I have no highlights of the stream either. <laughs> uh, Vlad, I'm on 900-ish down and 110 up, which is about... In the UK, it's very rare that if you're on, like, if you're on, like, the top-tier fibre package... You tend to get a lower upload speed, no matter what. You don't. And so I'm getting 900-ish down, and I'm getting about 110 up, which is about as quick as you can do in my area. Hi, <coughs> Ay, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. High frequency. Thank you again, Lumberjack. Cheers for the support, dude. And I get full fibre where I live, but if I move three miles down the road, there is none. So, yeah, I, I'm lucky I've got it where I am in Suffolk. Like, fibre is coming, but not everywhere. Hoping we might get a scope on one of these tables. Maybe a knife as well, given I've got a can of food and nothing to open it with. What's fourteen pounds in? Uh, fourteen pounds is about ten or eleven dollars. No other way round. Fourteen pounds is about nineteen bucks, roughly. Maybe a bit more. Maybe about twenty. Quantum. I've got the chance. I'm not doing it though. I, I've not. I've still not finished the stand. Uh. I don't know whether we should go to the prison or not, UMP.
I, I don't think they'll do that on this road, Wacko. That's good. Now we can... Uh pillars of Earth. Mm, pillars of the Earth. I don't know. I ought to get back into it. I need to finish the stand, but I just cannot be fucked. I just can't be bothered. I ought to. Um... Uh I ought to. It, it, it was good for me when I was reading. I was quite. It was helping me settle. I was getting better sleep. You know, like if I was going to bed at say midnight or half twelve and reading for half an hour, it was helping me to settle down. Not picking up my phone as much. I was. I was going to bed at an earlier time. I was getting more sleep. At the moment, I'm going to bed at ridiculous o'clock and getting up too early and not sleeping enough. Playboy. Oh. There's a summer camp just up. Oh, shit. Oh, no time for chatting, thank you. At least I didn't shoot him, though, eh? I get killed I'll be back on that fucking battle royale so let's hope I stay alive uh see keen or keen probably but CK keen I reckon that must be just dude surely must be keen thank you very much for the prime dude not even a love you bye well I was out of void range for for I guess I could have put it on shout but no love you bye Sticky Green, yeah, there's a Daisy Battle Royale mod. It's really kind of fun, if a little bit gnawingly annoying if you keep playing bad like I do. It's not got a great deal of legs for me personally, but I've got to, I've got to try and get a win in it. I, I've, I've played, I must have played like 12, 13 rounds. I've only had two top 10s, and, and like one of them I got really good run and I got seven kills and it felt great. Other than that, I've had like a load of shockers, you know, two top 10s, I think. Oh. And, and only one round that felt good in, like, loads of tries. And it won't, it won't, I don't think, stick around for ages, but certainly, like myself, I'll, I'll, it's a good thing to do at the end of a stream, but I'm just eager to try and win one. That's all. It's not got the longevity for me. I, like, like, a... Much like PUBG. PUBG was fun for a short while, but it's something I don't think it's something I could stream every day. But, being completely honest, if I could get in the rounds, I could stream it every day until I get a win, just out of annoyance. Comanche Dan, I was playing whatever I could get in. I did do some solo, some triple, some duos. I, I did some of each. I've probably done slightly more solo than anything else, but... Thought I had more Mosin rounds, but like. weapon cleaning kit's kind of cool. I guess we ought to have them as well. Oh, come on, I was only ever solo, but I wasn't always in solo-only servers. 
Now, I was going in the duos and trio servers, but I wasn't... I've just been solo, whatever server I was in. Three cleaning kits and no scopes. That's about right, isn't it? Par for the course. Hello! Hello. You know where we are. Alteria. Where do you want to go? <sighs> well, this is actually my first time ever playing anything. Got tired of official. Yeah, you're kind of in the middle of the map, but I don't know. It, everywhere's death on Alteria. Everywhere's death. Uh, I play. I've played a lot, just never any. Yeah, look, you can have this if you want. I don't need it. I've got a tundra. You can have that if you like. It's only got one bullet. Don't use it on me. Say thank you. Do any food? I'm white. You're white. <clears throat> uh, three quarters. Yeah, yeah. Probably I'm the what same. I should work on next. Well, I don't. They're the, the probably the food is going to be back in the town where you just were, dude. Down. You need to go to like the cars and the, like probably back down the hill. That's the place you're going to find food. I, I've, all I've got food wise is that. That's it. You can have that if you like. But well, that's no, it. you can have. No, you can have. You know, like a deer or anything on this? I've, yeah, it should be. I don't think that I've seen. Yeah, there should be some, but I, I've seen bears around here quite a bit. I'm going to go up towards the military base, dude. It's going to be great. Uh, I don't understand why I you need it. I can come with if you want. Yeah, you, 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 you can. body for you. You can come along if you like, dude. Oh, I've got... What trousers you got? Yeah, do you want them? You've got better trousers there as well. Absolutely. What's your name, by the way, dude? Hey, money. What is it? Hey, mom. Call me Sam. <laughs> Sam, yeah, Sam's probably more sensible. Uh, my name's uh, Dave. I can't believe yeah, he got a Mosin Dave. and didn't say thanks. That's crazy. Maybe he just said it and didn't tap his mic button. That's what I want to believe he said it. Rather than not saying a word and then just saying, if you got food. K money. K money, like. I thought he said pay money. I was like, what the fuck is pay money? This area up here gets camped shitloads. It's not smart in some ways, but I'm kind of hoping to get a... Well, I've got a stab vest, but I'd like a better vest. There's quite often a lot of players up here, so just be a bit careful. It... There's not much to loot here, but there's very often people camping it. I will, uh... Have you got food? I don't really need it, but I'll take yours anyway. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Rehads and Brian, uh, Brain, Brian, Moreno, uh, thank you very much, Squiddle, thank you for the, for the bits. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go in that summer camp, sorry, no, that hunting stand, and I'm going to find a PU scope, and he's got the fucking Mosin. He said he'd not played this uh, server very much. He's, he was kind of new to Alteria. bag here, dude, if you want it. Pretty decent one. I'd love it. He ain't a thanker, is he? He ain't a thanker. Fuck 
fucking millennials. <laughs> Sorry if you're a millennial. It's not all of you, I know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's going quick. Where's the plate carrier? There isn't one on that. What is that? That sounds juicy. It's hoping to get a vest on like a, a plate carrier. Yeah, it was close. I'm going towards the shots, dude. It's going to be great. Come on, we can do it. Well, I'm, I'm with you. One bullet. If you hit it, you you you'll get the, get the kill clean. No worries. You gave me you gave me three rounds. I've got one in the chamber and two in the bag. Okay, cool. We can do it. Is that a DMR? We're dead. We're so fucking dead. That's definitely a DMR. I saw him die. He was on that rock there. I saw the blood. He just died to the DMR. Didn't see the player. I just saw the blood spatter. I think he's dead. I was full health, wasn't I? It just one tapped me through the vest. Sunday, cheers for the five months. Thank you. Oh no, same spawn. hits to make him believe that no, yeah it, it could have been a headshot but I think it might have killed me with the chest shot to be honest Sunday Squiddle thank you, thank you again oh, I don't really want to do a life on Elteria I want to win a battle royale <laughs> this is good that's why I suicided I was hoping we'd get a different spawn and we did That's annoying. It's actually quite hard to get a Tundra and some decent bullets on this map sometimes in the early game. So I got decent loot pretty early and threw it away, which is kind of stupid. Alteria Real. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I got shot from behind or not. I don't know if I did. 
Nine left in solo vanilla. Well, keep keep checking if you don't mind, dude. I might maybe we'll join that. I need to go and fill my water bottle anyway. Maybe that would be a good opportunity to go and do it. Seven left in solo. Oh, blimey. <clears throat> just admit it, you're a BR streamer now. I'm definitely not. I just, I, I, I shouldn't have switched at six hours in. It was a mistake because now I've only got, I've only got an hour and 40 minutes left if I go full time. And I, I, I just, I don't really want to do survival when I've only got an hour left and I've been on for 10 hours. It doesn't make any sense, you know. It, I, I, I switched to Battle Royale far too early. Thor, Thor, yeah, you do, you do 15 or 20 of them and then I'll do one. Oh shit! None of these containers have got doors. If we're lucky, you might have got more of the eggs. You, you didn't get more of the eggs. left solo vanilla okay. thank you I, I might switch to it I don't know but it's kind of funny this with the modded buildings here there's nowhere to trap zombies in server's about to go down. Oh, well, I, I, I'm safe from the Zeds anyway, so let's, let's just switch. joining it now. By the time I start getting in it should be up. So we're going back to Battle Royale. Sorry those that don't want it but I'm just 10 hours and 20 minutes in I haven't got the motivation for a uh, <laughs> I've got the motion I've just fucked it up. I've fucked it up today. Right it's up that's good. I'm gonna go and get myself a drink. We should be getting in it. So I'll uh, I'll press F1 and then I'll go and have Combat login on those zombies. Jason, I actually intentionally went to a building where I was properly safe from them before I did, just to make sure I wasn't doing that. Sunday, I'll be on tomorrow from about 2pm. I'll do survival tomorrow. though. I might do Battle Royale right at the end, but I won't do it. I won't do what I did today. I feel really knackered.
More so than usual, right. We've readied up. Hmm. Right, I'll be back in a sec. One. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's possible that stream sniping might be an issue for me in this, but I played so badly, it's definitely not the reason why I've not done well. <laughs> it's just not. I think the first time I played it, someone followed me for about two or three minutes through all sorts of weird things and then shot me in the back when I stopped to look at the map. <laughs> this seems to be the thing what people do. Some guy gave me two apples and a zucchini. Wow. Oh. Right, we're nearly starting. Let me get in the chair. Cheers, dude. 60 players in. Have a good week. Why do people not ready up? I don't understand. Press fucking F1. Oh, I'm not stream sniping. Oh. 
Why? How exactly would somebody do that as well then? Right? <laughs> Unless they were watching the stream, how is that possible? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> That's insane. I'm sure he's going to turn the stream off now, of course. Holy shit. <laughs> In his stuff. Sam, dude, yeah, it's, it was it was a shitter of a run, that dude. Yeah, GG. I hope you got got them. The chat thought you'd shot me from behind, but I suspect I got killed by the DMR. I don't really know. Uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Cheers, dude. I thought you said pay money. I couldn't work it out. Weird, I was like wondering whether I should pick that up then. I thought the voice was familiar. K Money never forgets that sexy sound. Atty and Sunday, thank I you very much. Death, Dave. Holy shit, Shitting I just realized. Your Mosin and the gas grenade on his vest killed them both. Sorry, you didn't make it. Oh, very nice. I'm glad you got them. GG, that's cool. long way from the from, this is not good I'm not even inside the first zone this is gonna suck <laughs> yeah a car Hello. I might need to check near Some the road a, a car might be a thing we need That's where any gun's going to be, isn't it? What are the, why would a Tundra spawn with no mag? That seems hard. Sorry, no scope. That seems harsh, doesn't it? <laughs> like, none of, the, none of the assault rifles ever spawn with no mag. I guess it's not quite the same, I suppose, but it seems a bit harsh. Uh, Tank, thank you very much. Samuel, Atty, Sunday, thank you all of you guys. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing in there? Like that, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. <laughs> I, I, I only knocked him uncon, I think. He might have died and we might have traded. I saw him fall, but he might not have died. I don't know. Wow. He must have been sorting his loot out, but fuck, that sucks. Uh, any that are close. We're going to be shit out of luck here, I think. Oh, dude, thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate it. There's a Livonia trio that might just have opened up. Maybe I could do that. T R M Z Love. 
Yeah, I think it was. I think he fell fell on his back. I think he's. I think he's dead. Sorry, he, he, I don't think he. Uh, I don't think. No, no, it's hard to tell actually. He could have been falling on Con. I don't know. I only saw him for a split second. I might be on the way into this one. Why was he looking at the door? Well, he she probably heard me run in, didn't he? You know. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to get in this Livonia one for now. So we'll be able to do... This is a trio one, but we'll be able to do this. It sucks, though. There's so much downtime. Like, I, I just want to play. <laughs> like, everybody probably does, you know. <laughs> uh, Tope, cheers for the raid, dude. Hope you're well. Rooney, Abe, Uncle Food, thank you for the resubs, guys. Hope you're good. <sighs> yeah, he was probably sorting loot out. It's just uh, fair play to him. He got his gun raised in time. Only one player has readied up. Maybe they're looking to try and get into teams, I suppose. How do you know? Well, there's a Discord that you can see when they're open. Right? You can see it on the DZSA launcher as well. Yeah, you're not missing anything, guys, but yeah, I was in a server. <laughs> Fucking hell, that jump seemed like miles. Uh, Awkward Ninja, thank you very much, Uncle Food, thank you. I haven't got much. I'm going to have another go or two. I might be giving up soon. On the stream, I mean. I don't mean on BR. Oh. Is man's the plural for man in the UK? Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm joining through DZSA avoiding. I have had uh, Redline letting me know when a server's available though as well, which has helped using the launcher, but sorry, using Discord, but Gordon, I don't want to talk about it. I've only got one kill and a trade kill all day today. day trading BR servers. <laughs> no, two people have done it. Bastards. Alf, I did switch to. I did switch to it. I had one life. I had one life and then died and couldn't be fucked to do another life, so I came back to this shit. <laughs> uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't think he was saying anything stupid, was he? I didn't know what he said, thankfully. 
I've, I'm all out of witty banter now, Patrick. I feel like I'm spent more than normal. I'm done. I'm spent, I am. The kid's here. Yeah, followed by my uh, my own avatar. How are we doing? Not enough people readying up. Bye bye. Uh, Awkward Ninja, thank you very much. Thank you, thanks again, dude. The range, the range to get teleported back is really short on the Livonia one. Oh my god, this is slow. Fifty players max. None of the other ones are getting anywhere near. There's a duo Chernerus one that's down, but not enough. I think we're better off with this for now. January 1st, we were 17 mm. points behind Leicester. Now we are top of the league. Yes, man. Uh, yeah, uh, although Leicester have got a, a game in hand. They've had a shocking run lately, Leicester. They really are throwing it away. Uh, but uh, Ipswich are only a point behind <laughs> Leeds as well. It, it, Leeds are doing well. I, I, to be honest, I, well, I, wanna, I was going to say I'd quite like Leeds to go up, but unfortunately I, I, my second and third clubs are kind of Leicester and Ipswich. Not true. My second and fourth clubs. <laughs> I don't really have a second club, but I used to live near Leicester, and I, I currently live near Ipswich, so I, I certainly prefer them over Leeds, unfortunately, but I think Leeds are going to go up. They certainly seem to, to be, you know. I can't believe how bad Le Leicester have kind of, uh, kind of fucked it, if you like, compared to where they were at. But yeah, I don't. I I really have a pretty good feeling Ipswich might sneak in. You know, I I don't know. It would be crazy if Leicester ended up in the playoffs, given how well they've been doing. Though that doesn't seem to make sense. Bing bang bing bang bang bang. Are we not done yet? Ling long, ling long, ling ching. Oh my god. What is it about lobbies in games like this that turns people into such fucking idiots? Chat, is this real? Come here. Chat, is this real? What's an attention sword? I should st stream Minecraft. I beat him, friend. There's a zombie up there. TRM Dead Love. Can we not? We're getting the stack going. Can we not start?
Uh, Rebay and Joan, thank you for the follows on YouTube. That red in. Should I start checking roofs, do we think, or not? I think checking roofs is going to be a bit slow. I wonder if loot spawns on the roofs on these, though. Like, We'll check one or two. Yeah, there we go. First loof, first, first roof, we find an M16. What the fuck? Okay, it's going well. About four people just spawned in. It's crazy. I'm gonna miss them all. This is a squad, right? It must be. I think I got him. Yeah, I did. Look, Mikey killed Mercs. Repeater knocked me unk on though. That was that was weird. I'm not used to. But yeah, they must have been a squad. There's another one somewhere. I know I'm bleeding, but I need to move a little bit. I'm glad we got uh, we got a couple of kills, even if they were no geared, no marks. I'm <laughs> it's nice to get a couple of kills. A vest as well. The, the other dude must still be around. There was one more guy. He, I think. That Maybe this house here? Yep. It's going to be this house here. <laughs> First shot hit then. Didn't have it on full auto. I didn't think he'd go around that way. Fair play. I keep respawning out of out of habit. I didn't think he'd gone left. I, I thought he'd gone left. I didn't think he'd gone right. I shouldn't have chased after him really, but there we go. If I'd been on full auto there, or sorry, semi-auto, if I'd been on burst, I probably would have killed him because the first shot hit. The first shot hit, I saw blood, but I was on semi-auto, so I didn't get the burst into him. My fault. Completely my fault. I just swapped guns though, hadn't I? Um, eight left duo modded. Mm. I think whatever the next one is is going to be my last round. I, I, I can't face any more of my, my uh, terrible gameplay. Lean spam, eh? Yeah. What have we got that looks like? So there's there's a Max Duo, Max Duo that's modded that's coming fairly soon, like Redline said. There's Solo modded that's got 14 players. That's a bit longer of a wait. We'll probably just do the Duo. <laughs> yeah, all right, Wildcats, and I'll do that in an hour. <laughs> need a good long gun with a scope. I don't know if you do, Titan, you know. It's mostly CQB, but uh, 
What you need not do is uh, shoot a guy and then chase after him. That definitely is something you need not do. I shouldn't have gone running after him there, really, should I? There we are. I think I, a lot of the times I've not got any range, you know, like something like an SKS or a Mosin would be pretty good quite often. Depends. The modded servers, there's a lot of modded guns, but because it's infinite stamina, it's quite, one, unless you hit the first shot, if you're lucky enough to get someone running fairly towards you or, or, or away from you, it's much harder to hit running shots. You know? In that run we had the other day where I got the seven kills, I got quite a nice side-on kill on someone that was like nearly 300 meters away, but it's like rarely do you hit the first shot with those, and if you don't hit the first shot, once you know they're shooting at them, they're going to jupe like fuck and it's going to be really hard. Here's Josh, dude, take it easy. And Stian, take it easy as well. Uh... <laughs> Lazy, it seems like decent rules to me. I don't know where I hit him. I'm sure I saw blood, but I obviously didn't tag him with any kind of uh, authority. Oh my god, that was annoying. So we've got a solo one down to 10 players. And we've got a duos one down to... Uh, oh god, the solo one's down to 7 players. That's going quick. It might be that the circle's quite close on the solo one. shot from the other fella actually it's the one that knocked me on con I mean if you could be known for and stream any other game than Daisy what would it be I don't know dude I, I don't I'm, I'm struggling to think of a game I could play for many hours five times a week roughly I might say four times a week at the moment <laughs> that, that I could play really regularly that is uh, like like even now this is Battle Royale it's a different thing but I couldn't do Battle Royale even Daisy for uh like I'm, I, w I really want to do well. I want, I want to get a win, and you know, I want to get into the latter stages. I had a terrible run on it today, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm just <sighs> another game. I don't know. The, the only other game I normally watch is Tarkov, but I, don't, I know I can't do Tarkov. I get too bored of it. I, I get too bored of it. Maybe like a racing game or something like a racing sim. I'd quite like to be a a sim race dude. That would be fun. I've tried scum a little bit camo yeah I, I, I get uh, I quite like I quite like some elements of scum but as a survival game like for the stories and the in immersion I much prefer Daisy weird isn't it the, the solo really started flying down now they must all be waiting for the circle and like flying prone doing nothing meanwhile the duo one's got three uh, three left uh, solo just went down from five seven to five to four I think I might as well do the solo one Uh, OG Jesus, thank you very much for the support, dude. Essex, is it? I, I actually thought there might have been an announcement over the weekend about uh, Christian Horney. Hi, Vladdy, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Right, they're, they're both down to two, so we're going to get in a server any second. Solo modded is down to zero, so somebody's won it. The other one is. The duo is finishing at the same time. That's good.
It is indeed D Swirl. It's meant to be inspired by Goldeneye, yeah. Elite, fucking hell, dude. Elite would be, uh. Yeah, I, I probably haven't got the patience for Elite. It does look pretty decent, Elite, but. Oh. The temptation of having this gun that you can't shoot. <laughs> Ten players. Only, only two of us have readied up. Come on. And Paul, get a top 10 this time, this round. No. No fucking chance. Save your, save your points. Save your points. Save them for another day. got the stamina. Did the gun despawn? Did the gun despawn, that's weird. I was definitely going to do it. I was going to do it. Oh. <laughs> Why even have a ready up button? I don't know, dude. That's that's a fair point. If you're in, you're in. Maybe it kicks AFK people and allows other people in. I don't really know. I did it. pointing going on. Can anybody hear me? Hello. Who said that? Go on, go on do it. Do it. Go on, do it. He's got a helmet of... He's got... How's he got two guns, a helmet and a vest and a bag? Where the fuck did he go? The ready up button is F1. There is someone being sick. You can do it on an emote, I think. I don't know. I never find them. Interactions. Look at me. Taunt elbow. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Clap. Fuck off. Shake head. Nod head. Pretty gruesome, isn't it? That noise. Really did close the stream before I started playing. 
and then you found another lobby the same as the one I'm in. That's magic, isn't it? But why do it? What well, kind of a knob have you got to be to do that? It's like all it's doing, even if it might be true, but it makes me think that it's not true, doesn't it? You know, like what's the point? It just makes you a douche, right? I, I'm not going to believe him, and whether he did or he didn't, what, aside from just fuck me off, what's the point of that? It just makes you a dick. Anyway, let's see how we get on. I think we'll be starting in a sec. Somebody would potentially uh, like to press F1. Uh, did I game when I was younger? Uh, watch, I played loads of uh, stuff when I, like all the way from like like Amstrad and early co early early cassette based systems, you know. But uh, I played a lot of games on the Amiga. I particularly like Premier Manager, and I liked uh, one or two other games. But Premier Manager, the original Tomb Raider, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, uh, uh, Street Fighter Two, and Mario Kart on the Nintendo. Sonic and Mario and all of those kind of games. I played shitloads of those sort of things as a lad, like very young. My favourite memories of early gaming is playing on the Mega Drive or the Nintendo with round a mate's house, split screen, with Street Fighter, Mario Kart and uh, Mortal Kombat. We used to do Winner Stays On across those and it was loads of fun. Damn you sound old. Well, cheers Vex. I didn't have GoldenEye, no, I didn't have an N64. I uh, I had a GameCube. I didn't have an N64. I missed out on that one, so I couldn't get GoldenEye. Wedge Star, thank you. Mario Kart was always winner stays on, loser makes a doobie, eh? <laughs> I started playing uh, PC specifically for DayZ, and before that it was mostly console, Call of Duty, and Battlefield, and stuff like that. Favolovo. first house. Seems to be somebody shooting in the town with me. A lot of closed doors on this. that one. take the mag out really. This uh, this SMG is fucking awful. Sorry not SMG, that uh, it's like an SMG but it 
the uh, that 74 kind of modded version. This thing. TKB, it's, it's like a CQB weapon basically, it's not very good. Close quarters really. We're fairly close to the centre, two kilometres isn't too bad. Not got really anything. Will that go on there? No, of course it won't. Shot sounded close down there, I don't know. Probably shouldn't be in this field, should I? I'm going to loot these houses here. I'd like to try and find something with a scope. We've got a plate carrier. We're doing all right. Helmet, maybe? I don't know if a helmet's really that important. Dr. Troll, phase 1605, donated $20. Hey, man, thanks for the entertainment. My mom is beginning chemotherapy tomorrow because of breast cancer. Your streams are a ray of happiness at the moment for me, smiley face. Dude, I hope it goes Thank as well you. as it possibly can, man. That that sucks to hear, but I hope your mum's uh, healthy and gets through it uh, really well, dude. Uh, hopefully it all goes well. Good congratulations. Not congratulations. Good luck is what I'm trying to say. Good luck. Uh, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the super chat. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Majestic, thank you for the Prime troll face. Thank you so much and, and all the best. I hope it goes well. Uh, nah. Well, that's good. That's really good. Kind of damaged his helmet a bit. Actually heard him. I heard him to the left. That's why I went that way. I was going to come this way. But for once I actually heard steps in the game. That's good. It's quite high recoil, but it was okay. It was manageable. I'm going to take that because I can use it. I can use the scope on other guns. Took a little bit of getting used to the gun there, it just in the fight, it, it was slightly higher recoil than I was expecting, but it's pretty decent. Thanks for the 21. Majestic Unicorn, thanks again. Teapot. Iron Balls, thank you very much. Don't be a dick. Rule 2, read rule 1. Rule 3, don't be a shameless loot whore like Paul. <laughs> They're decent rules. <laughs> Just for the support, dude. Thank you.
Current zone will lock in 10 seconds. Maybe I am slowing down a bit here. Maybe we should start heading to the centre a touch. Kind of early days, though. I don't want a Sega. I adjusted my, my glasses on my face just before I killed that dude. And I smudged my fucking glasses and I, I need to fix it, but I keep looting and not doing it. I don't think a carbine is going to be the answer for anything long range, but we'll see. Isaac, sixth is still massively better than I've done all day. That doesn't say much though, really, does it? Oh, it's not even fucking... It's not even got a mag. I didn't realise that, but anyway. Not, I'm not taking Vicky. Repair helmet. Maybe I could. I've got leather kits. That's not a bad shout, actually. The thing with some of the modded guns, it depends how they're set up. But if they've got no buttstock and handguard, they're very often higher recoil than, say, an M4 would be. You know, like, it depends on the... Uh, Depends on how they've set them up for the mod, I guess, but... The new zone will appear in 10 seconds. Oh, we're, we're nearer. We're nearer to the next zone, we are. There's a big open field in front of me. T-R-M-Z-L-U-R-K-T-R-M-Z-Love. We might as well, uh... We might as well just stay around here somewhere. May help my aim. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. How many people we got left? 36. T -R -M -Z -L -U -R -K. Kind of. We haven't got any kind of decent long range weapon, but we're okay. We're okay. Oof. Oof. doesn't look good does it it's very open i don't think we should probably move any mo any further for now it's kind of stupid to do anything else because when the next zone comes in we could be i think i might as well just wait it's, it's probably my last round i did say it would be we're in 11, 10 minutes well 11 hours and 12 minutes in the 
current zone will lock in two minutes so yeah we might as well hold fire for now and see that's weird isn't it so like the old zone some of the new zone is actually outside of the oh, that's weird You're a madman being on this long. I always do a longer stream on a Monday mile bark. I, I uh, normally do five days, but Sundays... I didn't stream yesterday for a number of reasons, uh, but uh, football being one of them, to be honest. But I, uh, I normally do a shorter stream on a Sunday, like six hours-ish, and then I do 12 hours today to bring the average up to make all five streams about the same length. Rangerbot, Mr. Agarth, uh, Christy, uh, thank you for the gifted sub and your own sub. That's very kind. Thank you. <coughs> so... When the next zone, the next zone's going to close after thirty seconds, but we're not going to get another zone for some time after that. Thoughts on Liverpool's performance Sunday? I think they deserve to get beat. To be honest, they had enough chances and enough time in possession of the ball after being two one up at half time. Until United scored, pretty much Liverpool were in charge of the game, and they didn't score. At 2-1 up and like bossing a game for a long time they needed to score and they didn't and it, it gave United a chance to get back into it you know and they did they needed to make it 3-1 that said you know away to United United are not quite what they were right now but playing in the cup away at Old Trafford it's not easy you know but they should have scored when they had the opportunity you know scope the field for any target practice well I've only got a chambered CR 527 I don't think it makes any sense it could shift to the northwest airfield I guess couldn't it have I been to London whatever yeah loads I've got to go on Friday not for long though Uh, Rangerbot, thanks again. And it's Husk. Cheers for the for the sub on YouTube's. What countries do British people go on holiday to? Uh, Spain's quite common, but most most Europe European countries and America are probably quite popular. But same place as everybody else does physics. It depends on the. The size of your wallet and the, the amount of free time you have as well, you know. I, the last holiday me and the missus went abroad was in 2019 and we did uh, the Golden Triangle in India. Which is kind of a slightly off the beaten track. Well, we did a guide though, a guided tour. See, I'm glad I didn't carry on running because it would have made no sense, would it? Might as well go back towards uh, travel over a bit. How was my belly after that trip? My missus got sick on the last day uh, with proper deli belly. She was so ill the night before we flew home. I didn't think we were going to make the flight. She was that ill. Uh, and I got the same bug, but I got really lucky. I got hardly affected. I felt ill for about two weeks, but only mildly. She, I was nothing like her. I, I, she, she was really ill. She, she was really ill. There was some poor... There was a couple that... There was a poor couple that got ill on the Wednesday, and then on, I think it was a Friday we were coming out. I might be remembering the days wrong, but they, they had the, the, the main bus drive from back from... To, we were staying in Delhi one last night before flying home, and the bus drive back was really long, and they, it was like six hours, and they, was, they were feeling ill, like, like desperate for the loo. There was no toilet on the coach. 
and they were just like stuck. They were, they, I don't know how they made that bus journey. They looked pale as a ghost. It was awful. Titan, dude, thank you for the for the super chat. That's very kind. Thank you. I've enjoyed the stream. I wish I'd have had a better run at it, but it's been fun nonetheless. I wish I'd I wish I'd not switched to battle royale quite as early as I did. I think that was a mistake in hindsight. Scalar Sake was more fun, but the battle royale I've just had terrible run with it. You know that's the main reason why. I don't think. I could get heard here, which is not smart. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it. I'll do one mag, not the other. I appreciate ya putting in work. Really enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people are saying Gakpo in it, but. Gakpo's a young player that's not getting a great deal of opportunity at the moment. But with understanding as well, he's not getting a great deal of opportunity because so, so, unfortunately Salah, Nunes and Diaz all have more impact than he does. And when Jota's fit, so does Jota. So Liverpool have got five uh, five really viable attackers and he's the fifth choice. And, and he's not starting very many and he doesn't seem to be doing great as an impact player right now. But I think Gakpo's got a lot of potential. The problem is, I don't think he's a, he's more of a centre forward, really, and he's not playing there. Because Liverpool have got uh, Nunes, and despite what people like to say, Nunes is very important. He, do, he is playing well. Salah was terrible yesterday, Essex Chaff. Yeah, I, I, I was glad when he came off, but Salah's coming back from an injury. He didn't look sharp yesterday. He, uh, he, I, I thought exactly the same. I said it earlier, but he had so many opportunities to, to set, up, set up a goal, and his weight of pass was off the whole day. But not all, sometimes he'll miss up something, but he'll do something magical. He'll create. He does create a lot of goals as well. It's a weird centre. He didn't create much yesterday. He, he had a lot of chances to, and the pass was just off, like all the time. I'm not running towards shot size. Seven left. Oh. I don't even know why I'm running. I've got to go down there at some point. for the gap. It's going to be awkward depending on where we have to go next. There's open fields different ways. It could be really annoying this. Uh, Gila, uh, thank you very much for the 20 months. Cheers for the support, dude.
Probably not in a good spot waiting here. Right, I'm glad we moved when we did. Now we're, we're closer to the edge of the circle. This is tricky. For others behind, it's very tricky. Oh, there is... What? I was getting confused about the centre then. This is a big fucking open field up here. It looks like we're ending near Sinistock. I don't know. Do I go for the field? I, I don't know here. This is going to be awkward. That's a long way to Sinistock. can't stop, can I? There's no fucking cover. I could maybe use these little, uh, these little hay bales. See, this is right on the edge of the circle I need to move. This is no good. If I'm here and then the circle, I've got to go over there. If I'm on the edge of the circle and then it closes, I'll be fucked. I'll be much, I think I'm better off trying to get across now, getting in the house. go for somewhere obscure. going here. This is going to be a forest ending by the look of it. I haven't closed every door, not really over it, but they have to open them, whether it tips them off or not. I think it's unlikely people will know I'm here. You can shoot through there, but I think it's unlikely. Uh, Gillot, thank you very much once again. Cheers for the 20 months. Twenty-one left. The only thing is people will come running in here because... Well, the hip fire's a bit tricky. It's the first building coming from the right side, so they may come in... I don't know, we'll see. How do you search for one of these servers? New, do you uh, just search for the word Vigrid, V-I-G-R-I-D, or go to the link in the chat that's just been shared there by Redline. That's the link to the Discord and tells you about it. I think my legs can be sticking out there, can they? They shouldn't be. That's a lot of running across open fields. You'd think people would be dying for that run, didn't Like, there was people all behind us. I 
I hope we can get closer into the final circle because we're we're great for CQB, but if we have to do any long range stuff, we're bag we're basically buggered at the moment. What's the stoner gun like? Uh, it's quite high rate of fire. It's pretty high recoil, though more recoil than an M4 would have, for example. Controlling it's not easy. The iron sights aren't aren't ideal. I quite like them, but they're not ideal. No, it's full auto. Wouldn't peeking the corner, stay well corner, be safer? Chard, you can shoot through that window. So just in case, I'd rather be here now and then I can go back there in a sec. They're outside the zone there. <sighs> I'd like to be in the zone for the next round, please. Fuck me. 43 months of running and I'm still fat. Love the stream. That is madness. That's quite a long way, you know. That's quite a long way that the people behind are going to be dying to the zone. We're in 10th. I'm really worried I'm going to run past some fucker. Five just died, yeah. The zone has been really tricky. Still got 188 minutes to go. Sorry, 188 188 meters to go. We actually need to run. I, I, you can cover ground pretty quick, but they're going to be in trouble behind. This is, this is fucking tricky. Eight meters. Oh, big tree. I'm going to go a bit further. This is this might be a mistake. Eight left. Well, we made it to the top ten, I suppose. C 
seven. I don't like this tree at all. Need to see where we're going to be in the next circle. I'm kind of hoping we get lucky, but every time I always have to move. Has to be someone back there. a long fucking way. When you get a circle that that far away at this stage, you basically just have to paste it. Like everyone's doing the same thing, just running on the line. You can't if you wait, you're dead. I think. Got four armor. actually surprised that he was waiting. I don't think there's enough time to wait, but... looking a bit open up ahead. Hundred and ninety meters. Man, this fucking sucks. Current zone will lock in one minute. Fuck. When we get to the edge, there's gonna be people right on the edge we're coming to. There's no way there ain't, surely. The circle looks so small.
I hate the sound of fucking bushes in this game. It 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 sounds exactly like players coming. Please give me some fucking luck for once. Looking painfully open. dead I think oh what a fucking crock of shit that was all over the place that was ridiculous like I fired like way more than I needed to and we got fucked over by some kind of desync at the end that sucks we haven't had desync in the battle royale all day and then you get like in the last fucking circle I might have died anyway but I wouldn't have <laughs> I just wouldn't have but it wouldn't have gone like that would it uh, it was lag. The ad timing was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, <clears throat> mm, I don't know where we finished. Three or four, but... I don't know where the guy was. We were definitely top five, though, at least. But yeah, that, that, was, that was that. Uh, I'm glad we finished on a good run. We only got like three kills, but it went, it all fell down a bit there. They were all already there, right? That means, like, it's a solo game. Why were they so close together and not shooting each other, you know? Like, nobody was shooting. It was like I was, I was on a solo mod map, but I ran up to those bushes, and they, they were all, like, in the same area. It was kind of annoying, you know? But there we go. Right, there we go. There we are. That is me done for the day, guys. Uh, it was nice to do okay in the last one, at least. We, we did a bit better, but uh, I will be back again tomorrow. I'm going to do some kind of survival. I'm not going to do Battle Royale tomorrow. We'll just do regular regular players. Just cautious players. Maybe end, but there was literally like four bushes in there. There wasn't like a whole forest. There was like a little corridor of a few bushes, you know. Like, you can say they're all careful, but they were like within five meters of each other's you know it doesn't make sense anyway that's it for me guys I, i'll maybe one was like in the hunting stand and just hidden or you know you just don't know they could have been somewhere weird uh jacket of tim thank you very much for the resub dude thanks very much i'll be back again tomorrow guys there's many streamers you can watch thank you for tuning in here uh we'll get back to some kind of survival stuff tomorrow i think take it easy have a good one love you bye